Yeah, he was what? holding on to the ledge. <laughs> I was holding on to Alex's hands. And and Alex is like, just let go, man. I got you. Just let go. I got you. I'll pull you up. <laughs> and then I wish we could find this video because just thinking of it's like making me lose it. Quentin like just let go of his feet from that fence and his body just swings <laughs> max into the house, dude. Just swings right into the house and just whap. With I remember <laughs> Whoever was taking the video the cl- does a close up on it, like they, like, because there was a trash can below it, like there was a trash can, like full, and like, like it all happens, and like everybody's laughing, and then there's a close up down on the trash can, and Quentin's glasses are sitting in the trash. Can. But dude, his whole body just swings straight into the side of this house and slams. And he still holds on, and Alex is like, I got you, man. And, <laughs> just pulls and he pulls him up through the window. <laughs> Amazing. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Welcome back to episode 21 of Squad Pod. The podcast oh is officially 21, so old enough to drink. Old enough to drink. <laughs> party podcast. We're having a party this episode. Everyone's drinking Definitely. something. Alex is ahead plus of the biggest drinking. Plus, it's the biggest drinking day of the year. It is the biggest yeah. drinking day of the year. I I did not know that until like earlier today, actually. Really, this is the first year you've learned it. I don't. I don't really drink that much, so. Listen, I want to start the podcast off with a rant. I just want to complain. <laughs> All right. I love I love my girlfriend to the death of her. But like she has her own desk and it's an absolute pigsty. And now it's just it's leaked over into my desk and like <laughs> her deodorant's here, her hairspray's here. And I'm like, why does this, all this have to be here? This is my desk. I don't care that she puts it here, but like just take it with you when you go just yeah. get i got crochet hooks on here <laughs> i got deodorant on here i think this is her mouse to her computer why is this even here shouldn't she be using this with her computer <sighs> anyways that's my rant but anyways right. yes <laughs> alex just had Let's to get that on. out <laughs> what's drinking with some buddies if you can't rant about your girlfriend right that's true um before we kind of get into anything <sighs> too too crazy uh we're gonna plug shamelessly plug our squad pod sports episode mm-hmm. that we did last night can't wait for uh, it great special guest your boy q that uh hosts the locked on raiders podcast he's also on espn 920 um and he's also you can find him on twitter at your boy q 254 i believe um yeah i mean it was a really good conversation we learned a lot from him you know we really i learned we learned a lot about the raiders you know a and ton, I mean, he, man. yeah a ton about the raiders and I mean, it was kind of cool hearing about like his his journey, you know, kind of getting to where he where he is now, you know. So I mean, right. as of right now, both of them should be out. But I mean, you, we did release uh, the clip of just mm-hmm. the interview that's out now. So I mean, uh, and we also have the partnership with the Journey with the Jays, you know. So we're partnering up with that network. So big things are happening for Squad Pod Sports. I'm pretty excited right. about it. Gonna so, have one of them on next week, next Tuesday. Yeah, uh, I think his name is Jake uh, Jacob. Uh, he's he runs the Pundits Pundit podcast mm-hmm. over there by himself. Um, right. and I mean, he's he's definitely opinionated on, on everything he does. I mean, I've been talking to him on and off on Twitter. I mean, he seems like a pretty good guy. I mean, he has a lot of a lot of cool views on things that you right, wouldn't necessarily right. think of. He has a kind enjoyable. of a, a he has a good way of being unbiased, which is which is refreshing. Um, but yeah. I mean, definitely look out for that podcast and check out this one with your boy Q. It was, it was a really good podcast. It was, I would say the the whole thing was probably like an hour and forty five, <laughs> something like that. Me and Vern were on for quite a while. Yeah, <laughs> the the actual interview itself was like twenty eight minutes. Uh, we really sat separately, but like we also released like the whole podcast, like total, you know, the full version too. If you want to check out the full version where we yeah, make our where picks, we talk about the breakdown, NFL. F- our NBA free agency stuff like that, you know, All it's been signings. wild. Yeah, so I mean, definitely look out because there's a lot of big things coming up here on Squad Pod Sports, 
And I mean, just like tonight's a big episode for for the regular squad pod, you know, 21 episodes. That's that's a lot, man. We've been doing it for a minute. Yeah, I'm doing it for a minute, man. I'm glad you guys... I'm super. I'm sorry. Alex. Ahead, we kind of just no, no, at could... the same time. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I'm glad you guys kind of took that in, and it's kind of its own thing now. I mean, it's it's kind of like the same name, but it's totally different. You know, Vernon just kind of handles all the other stuff with it. Um, why it's the the PR guy. So <laughs> pretty much, yeah. I, I try to find the guests. I, I I handle the social media and shit and networking. Why it's been killing it? I I mean, I mean he he does like all like you're saying all the marketing all this, like the networking and stuff like that. And I'm I'm just trying to edit it the best I can. Yeah, more or I mean less you're killing it with the editing the fly, room. Like all the you know? all the thumbnails you post are awesome. The editing you have is is amazing every week. You know you put it out like. It seems like you have it done ahead of time. It seems like you enjoy working on it, man. I love and it. Re- doing it reflects it, on the product too. I love doing it every week. Just like tinkering. I, I love, love the like, tinkering. Like, yeah, <laughs> That's I a good love way it. To put it. It's just so it's so enjoyable, man. It's so it's almost like therapeutic, and it's like you didn't realize that you you that you could use this as therapy until you start doing it. You know what I mean? You spend two I, or I three really hours been... messing with something so minuscule, but you're so right. happy when it's done. <laughs> back whenever we were making music back like like 10 years ago now like nine years ago yeah, back when we were making crazy. music and i was like editing and that shit i used to love that be up to like three in the morning four in the morning just do a little like just fucking with the sounds of stuff and just like little clips and just, yeah. so like man i would love to do do that for a living one day that's that's the goal like i could tell like i i could sit there and do that shit eight hours a day and be like I'm like, damn, this. it's I'm three hours ready because yeah. like three, four hours go by. Like more or less when I get home from work on Wednesdays, I'm like, OK, I have X about of hours until we do this mm-hmm. to edit this video because it's got I got to sleep and then work <laughs> Thursday. And it yeah. usually comes out. I usually come home on break Thursday and schedule it um, for because it's red. I, like, I don't have time to. Usually I render it and go to sleep. Yeah, so that's like what Thursday, I do. So <laughs> like Thursday, I yeah. come home from work um, and schedule it for like, I do come home at like one something, schedule it for four, go back to work. I, I don't even get off till five. So it actually comes out while I'm still at work. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, it's nice to come home and then it's already out at that yeah. point. I try to. I, and by trying, that time, trying. usually I'm like uploading it on all, on all of our social medias and shit. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like yeah. within with I try to do it within like the first 15 minutes of it being out. Can I say exactly. why? I have the main podcast. That I, I have it scheduled for four o'clock and I'm at work usually by that time. Four thirty rolls around. I'm like, all right, I should probably go on Facebook and share that. Why? Well, it's already done it. It's already taken care it's of. It's on, man. That's all I done. do it, man. <laughs> PR guy. He's on it, man. He's fucking that's, on see, it. See, like, like you're saying, like, that's the shit you like to do with, like, editing. I like to, like, post that shit. I like to go on Twitter. I like to post all of our stuff. I like trying to find Great people team. and talk to people. Great team. Yeah, it is, all man. And, and I know that, like, because you're saying your schedule and, like, the podcast at this point is such a well-oiled machine that we hop on, kind of do a rundown real quick, and then we do the podcast, which we already have the formula to. Yeah. And then as soon as we're done, we're like, all right, we're going to bed. But like, <laughs> there's really like, no man, talking after great. the podcast. We're like, that was great. Like, like we talk maybe like five minutes, but then right. we're usually like, all right, see you later, man. We'll be like, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Because by this point, we're already tired and we know we're doing this. Where we we just we're talk, gonna be you here know what I mean? But yeah, like, tomorrow. <laughs> like every every single time, we're like, all right, bro, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Because <laughs> we know it's coming, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, you're so right. Almost every time we're both like, all right, man. <laughs> great episode. I gotta go. Great episode. I, I gotta go. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. Peace out. Like, but like, he's right. It's such a well oiled machine now. We're we're only 17 episodes in, but like, I feel like, like you said, mm-hmm. the blueprint. Like, it makes it just makes it a little bit easier for us to kind of just flow through what we want to do. Like, because we're trying to. It, t- we're, like he said last night, we shouldn't think about us being small time, but I feel like we are. We're just trying to learn on the fly and be okay as professional that, as possible. I think it's okay to think like, that you're small. He was yeah. giving us great advice. Yeah, I mean, that's, that was kind of his advice to us. is like, don't ever think you're small time. Like, whatever, like, just put out your content and don't change it no matter what. Like, do it to the best of your ability, what you want to do. Right. And, like, success will come, you know? I mean, it just takes time. Mm-hmm. 
And consistency. Yeah. yeah, consistency. And I mean, we definitely have that. We're at right. 21 here, 17 there. Alex, you're right. how how much would tap that right now? He's got ton because he's, he's like, got a, like bunch a ton episodes. out of time. <laughs> So what um, were you talking about, talking about before CenturyLink screwed me over? We were just talking about Tap That. We were moving on CenturyLink. Say how many episodes I had to tap that. Okay, yeah, because that's where I cut out. So okay. All right. Well, cheers. I'm just gonna go right back into. It. Oh, hey, take cheers. It. <laughs> I have liquor too, Evan. That's good. Mm. You crazy mofo. Yeah, you made my stomach <laughs> hurt. That's what I'm saying. I get the chills when I see. But uh, I don't do shots. It anymore, looks clear man. too. Well, so well, it's like well, look like it's just vanilla rum. Uh, rum? See, I like rum. It's all right. Not. I don't, I'm not taking anything straight unless I like schnapps. dark rum. It's though. vanilla. It's not straight. Schnapps. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some root beer, Doctor McKillicuddy's. I'll be all right with that. Yeah, I'm not, I do I like do like flavored stuff like that. Like that's that that would fuck me up. Mm, because everything else is too burny. Schnapps is the only thing that like doesn't burn my throat going yeah. down. Yeah, that does not like, burn I'm, that much. It, like Kraken, I could drink straight. It's only that's like, just like smooth. But it's know. syrupy. It makes me feel sick because it's syrupy. I say like, I I'm just, just like, a bitch when it comes to alcohol. <laughs> and I don't even care. I mean, man. to be honest, if I tried to do it now, it, it I would probably throw so up. So my so my thing I is, and you guys may have forever. noticed this when we go out. Like I I peak really quick, but then I level off. Like I don't get I, I don't I don't get super drunk. Because you probably kind of like, like pace yourself at a point. No, you're like, like all right. I, need I was chill. still coherent though, Alex. <laughs> I was still Yo, coherent. On my couch with your feet spread out eating What else was I going to do while you and Storm were arguing? <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to keep my stomach full and trying to stay hydrated, all right? I feel you. Man, I ain't trying to make you black out. All I'm saying no, but, is... But, like, no. Like, you know, I just think about when we were in Pittsburgh and you're standing there half asleep Waving back and forth, you hand me your phone to call the lift, and I've never even called a lift before. <laughs> Yo, and that's so crazy because like he was that drunk then, and then we still had like the rest of the night where we like yeah. played cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> that was only like the beginning. Yeah, he was awake. He was awake, and but he, and and you're standing chilling. at the curb, and you're just like Evan. What? Can you call a lift? <laughs> There, I have seen Alex like that so many yeah, times. I, I know, so like, many as times. long as, like, I know, like, Alex will be that drunk and then make sure that we get home okay. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. When I'm that hammered. I'm just like, in my own world, just vibe. my favorite video, I think it's like my 23rd birthday. We're at that, <laughs> that Bollywood bar in Harrisburg. And yeah, and I, I am like, standing New Year's. <laughs> but wherever we were, yeah. dude. Like, but yeah, I'm I was going to say, that's the time I remember. Like, I vividly. still have that on my phone. <laughs> dude, I'm standing in line at the, if you could send that to Evan, you can post it if he could send it to you, dude. You can post it. <laughs> like, I am. We're listening to this Bollywood music, and I'm just in line for the bathroom, just like lean against the wall, eyes closed, just. <laughs> like and we I remember we wandered in there. Oh yeah, it was New Year's Eve, and you know the whole city was packed. All the bars were packed mm -hmm. except for this Bollywood bar. <laughs> for some reason, this Bollywood bar was left alone, and we, we got were the only, Yeah, we were like. There was a couple people, but it wasn't nearly like packed or anything. But I just remember getting drinks and just, just like, like just dancing. <laughs> and then and Alex then, wandered like, off. Alex the wandered off. <laughs> and I remember, we, I remember going like I was there with you while you were filming that because I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> but like I think the bathroom was empty too. I think the dude came out, and like you were. <laughs> Man, he was just like standing there like. Just dancing in the hallway, but yeah, like it's not like you were asleep. You were just I don't know. I wasn't sleeping. I was vibing. He was just like what is he? His head it's was down. Key West He's, too. You get oh, in your man. zone. Key I, West. I, but like I said, I got drugs. We'll get into those. I, I was I was on the curb in Key West, and <laughs> Alex ended up taking my bike and his bike home, and he was drinking just as much as I was. Oh, he got damn. me an Uber. I got took the Uber home and. I remember I like as soon as I got home, I like just I didn't even go inside. I just laid down outside the pool. <laughs> I just laid like right next to the pool 
<laughs> and waited for Alex to get back. <laughs> <laughs> and when he got he got back, he was telling me that he wrecked the bike and shit. But like, I I could understand because he was holding a bike while driving a bike. Try. So like, I, I, I tried it a few different ways, man. I, at first, I was just dragging it behind me, not like dragging it, but like trying to keep it balanced. But like, balance wasn't a good idea. So like, just eventually, dude, it was just like up on my arm, and I was like this pedaling, just a big ass like. Big ass bike. It was not fun, and of course, why and Vernon both in the Key West, like. We usually stay decently close to the strip mm-hmm. where I could have just walked the bike. This is the one See, that's year what I was thinking. Why didn't you just push both bikes? <laughs> well, this is the one year we were, like, on the back side of the island. Like, way, <laughs> it would have took me, like, an hour. To, it took us, like, 15 minutes to bike down to Duval Street. Oh, it took me an hour and a half to walk it, dude. I should have just got a taxi, took, went home. <laughs> And went back for my bikes later. I don't know why I didn't do that. Because I was drunk. Well, just, yeah. She's like, I'm not letting these bikes behind. I should have just chained them up, put them. Like, nobody would have took them. There's bikes everywhere in fucking Key West. And then just, like, found them later. I <laughs> even remember, oh, like, not even, like, not a Key West story. But I remember, like, even back when you would stay, like, a week at my crib, like, right after you graduated or whatever. Like, we would be, like, just drinking all night, and then we'd be chilling, listening to music, and I would, like, look over, and you just, like, chill it like this. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, you good? And you're like, yeah, man, I'm good. <laughs> and, like, you're not, like, you just vibing. You just vibing, dude. It I mean, looks I'm... like you're asleep, but you're not. You're just <laughs> chilling. Listen, listen to the world. Like... <laughs> dude, some of the drunkest, drunkest, most drunk I've ever been is... Chill. Wyatt's house. I, mean, I, I have stories I don't know if I want to tell. They have some criminal stories <laughs> about me and Wyatt getting hammered at his house, dude. Way too drunk. Oh my man. god! And like we like we were twenty one. Yeah, <laughs> we were just getting like Alex was just getting people buy us alcohol, and it's not, not like we were just getting some alcohol. Me and Alex were getting like <laughs> two bottles of like tequila oh my god. and like two cases of beer. <laughs> and like we'd be <laughs> having numerous good. bottles yeah, and just drinking all the bo- like everything, everything in one night it's not that's... like we'd be saving some oh we'd be God. drinking everything in one night and just getting into some crazy shit bro dude <laughs> like we night... Oh my god. The one night uh our buddy Dalton was over, he freaking Oh man. He uh <laughs> we had three bottles three bottles yeah, yeah two like bottles. one's like tequila rum and i think vodka like a flavor okay. vodka and a case of beer and we finished every fucking drop between the three of us every drop every- of that alcohol so that's a bottle a piece and a third of a case like probably had out a lot of liquid i remember feeling <laughs> a lot of liquid terrible the next day <laughs> oh we would God. drink it in like two hours though i mean we'd be up drinking until Seven oh in the morning, God. six yeah. in the morning, dude. Like, like well, yeah, see, that, that was a crazy night, dude. I remember is when me and Alex were in Vegas, and like, <laughs> we, it was the last night, and <laughs> we had half a bottle of Jack, or what half was it? Handle, half a handle. We had a huge, half a, <laughs> yeah, not half a, bottle, a handle, handle of it left on the last night, and, and a tub like, of beer. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta <laughs> drink this, and like, I remember the next day. Like my my this is explicit, but like my fucking my puke was like black, bro. <laughs> it was like it was disgusting. Like it was the worst hangover uh, I, I think I've ever had. Whiskey, man. That dude, shit. the no, it was it was no, it wasn't Jack Daniels. I think it was Captain, but I think it was Captain. rum. Yeah, oh, but man. my favorite story of when we were in Vegas is never do things when you're drunk. Like don't <laughs> plan shit when you're drunk. Like do everything beforehand because we oh, get my God. We go <laughs> go buy all this shit and we take it back to the apartment or the hotel room and we're drinking. We're getting hammered and we're like, yeah, we got to keep these beers cold somehow, you know. But you couldn't <laughs> use the fridge. This is like a real it's mandolin bay everybody kind of knows mandolin bay unfortunately for the the tragedy but it's like a nicer hotel you know so yeah. if you open the fucking fridge it's like a 40 dollar charge if you what? open it you can't store things in there so we're like Damn. you know what fuck it we're gonna go down to the ice bucket we're gonna get a ton <laughs> of ice and we're just gonna keep them on ice all weekend our dumbasses are putting it filled the bathtub probably this full with ice dude it was probably 30 trips to this ice machine dude and i'm like all right this this is a good plan man we're not gonna <laughs> do that. 
this is like a separate Cut, shower like, bathtub. Walking out the room. Because, <laughs> yeah, there was a separate shower and shit, so yeah. we didn't need the bath. So then we are, we're getting hammered that night. <laughs> we go up to my buddy's room. It was a floor above us. And these dudes are way smarter. They filled the two Geniuses. sinks and put it in the sinks. So and I was like, that's way smarter. <laughs> You're like, we filled up a whole bathtub. You're like, up the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> like three trips max. <laughs> But that we ice took like us 20. forever, forever. That it lasts yeah. us the whole week. We were the in Vegas. Best. Yeah, it lasts us for the whole time, basically. <laughs> well, yeah. you didn't need to go get more ice. I remember the one time that we like one of our nights that we got like really, really slosh. Is me and you. We decided to walk to Burn Hill. It was like a park near my crib. Oh, yeah, and that was like. We're like, man, we're just gonna walk there. It was like three in the morning. We're that like, sounds we're just sketchy already. There, bro. That area. Like, it's like, not that the area is sketchy, but it's open. Halfway like, there, warms. like we didn't like we didn't think about that. This park is like it's close if you drive, but it's literally miles away. So like being <laughs> halfway, we're like, I feel like we've been walking a while, man. <laughs> like, I feel like this is like a little farther than we thought, and we didn't turn back. We went the whole way yeah, there. We were, we we're halfway and there, I, and I remember us like. Play at all the playground <laughs> at like three in the morning, bro. Just going like, down the slides and shit on the seesaw on like the yeah, like the little like the spring horses and shit. That specifically, I remember. Yeah, I remember, I remember the, the, the turtle. Oh yeah, and we were just like turtle. hammered, just riding these like springs. And I remember like a car pulled in, bro. And chilled there with like its lights off for a minute, <laughs> and like we were like, wait a minute, it's something, something ain't right. Hold up. Wait, hold so we were up. like, let's let's get out of here. And as we started walking away, someone said something to us from the car, and I don't remember what Alex said. Alex said something, and then we just like took off <laughs> and started running. We didn't know who these people were. I think they ended up like drugs. I don't know, but we ended up walking the whole way back to my house. Um. Oh my gosh, dude. We had a, so many stories from that house. I have a lot of drunk stories, and most of them include you guys, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was like the perfect setup, man. We had like the pool table in the other room. Oh, yeah. So we You're, could like back from chill and house, drink and play the pool. We didn't go any like walking distance places just because we were bored and trapped in the house. Most of the time, we just sat, played pool. One of the music. best times, bro, was when I had that party when it was like all of us plus like Kyle and Quentin were there. Yeah, man. I don't think Evan was there, no, but Evan it was. <laughs> but it was a good. That was I remember that vividly. That was a really good time because we had Quentin puking before, like we were like really late in the night. <laughs> I want to apologize to whoever we did this to, but I do remember one of your neighbors, and I'll apologize now. And if they come forward, I'll buy them a new one. But I totally oh, remember one time we got hammered at Wyatt's house, and it was around Christmas, and we walked to one of Wyatt's neighbors, and we stole this inflatable snowman. We just took it out of their yard. <laughs> it was a Frosty we, the Snowman. Shit. And we took and it, it was, like, bigger house. than Alex. Big. It was about it was as tall big. as Alex. We took it back to Wyatt's house, blew it up. We're like, this shit is huge, <laughs> man. I remember so we, taking a picture like, Alex, like, standing next to it, cheesing. <laughs> like, uh, and then we were like, this is too big. I can't have this here. <laughs> can't have it. So we, we fucking took this inflatable snowman back. <laughs> yeah, we gave it back. We gave it back. But we saw a small polar bear holding a present. <laughs> so we were like, that's that the perfect one. size. <laughs> so we took that one. Instead. And I mean, I still have it somewhere, to be honest. Imagine <laughs> that. You. Imagine like... They had no idea, maybe, that the big one was even missing. Yeah, <laughs> I actually no. like to imagine that we they woke up, it, like literally, probably a half hour <laughs> later. So Frosty's missing, and they're like, "God damn it!" And then, like, they like, come back, they call the police, or he called his wife, or whatever. And then, twenty minutes later, he looked at his, he's like, "Now Frosty's back, but the polar bear's <laughs> missing." <laughs> but I remember. Every time you came over after that, we would inflate that damn polar oh, yeah. bear. Was like we called him he Buddy. Would, he would chill. Yeah, we called him Buddy. <laughs> we would inflate that polar bear, and he would just chill. Right in the corner. Right in the corner while we were gaming, you know. When you moved to your uh, Carlisle apartment, you should have blew him up and just left him. Just, like, left him in the corner somewhere, <laughs> chilling. <laughs> should give him back. I think it's chilling at my dad's house. Blew it up and put honest. it back in, like, the middle of summer. We should put it back. <laughs> Be like, oh, 
That's like that would be wild. All these years later, that's genius. We should. <laughs> It'd be even like crazier that. if it's like not the it's same. It's not the people, same though. people. Like, <laughs> we have to do it like in the winter time. So hopefully they have the other ones up. Oh, so what we if can, Frosty's like, still up? And, like, <laughs> and put a sign around his neck to be like lost and found, or like <laughs> sorry, glad to be, like barred him no, for a few years. Say, like I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Glad to be home. I'm just back. Plug him I'm... back in so he's inflated, and they're like, "Wait a minute, <laughs> I've been missing this for like ten years." <laughs> the kids are all grown up and shit now. <laughs> they're like, "Where's Buddy? Buddy, you remember when this shit was stolen like ten years ago?" <laughs> that's a thing. That's happening. We're doing that. It's Christmas time. We find should. that man, or find that polar bear. I should. We should drive by it. Going covertly. <laughs> Make things right. <laughs> I ain't worried. Well, might as well make a stop at like the rooftop too while we're at it, you know? Because yeah. we like might, might as well talk about that. We, we, that. we <laughs> nah, never too old. That's I gotta it get a community center. I remember this story. I don't know if you told it on here, but I remember. This oh, story. it's it's like multiple stories. This is like every single time that me and Alex would drink at my house. I don't remember why we did it for the first time. I just remember <laughs> like. I think because there was a playground, to be honest, because we were drunk as shit. We we're like, let's go to a playground. <laughs> like, you know, like some ridiculous shit you think what about. What you do? Just wanted but, to like, take a walk. And it was the closest. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And that's usually like where it started, because before we even uh, went to this place, we would just walk. Like, we would just get super sloshed, tired of being in a room, like in my room or whatever, and then just go out for a walk for a little while. And then we came across the community center. It was like right near my house. And perfect place, no lights really. I mean, kind of like a parking lot, but not much. And there was like a pavilion there, so we would chill there. And then we were like, "Yo, I bet we can get up on that roof, man." <laughs> and Vern knows what I exactly why we thought this because me and him did the same thing when I lived in Carlisle. <laughs> we we're like, "I bet I can. We can get up on that roof." Right. And of course, he could I'm get up. Thinking. Of course, he could get up on the <laughs> roof because he's so tall and lanky. <laughs> I, I, I'm a little shorter, so he ever, he would have to go up, grab my hand, and I would try to like. And he would pull me up, <laughs> and we would have usually if we had like cases of beer, we would just line like because for some reason it was it was never warm when we went. It was, <laughs> it was always, always winter. Free, it was always winter whenever we went, so it was freezing. So we always would line our big jackets with beers. And we would go there and then like climb up on the rooftop and then he would like just put music on and we would just chill and drink for like an hour or two. And by the time you don't just jump off the roof, there was like hedges right below. You would just lay on the roof and just roll off. <laughs> I'm really telling you this story. To get and out and just roll out. out. <laughs> I remember that because I think you took me there once, bro. Like, Probably. And I remember sure. just... I the, probably the for that bushes. party we had. I had. There. I didn't believe you. I was like, no, there's no way. That's the way you get. He's like, I'm telling you, <laughs> just roll off. Is, and he did it, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, just roll off, man. It works. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure if you go there now, there's probably still like a dent like in there where we've like landed. Permanent dent. I am pretty because sure this is the community it. center we had our baby shower at. Probably. <laughs> I'm pretty probably. sure we had That's the baby shower at this community on. center. The one in sh- that, yeah, I, I know uh, exactly which one. I'm pretty our sure our indent was there. <laughs> I remember, like, I don't know if anybody like. I just remember one time coming back from one of these walks because we always liked walking. Yeah, and like walking. I don't remember why, but me and Alex are like fighting. Not like <laughs> like we go punch each other, but me and him were just like fucking having a like wrestling match <laughs> in the front yard of the crib. And I could only imagine, like at the time, like my mom. Looking out the window, like, what is this noise? And looked out and just see me and Alex, like, wrestling, like, <laughs> like pushing each other and shit on the front lawn. And it's like, oh, my God. It's just hilarious to think about. Just two kids, like, hi- like kids right out of high school, drunk as shit, wrestling on your front lawn. <laughs> you guys probably weren't even actually wrestling. We were probably just... <laughs> just drunkenly. Yeah, just like, like, ah, wrestling ah, around each other, thinking you were hitting each other, but you really weren't. <laughs> Oh no, man! Oh, like, we had good, good times. Time, man. One of my other favorite memories—I don't know—it's not a good memory, and I've never been able to duplicate <laughs> it. We were hammered, going to bed, laying in bed, and we're listening. Oh my god! I know exactly. See, I know what memory you're going to talk about. <laughs> we're listening to Kid Cudi's "Man on the Moon" too, 
And I don't know if it was the end of one song into the beginning of the other song, but it was a while and cause I'm young and it has an intro in it. That's a little creepy, but like I felt like laying there, it lasted 15 <laughs> minutes, this intro. Yeah. And I just, I sat up and the instant I sat up, why it sat up also <laughs> like, and we're just like, <sighs> and we were scared, dude. Like, like we were trapped in dude, this moment. It was felt like, weird. Like, I swear to God, that intro was, like, 20 minutes long. I can vouch for it because I remember, like, it was one of those times when you're so drunk when you're laying there and you close your eyes and everything's kind of spinning. (laughs) And, I mean, we were on some vitamins as well as drinking. (laughs) So, I just remember closing my eyes. And, like, usually that intro to the song is only, like, maybe 30 seconds. (laughs) it's like 10 it's dude, like dude, i swear dude, it dude. was like 10 minutes dude yeah i just was, remember that intro just because it gets so creepy and i just remember being so drawn out and i just remember like my anxiety or something it had to be anxiety or something but i sat up it's crazy that both Alex of you had the immediately same sat up at the right at the same time and we we're like dude like we both said the same thing that intro like, was creepy it was super creepy and it lasted forever <laughs> like legitimately scared me like that i yeah. had no, i had to sit up i was like <sighs> like take a breath alex take yeah. a breath mixed uh, with like everything spinning it was just oh man it was on another level not to move on too far from why it's because my life keeps going and getting drunk stories but uh <laughs> i also remember making you making fun of me because i was crying about the fucking father of the bride <laughs> like oh my god dude yeah Oh uh, yeah, seen Father of the Bride. Mm. It's got Steve Martin in it. It was one of those nights where like we already got drunk, and then the next day we woke up and started drinking again. Yeah. So I remember it being like maybe one o'clock, maybe noon, and like they had a movie marathon of Father and the Bride Part One and Two, and me and Alex watched both of them, and we, like we were just kept drinking, taking vitamins. <laughs> and I'd like in Father of Bride Part Two, spoiler alert, in case you don't know, he sells the house. And he loves this house. He, he talks for like the house. minutes in the first movie about how much he loves this house. <laughs> like his kids grew up there. It's where he got married. It's what their first house they bought. Like, his family, yeah. He, like he, this is he, such he a nice house. Basketball. Like he's he built so bent out of shape about it. Yeah. And then he and sells like, it. <laughs> and then he sells it. And I remember Alex is like, This is fucked, man. And I'm like what are you talking about? He's like, oh, why would he sell that house? I would never sell that house. And I like, he was like serious. And I was like, what? And he's like, dude, you telling me you wouldn't sell this house. Look at that house. He <laughs> built a family in that house. That's where he got married, man. He great. Like, and like, it was like, you were was, like, this wasn't serious. like a stick either. Yeah, dude. I was like, seriously. He was serious. I'm selling this fucking house. I was like, like, he was like, I can't believe he sell this house. And he sit there and look like he's stewing, bro. <laughs> like, after his rent, he's just sitting there just, I can't believe he sell this That's house. Movie, dude. <laughs> love the movie, too. I've seen it a million times. Love that. Love them both. Mad they are that. their movies. Oh. oh, my gosh. But, yeah, I remember that vividly. <laughs> oh, we all drink good times, man. 21st, by the way. Drink and roll and rock. Roll and rock. Vernon, same thing. Was, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> it disappears. Oh, oh, state. That's it's that's a state. mystery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roller rock. Oh man, that's the AVGN beer. That's yeah. all I can think of that. What are you drinking, have, Evan? Coors Light. Coors Light. Coors Light. Man. And you're drowning some shots too. Oh what are you yeah, down? I got this uh, Admiral Nelson's Vanilla Rum. Yeah, I, I am on a little mix. I have the. Uh, Beers of the most wonderful beers of the year. Oh, you're doing that. Um, nice. So it comes with six different like Trogues beers, but I am mixing them with Corona, Corona Light, because those are like heavy, like 13%, 9% beers. And <laughs> you got to watch your, your body's a temple. You gotta... Yeah, my body's a temple. I do drink uh, super heavily and, you know, <laughs> I do I like actually Corona, try though. Uh, no, I like Corona. I actually try now, weirdly enough, because of the show. And I hate to admit this, but I don't know how much, like, I don't know on the pace I can keep that show up. <laughs> it's like, dude, that shit. I like, bet. That's a lot of alcohol, bro. Like, you I wake up some do, like, seasons. Dude, you know what I mean? I'm thinking about Yeah, you're not, it's not something you're going to be able to do, like, year round. I feel like you're going to have to have, like, seasons is a good like, one. 
Like, Here's my idea and what I think I hope it goes to. Right now, because we're in such like tight schedules, we work, we got kids. If it ever shoots off and I can do that like as my job, just sure, do that. Yeah. I can do a beer or two a day. I'm cool with that. I'm I can totally handle my body. But when I'm going in and I'm doing eight beers every other two weeks, dude. Yeah, like, you're getting sloshed I'm doing getting every, like sloshed. each episode. Yeah, dude. Sloshed like it was ten years ago type of oh, shit. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> like yeah. whenever we would It's one thing eight. if you could film like a segment every day. You know, yeah. you're only one or two beers. I know it's not I a big deal. Be able to do that shit, but dude, if like all that the time. day, dude, you're you're Rough. going minimum four, right? Minimum. Well, no, uh, yeah, minimum four, but well, because of the guessing game and shit, you do more. Yeah, I mean, you drink you drink one for the guessing game, but you don't always drink the full one. No, you uh, but you don't drink... want, you want to though because you don't want to waste it. So, oh, dude, we th- I've told you guys before we. We basically dump a whole case every episode. Like oh. the case where we do like the guessing game and we take all those out and we drink like a sip or two out of them. We dump the rest of those beers. And that's basically a whole case of beer. Yeah. Like just wasted $25 just dumped down the drain because we're not going to finish it. We tried putting them back in the fridge and I was like, oh, I'll yeah, drink you're them not going to drink that. Not gonna drink the day like it's never gonna happen mm-hmm. we just i try, always try to tell storm i was like it's just cost of production man <laughs> cost of production like you think on those cooking shows and they cook those like meals and shit like they eat all that shit no they fucking take one slice out of it and that's it like <laughs> then that has to do with my next topic but we'll get not, to that we'll get to that but it is affecting me at like uh another level yeah i mean that's a lot of alcohol i've been and trying not, to drink just once but less. consistently I've been trying to drink less on on like days we're not filming. I've been trying to like, all right, because then I can kind of justify it. But I started yourself. I started that TikTok too. Where I got to chug a beer every day. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't really a good business decision. I mean, it was a good business through. decision. Yo, it wasn't a good decision I, for your body I and your health. Want to download TikTok just to like? <laughs> do you do this every day? Do you oh, post okay. this video? Yeah, every day. Every, <laughs> almost every day. I got Something, I. Cause like you got like, hey, this is Alex Tap that posted another video, chugging that beer until I get two million followers. Let's go! <laughs> like yep. like day four hundred and sixty five. <laughs> like you got like fifty thousand followers. Yeah, hey, it is Alex Tap that subscribe? Make sure you like subscribe. To chugging a beer every day until I get two million subscribers. <laughs> Just like <laughs> to be fair. Thing. I don't always finish the beers. Sometimes I just call it quits, and I call myself a pussy. I'm like, couldn't do it today. Sorry. <laughs> and most days, I'm only doing that beer. Like, I'm not drinking and then chugging a beer. Like, I chug the beer, mm-hmm. and I move on with life. And usually, <laughs> it's like a Corona or something. Like, it's not, I'm not yeah, chugging, like, 10% or something. Chug the yeah. beer, like, that's still great. Like, you uh, don't have to finish the beer. I'm not, <laughs> like, I don't care. If you, like, I just think that shit is great. Like, no, I think I, it's funnier. In the grand scheme of things, that shit is so What funny. we've been trying to do also is like people have like those TikTok trends and shit. Obviously, you guys know TikTok is like they have trends and stuff. So we've been trying to like incorporate that yeah. with it. Like yeah. uh, we just filmed one. We didn't release it yet because we, we kind of try to stay a couple days ahead of ourselves. Um, he uh, just filmed one. There's like a trend where people are like teach you how to make bread and shit. <laughs> and like you can duet things. So yeah. me and Storm are watching it duetted. And we're like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then we're just like, mm-mm. And we just, like, start chugging a beer. Like, we just cut it off and just start chugging a beer. Like, no, I'm okay. So we've been trying to, like, stay on the trends. The only yeah. thing we can't do, which is most famous, is, like, the dance trends. Because you don't want to see me and Storm's skinny ass twerking on TikTok. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> chugging beers while you're dancing, bro. <laughs> but it's fun, man. I mean, I actually kind of like it, like I said. I mean, it's been enjoyable. TikTok is the most instant gratification website you can get dude like it is so minimal effort and i'm sure Mm -hmm. other tiktokers put like tons of effort into their videos i don't i sit and chug a beer and move on with life (laughs) but like it takes me growing too as far as like 60 seconds to record this video another 60 (laughs) seconds to edit it real quick and it's online 105 views later two comments and i'm i'm ecstatic to get 105 views i'm like yeah dude i read this uh article of this kid that worked at sharon williams that got fired he was posting tiktoks of him mixing paint and he got like a million followers and they fired him (laughs) yeah they fired him but he was he was throwing blueberries and shit into the paint and they fired him (laughs) for it 
because he was doing it on company time. But he bought the yeah. paint that he mixed. Like, he bought it himself. He didn't just steal it. But, yeah, like, that's wild. But, I mean, that's funny. I get Dude, it. Some not not something I'd watch, but, hey, I'm sure I someone follow does. This. Everything has its audience, mm-hmm. man. I follow this lady cop who like who just does TikTok dances in like her cop uniform and shit. And like people are always hating on her. You're like, go do your job, blah blah. And like, yeah, what you doing? Do your job. One dude, like, <laughs> sergeant, know you're doing it. And she's like, hey, sergeant, you like my TikTok? And he's like, yeah. And then they start dancing together. Like, <laughs> like, come dude, on, dude, people. my tax paying money at me. <laughs> These motherfuckers doing TikToks on a job. Yeah. I'm paying for this salary. We got Rush Jumper on the podcast on Squad Pod. <laughs> Rush Jumper. That's just, yeah, oh man. my god. Just god, let her fucking do her TikTok. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh just let her do god, her TikTok that's... and move on. I do find it like TikTok's the first like big major thing that came out that like I felt myself being old because I was just like no. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's but how now, I like, still feel. It. And I'm just like, all right, man, I'm just being old. Like, this is nothing new. This is a variation of something we've already had. It's it's Vine. It's Vine, yeah. What more streamlined. Yeah. Like, way more, yeah. like, The, the ability to just swipe from video to video to video is amazing. It's, like, it's that's, amazing. that's it's genius. Incredible. Yeah, it's incredible, you know? Like, somebody came up with this idea, and I'm glad they did. Like, I'm not a huge, like, follower of TikTok. I don't watch a ton. But I have to say, when I do watch it, I do find myself on it for an hour at a time, you know, 20 minutes at a time. Like, I'm like, Marissa will send me a TikTok video and I'll watch it and, like, I'm on, going to the bathroom, scrolling through fucking <laughs> 600 TikToks, just cranking through, you know? <laughs> like, so, good for them. Good for TikTok. Shout out to TikTok. China. Whatever, man. China. They gotta make China. their money, too. I, am, I don't care who makes it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were almost drive, banned, man. I drive a car in Germany. Vernon drives a car a German made. What do you drive? Why? A Mazda? Mazda. Korean made that. I'm Japanese. You drive super yeah. <laughs> Japanese made that. I'm not I'm not saying well, anything not about that. China. 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 <laughs> what do they make? Do they make Hyundai's? Does China make Hyundai's? Or is that Korea too? I think that's Korea too. Does China make know. any China makes literally everything that I've everything got else. in my room. Honda's. Yeah, <laughs> Honda's. I think Japan made my. Mazda. I'm pretty sure China. I'm pretty yeah. sure Japan's Honda. It sounds yeah, Japanese. I think Japan's you say Honda. 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 That sounds Honda. Honda. That sounds Japanese. I need another beer. I'll be right back. Yeah, I do too. Right. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna look it up. All right, Alex, you Break you uh up. you investigate that. I need another beer too. Hey, I don't know, man. It is Japanese. He's right. China makes Hondas. No. They no. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Make Japan. <laughs> right. I don't know what kind of car China makes. I don't know if they sell China cars over here. Look that up. Yo, Brittany made this pie for tomorrow, and I want to eat it now. <laughs> eat it. It Eat looks so good. It's, Eat it. She. It Let's was funny. It, she was Listen. like, she made this banana, like vanilla wafer pie, and she's like, "Why did I make a pumpkin pie?" I'm like, "I don't care. I love banana. <laughs> I want it. It looks so good." Eat it now. Yeah. Ford Escorts are made in China. I'd be pissed if I ate it. Ford Escorts. Ford Escorts are made in China. That's <laughs> what. That's not what I mean. Ford Escorts. What, what, what Escorts are made in China? What companies? But Ford is Ford. America made. No, Ford. Henry Ford. Okay? Henry Ford from a... Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> How's he going to sell out to China? Because they all... <laughs> dude, I don't... I'm looking through it and I don't recognize any of these cars, dude. That's what I'm telling you. Holy they shit. They don't sell them over here. Jeeps are made That's the in only thing Canada. They don't sell them. Isn't that some shit? <laughs> All right, but if you look on their joint ventures, they've made like all the, like they've they've partnered with people to make like BMWs, Fiats, Ford, GMs, China Hondas, makes all the Hyundai's. parts, and yeah. every other country yeah. know, takes the credit for it. Do you know who owns Lamborghini? I broke the seal, dog. I don't. Um, I do. <laughs> I was just curious. China. It's. It's. <laughs> it's 
Don't look it up, cheater. I'm not. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see them hands. He's like, Hand check. It's, um, it's, um. <laughs> he looks like he's reading something. <laughs> yes. You look like you already looked it up. You already looked it up. I don't know. I, it's not Volkswagen. It's like, it's whoever yeah, makes it. it is. It's Volkswagen? Yeah. Um. No, I thought it was. Uh, you're you're probably right. I'm not gonna like argue with you. Hold up. Now I'm gonna Google it just to make just to make sure because I I'm not I'm like ninety percent sure. Yeah. Not even ninety nine, like ninety. <laughs> That's still a solid A. That's a solid A, man. Solid. Oh, it says Audi, which is Volkswagen. Volkswagen, yeah. Volkswagen Group. Yeah, it's Volkswagen. It's Volkswagen. Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my argument because I pronounce it Audi. And they're like, it's Audi. And I'm like, yeah, why? Because it's pronounced Audi it's in German. It's also like, Deutschland and not yeah, Germany. Do you pronounce yeah, it no, like, <laughs> like, are you, is it a Volkswagen? You? Like, shut up. It's fucking audio or auditorium. It's Audi. Like, <laughs> I I think I say both. I think it depends on the day. I don't, I think I, I, do I, I, think I say both, to be I'm honest. I'm going to say Audi, Audi now just to piss Audi. you off. It's, it doesn't piss me off. Like <laughs> I grew I'm, up knowing Audi. I'm going to say it really Audi. snotty, though. Say, Audi. I don't care. It's Audi. But if you sit here and tell me, it's because the Germans say it that way. Like, I don't give a shit unless you say Witzwagen, because that's how they say it. Witzwagen. That's pretty good, that. though. <laughs> so, like, fuck, I pronounce it however I want to pronounce. I understand how it is pronounced. Don't fucking tell me how Germany is <laughs> Not in America. Is this Germany? Is this Germany? Audi. I think World War II prevented that. Auditorium. It's not audio and auditorium and He didn't fight a second world war for Alex to pronounce it Audi. All right. God damn it. Uh, It's not a belly button, damn it. Oh, I was confused as shit for a second. I I was was too. I was like, wait a minute. I I still don't get it. I still don't get it. Like an Audi belly button. Oh. Audi. Out <laughs> 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 Hey, look, that's why I put a first day hook here. Is I can have a drumstick. <laughs> On that right. note, uh, I did have a subject I wanted to bring up. Which uh, is there any shows or or like that or movies that you're interested in that like necessarily people wouldn't expect you to be in, like into? Like, is there like? Mine, as example, I just recently kind of got, I dove into a, a wormhole of a show on Netflix that's pretty popular, and it's called The Great British Baking Show. Oh, oh yeah, it's a <laughs> <on. laughs> Why? And it is super dope. Okay. <laughs> Brittany loves the Food Network, so I'm all about the cooking shows. <laughs> I do I'm with it. Cooking shows. I'm with yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, Whoa. I've never really it's been in one before. I don't think I'd ever well, sit down and watch it on my own, but Kitchen I'll be Nightmares damned if when it's on, I'm into it. Yeah. yeah. I watch Kitchen Nightmares, like, back-to-back on Facebook all <laughs> the time, bro. I just watched a Kitchen Nightmares episode this evening. Dude, I, <laughs> I get to choose my like what is on tv at work because i yeah. come in first and if it's like a, a sports day i don't care about you know like that sweet spot it's cooking channel on the food network is on and Dude. that's what i watch all what, but what got me into it was like annette watches it and i kind of like i would come in and i'd start sitting there watching it with her and like one what? of the, like the the hosts that kind of talks to like the the contestants oh great is yeah, old Greg is Noel Fielding from from uh yeah, it's Yo, it's old Greg. Yeah, it's old Greg. It's Noel Fielding from the Mighty Boosh. And My... he's like just as weird as, as like so he is his in real brand. life, you know. So his I mean he's awesome. not the one doing the judging or anything. He's just kind of the host that kind of walk, like introduces shit and talks to like the contestants. He's but fun. I mean it's really cool, man. And like at this point, I'm like, man. I kind of want to start baking some shit. This got me wanting to make some shit. Like, I'm they got some bacon. Like, crazy, I like that show like, too, Wyatt. Marissa watches it. No, I don't mind it when it's pretty been cool, baking man. all the like, time. They have I a love couple, it. like, there's like three challenges each episode. One they can prepare for, which is the first one. They have like a technical challenge. And then the third one's like a showstopper. And at the end of each one, they like, you're like the, like, the, that one, like the best one for the week or whatever. And then you have the person get eliminated. But man, that show is pretty cool, dude. Cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm into all it. about like, them. Binge watching it. 
I'm all about those cooking shows. We she's really mm-hmm. into um all of like the championships on like the Food Network. Not necessarily the um the newer one like the Holiday Wars, but she likes the Halloween Wars and um oh, yeah. pretty much all the like all the baking championships where like there's it's it's the cookie cutter. Huh? Uh, like, (laughs) 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 you know, three judges, you know, a bunch of people that get eliminated. (laughs) Vernon laughing from the I remember, like, I wasn't, I'm not big on reality TV. So, I mean, the last thing I really was into as far as like cooking was Cake Boss back in the day. (laughs) I I do remember Cake Boss. But that was like really the only cooking thing I really, I mean, I've watched like, uh, like Hell's Kitchen and Bro, whatever. Kitchen Nightmare, if you haven't. Kitchen, I if love, you haven't gone down I love rabbit hole, do it. Uh, Dope. I'm a big I have. I have. Yeah. But I mean, as far as like a, a, a like a, a contest, like baking type chopped. thing. Have you seen Chopped? I like Chopped, I love too. Chopped. I, I know of it. It's not so I don't like kids. It's not big on reality shows. Yeah, Kid Chopped's either. all right. Kid Chopped's fine. It's okay. But Chopped's dope. Chopped? I, I have an answer for it, and it kind of goes into your thing. Uh, growing up, I'm not super into reality shows too, but like my mom loved like any competition show, America's mm. Idol, America's Got Talent, fucking yeah. anything, anything that was a competition where you voted people, she loved it. <laughs> so like I just grew up watching that kind of stuff. Never was really into it, but one I did love, and it, I mean it's not embarrassing, but like I like it, and not that I watch it on my own time, but if it is on, I will sit and watch it. I like America's Next Top Model with Tyra Banks, dude. I will sit <laughs> and I will watch America's Next Top Model, and I'm completely. I feel you. I've never seen like, it, so like, I was kind of the same way, like with my my dad when I was growing up. Like my dad would watch Survivor, and yeah. like, Whenever it would come on during the weeknights, and I remember really liking Survivor. That was yeah. a cool show. But the crazy thing is, is I haven't seen it since I moved out of my mom's house. Marissa just started watching it recently on Netflix, and I was sitting with her watching it. Judging these pictures of these models, like I, right? was, like, I was that's what I'm like, saying. It's like, like nah, during this baking show, show like, like whenever they cut into it, when they're about to judge, I'm like, that looks too dry. Like, that shit's gonna be dry. <laughs> dry. I don't know like, what the hell I'm talking about, but I'm just like, nope. <laughs> nope and nope, then nope. I'm like, I'm like this dumb bitch. Like she, she's gonna be eliminated. <laughs> she's gonna be eliminated. Look at it. Like, you <laughs> overcooked like it. The... You're stupid. You overcooked <laughs> it. I wouldn't have done that. Isn't that why people love it? That's why people like, love I it. Like I know shit. Yeah. But yeah. like that—that's the one show I watch where I'm just like, I don't know. Like, even getting out of it, I'm like, why did I, like this has nothing to do with my like anything I would be enjoying. I, but I'm I'll watch not it when it's interested on. in any of this other than this show in particular. Yeah, I don't yeah. follow fashion. I don't follow modeling. Like, I don't know any of this shit. They're like it's because you know, it's because mod- you think you wouldn't be interested in it, but like then you start catching glimpses of it, and you're like, wait a bit. Yeah, they're like acclaimed model. Bra 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 bra, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, oh, oh, you what? think they're so good, huh? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'll I'll be the judge of that. Yeah. <laughs> America's next top model. America's next top nothing. America's Trash. Top. You don't deserve nothing. Should have been this other person. <laughs> wow. The only show though, and listen again, like I said, I'm not into like reality shows. I'm with Wyatt. I'm not really into that kind of stuff. Here and there, I will. The only show I absolutely cannot stand that Marissa watches is Teen Mom. I hate Teen Mom. I hate it with a passion. Like, (laughs) I do not want to be in the same room when it's on. All these girls are just whining millionaires. And I'm sure, like, other shows are the same. Like, I'm sure the Kardashians are the same and all this shit. But I don't have to watch any of that. None of that shit's on in my house. Teen Mom's on. All these people are so well off. For getting yeah. pregnant as teenagers and like they're gonna cry to me like <laughs> they're gonna cry to me like you got they're rich and like, <laughs> <"To> me? <laughs> you make more than i do you make more than i do all you did was get pregnant like people <laughs> need not to do it apparently i should not give me it. that kind of money i'll get someone pregnant right now <laughs> pregnant now. who can pay me to get pregnant come on <laughs> jesus <laughs> I hate it. I fucking hate it. Oh shit! I'm oh my god! Love. And she's super successful. She was obviously she was a teen mom too. So I know why she she <laughs> likes. Like, I get it. Get what likes it. Hey, hey, hey. 
<laughs> but Marissa's not a fucking maybe. A, I don't know how much team mom people make, but enough money. <laughs> they all look like they're fucking living nice, comfortable life, striving their goddamn brand new fucking BMWs and bullshit. You know, like, I ain't got no brand new BMW. Yeah, look where I'm living. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, look, look where they live. Look where I'm living. Or so. I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like they don't have. They just got pregnant. They did something you're not supposed to do at an early age. I feel being like rewarded for it. it you're being it, rewarded for it. That show could be very educational and very informative, and it's not. It's not. It's, it's not. not. It's, it's definitely. It honestly, yeah. It, it kind of. Yeah. Even like the Kardashians, why I also think they just got rich for being pretty and doing nothing. At least most of them do are something. doing. <laughs> you know, they're models or they have makeup lines, whether they're just selling it off of their like they're names. Entrepreneurs. Whatever. They're Listen. Entrepreneurs. Kyle's entrepreneur. <laughs> Jenner is going to be the youngest billionaire in the fucking world. And good for her, you know? Like, at least she's doing something. Bernie watches that, the Kardashians. That's, see, I, I don't know if I could get into it. Like, nope. But that's just being born. I would just like it when Kanye comes up on it and be like, any, <laughs> any scene that Kanye's in, I'd be happy to see. I've never, I've never really ever seen an episode, of, not one. Not I'm, one. Just saying, I'm just I saying. I'm just saying. If like he it. does, if Kanye does, Kanye pop in, just be like, does he? Yo, that, yo, 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 yo. Con- yeah, like, <laughs> there are some shows that she'll watch, like that show. When it's on, tuned out completely. I'm not into it at all. But she's like been me, watching because I asked two questions. Wait, what? <laughs> Tune me out. Does Kanye ever show up? I've never seen him, but I okay. tune out, so I'm I don't sure care. Kanye shows up. <laughs> they should make a box set that's just like the just Kanye, Kanye scenes in like the last two seasons. <laughs> yeah, Anyways, yeah. Those shows I tune out too. But yeah, but like she's been watching Gilmore Girls. I get into it. Bad. That's I've seen bad. it too. It's fine. I, I've seen bits and pieces of it. Pretty mm. Little Liars, another show she watches that. Fine. I wouldn't sit and watch it, but like, you know, I'm doing schoolwork and then like one of the, you know, it's a drama. So one of the spicy scenes scenes comes on and people are arguing. I'm like, OK, I want right. to see how this ends, you know, oh, yeah. she's anatomy. Oh, some bullshit happened. I'm like, OK, Grey's yeah. anatomy. Like, I'll like, watch you. Oh, he's definitely mad at her. I want to see why. And is he justified? <laughs> You know? like, ooh, who's getting it right now? Yeah. I hear somebody getting re- like reamed <laughs> out. Like, know who's who or what? Who's going somebody's to be like... getting the business right now? <laughs> I What's need to pick on? a side. But see, now I, I do know who's yeah. who. What's some I context here? Involved. What's going on? Because start asking her. It's one of those situations in your relationship. You pick your battles, and if you gotta watch TV, like at least make it something you kind of like, or just oh, I... enjoy. Just enjoy yourself as best as possible. You know, like yeah. just like sit there and enjoy yourself as best as you can. Like if you're just gonna be a miserable prick down there, just just go away. That's yeah. probably like how Cake Boss, like not Cake Boss, but uh, the the British Baking Show. Yeah. Like that was just something she would watch. I would go in and play games, yeah. and then like I would come out and I'd be sitting with her, watching uh, it, and then all of a sudden yeah. like. She'd be watching it whenever I cut, like we start chilling, and then she's like, "We put something else on." I'm like, "No, no, keep this on. I'm good. You good?" There's Go a ahead. lot of shows that have done. And that. then like yeah. now we're just like, that's what's coming on whenever we sit down and watch TV. That's what we put on. I'm just like, these stupid people. Why would you mix that with that? That's not going to taste good. That looks dry I, as shit. We left it in too long. I do hate though, and this just speaking on watching TV with your significant other, like there are shows that are like her shows, there's shows that are our shows, and mm-hmm. there's shows that are my shows. Yeah, I hate when she does join me watching my shows, and then she starts to like them, and she's like, <laughs> "What's going on? Can we, can we rewind? Can we go back?" And I'll have to go back fucking like a season and rewatch this thing with her, and I'm like, "No, you didn't express any interest in this, and you just said no, you didn't want to watch." Because I ask, I always ask. Do you want to watch this with me? No, it doesn't sound like The Witcher was one. Oh, though, man. I was I just about to say two that. Two episodes in, and she was like, I'm not interested. You're good. Two episodes in, she was like, I'd like to watch this. This looks kind of cool. And I'm like, <laughs> I, she, Brittany was not like that. She was actually kind of interested from the beginning, but kind of like, yeah, we'll watch it. No, that's okay. We can watch it. But then, like, she got interested into it. So. <laughs> But she also watched me play the game a lot, so she kind of did that, actually yeah, understand some of the had, stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. She never watches me play games. She's she's done with that. Brittany actually was really interested when I was playing The Witcher near the end, and then uh, with like Blood and Wine and stuff. She was actually she watched me play it. I, w- I wish she would watch me play shit. Oh, play yeah, I I wouldn't expect her to. I'm surprised she did. My 
She only I watch play me play Switch. games if they're scary games. Yeah, my <laughs> like, that's Switch. the only game she's interested in. She's like, I'll I'll watch you play scary games. And she wants like, to watch you jump. I'll be. I I'll watch you play scary. She games. just like we just like watching horror movies and shit together. So I mean, that's like the only thing. Like she's not interested in like Spider Man. Like because yeah. like PS Five, <laughs> I was like. She's like, I'll watch you play something. And I'm like, I'm gonna be playing Spider Man oh, after I'm done playing this. <laughs> there is one game, one game. Brittany, would I will. Watch I'll us get play. there. Like in our squad nights, Brittany would actually sit up and watch us play GTA because of how yeah, funny I GTA you is. That. Like, just, really? This I think stupid that shit. would be the one I think that like you wouldn't watch. No, but it like, is like we we start doing things like the snowball fight. Oh my! You the know, snowball like fight. who doesn't want to watch yeah. that? That's funny. We need GTA Six soon. That yeah, way, right. we can all like get back reconnect on online. My neighbors back are that shit. yelling at each other right now, like oh, crazy man. loud. You should put the I, mic up I, to the I, wall. I probably yeah, could. I want the mic I want up to, pick, to the wall. I want to pick a side. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, side. This is what we're talking turn, about. Turn your game I would up. just pick her This'll side be... because she's crazy. <laughs> 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 No, I would like to pick a side, and then I'd like you to knock on the door in an hour and tell them which side we pick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Be this like, person's you're wrong. Right, I'll go over in like yeah, an hour. Yeah, and be yeah, like, you, you're wrong. You totally got this wrong. All right, he's totally yeah, right. Like, listen, I heard the whole argument. <laughs> you're, you're fucking wrong. Oh, that's you're funny. Wrong. I don't I'll know. What, I don't know buddy. if you guys Majority or if your significant others are like this, but Brittany's very nosy with some things, like. She's always listening in on oh. stuff like that. <laughs> like to Marissa me, stalking, I, could, I, I care. Marissa's is like Facebook's in. I'm like, are you friends with these people? She's like, no. And I'm like, why are you on their Facebook? <laughs> like, why? And that does the same thing. I know. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I guess I get it. It is. It's interesting, I guess. But you yes. know, like, if I hurt, I hear the arguing, and I'm like, oh, okay, they're arguing. That sucks. Like, I can hear them over my my stuff. But like yeah. Bernie's like, turn everything down, turn the lights off. Like, Cup gotta listen. <laughs> it oh, it yeah, can be entertaining versus, though. Versus like, I used to go to school or I used to do a club with a girl he used to date, and and now I'm just on his Facebook, and this is his new girlfriend. And I'm just like, <laughs> who cares? So what? <laughs> so what? Does this, and does this have any of importance or, or affect our lives at all? Like she just she goes down rabbit holes, dude. Just like, like we have kitchen listen, nightmares hire, and they have Facebook profiles. All right. If I'm gonna hire a private investigator, it's yeah. gonna be Marissa. Like she, <laughs> she's never gonna leave the bed. She's gonna figure it out on Facebook. Be like, oh, give me five gonna, minutes. <laughs> she's gonna do it. It's gonna be great. But ah, uh, but yeah, Wyatt. I want to talk yeah. about your recent package that you've oh. delivered. Been delivered. The old. Oh, oh, there oh, it our, is. Our, our controller, huh? Control. Weird. Yeah, let's let's yeah, hear bought, about I it. Bought just a controller. Just got oh, it, huh? Oh, there you go. Five, oh. chill it. Mm. There she oh. blows. Oh. <laughs> I want yeah, it. Yeah, man. Oh. It's it's amazing so far, man. Uh, we do have an unboxing video. I'm, mm-hmm. We're gonna be putting up here soon that I made. Uh, I mean, I've only really had a, like an hour or so with it so far, but I am I am loving it. It feels like a next gen console, and not only just a next gen console, it feels like it's something brand new, you know. And especially, I kind of talked to you guys about it a little bit earlier. That controller is no joke. Joke. Yeah. That is probably one of my favorite controllers I have ever used, man. Earth it off. feels it feels so nice in your hands, like the grip on it, um, the haptic feedback, and the vibration in it is so realistic like if you're walking on ice or a gravel you can feel it like the vibration um especially the triggers um playing i think it's like the astros playroom that comes with the the ps5 already loaded on it it's a great game it's like a platformer like little like cartoonish type game i sent you guys a couple screenshots Mm -hmm. But it's like it's celebrating the history of the PlayStation within this game. Each level is based around like the PS1, the PS2, the PS3, the PS4. And you unlock all these like different things. And throughout each level, there's a like a ton of game references through each one. And it's really cool. Um, but I mean, that you should, it kind of makes it so you really uh, kind of experience everything the controller has to offer, like shooting a bow you can feel the tension in the trigger as you're pulling back the bowstring. Wow. Um, yeah, like 
kind of it kind of gives you the uh feeling of shooting a gun and it kind of like has some like hesitation like mm-hmm. you have to like force yourself to pull that trigger and it's like it's so like it's so hard to describe but it is amazing it's definitely a next gen console a next gen controller um only thing I'm kind of iffy on is still the party system that they kind of integrated. What the hell? Um, yeah, I'll fix with that. that. that and that, I haven't found soft. any way to change a, a background or a wallpaper on it. I think it's just I think whatever I've is heard on there. that actually that they removed uh, like custom uh, wallpapers. Uh, yeah, at, this, yeah. Like I'm that. sure they'll add it maybe eventually. Because I'm sure like people will let them know. But I had my Witcher. That was one. The, that's really was my only Witcher. gripe so far. New beer. Um, <laughs> It could do a better job of trying to like, because there's so many PS4 games still on there, mm-hmm. you know, especially with like plugging my external hard drive in. It's like, it's kind of hard to tell which, because if you look for, if you click on a game and you click on the options within like, you know, the game menu, yeah. if you find it, like on the, like the PlayStation store or something, it gives you, if you click on like the side little like three dots, mm-hmm. it gives you the option for PS4 or PS5. It okay. doesn't tell you really. If it's a PS4 or PS5, it took me a minute to find that Spider-Man remastered because I wanted to make sure it was like the actual PS5. Yeah, version you don't want it. to just download the PS4 version. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, I I love it so far. The the controller is amazing. The console is huge. <laughs> like <laughs> it like I already big. knew it was gonna be big, but like you really don't understand it until you see it in person how big this console is. Um, other than that, man, it's it's. I love it so far. I can't wait to actually start playing some like games like Miles Morales that I got mm-hmm. here in Demon Souls. I mean, I'm even going to start the the Spider-Man remastered before Miles Morales just so I can kind of get caught up on the lore within the game. Um, but I mean, I told Evan about it earlier. Like I was able to transfer all of my saved data from Spider-Man 4, I mean Spider-Man from PS4 into this new one Mm -hmm. so i get all of my achievements on this remastered plus i get to start new game plus on the remastered just because so i get all of my shit all of my costumes that are already unlocked all my like stuff i unlocked all my skills that's already going to be on there man when i start the remastered one so that's going to be cool so they are like slamming the door like there's some shit going on over here oh shit (laughs) sorry (laughs) um but i mean other than that uh, I mean, I've tried to kind of explore everything I can. PlayStation Store seems like it's a little easier to browse, okay. and there's, there's no there's no load time on it, man. Speaking of that, there's no load times on like anything so far that I've that I've seen. <laughs> like, you pretty much boots up instantly. Um, I kind of described like the PlayStation <laughs> button. It kind of uh, like if you press it, it brings up a hub menu where you kind of <clears> access <throat> everything. If you hold it down, it takes you to the the actual the system menu like i mean it's, the it's opposite great. of what it currently is yeah and i mean like the controller is amazing it has a built-in mic to it like if you didn't have a mic on like, like if i wanted to just plug headphones into it you could just talk and the, the controller will pick up your voice yeah uh but i mean it's it's really cool man i i can't wait for you guys to experience it it's it's amazing oh, yeah. it'll be forever um yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to actually get into... So I'm expecting the camera here. I'm going to be start streaming here soon. Um, especially when we play Squad Nights, I'm going to be streaming then, too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be trying to play Demon Souls, man. I know Alex is far superior in those kind of games than I am, but I'm going to do my best at it. Because, I mean, I've seen the, the gameplay on it. It looks amazing Block. from what I've seen. Block and be patient. That's all Block and do, roll. Man. Block and roll, man. Be patient. <laughs> You're not you're not gonna go hack and slash anything. You're gonna just yeah. take your time. You mean you just you're just not gonna hit square a bunch oh. of times and then a triangle nope. here or there and then win? Nope. Oh. Take your time. Hold that shield Pretty. up as best you can. But yeah, the, the touchpad and everything's still there. That's all cool. I mean it has a light bar around the touchpad and mm-hmm. like the kind of the sound and stuff is within the touchpad too, it seems. I definitely um, it's nice to hear though that it's worth the extra ten dollars. Because I mean, the DualShock Four was like what sixty dollars, I think. Yeah, and this is, is seventy. Much. Ten extra dollars. Dude, for and all I mean, that. I mean, I haven't really, I haven't played any really other games other than the Astro Playroom. That Astro's Playroom is designed specifically for you to experience everything the PS Five has to offer, pretty much. Yeah. Within like the controller, it's like and a everything. Game. It already has me 
hooked. Like I am ready to experience what other games have to offer with like the tech demo, yeah. <laughs> and everything. Yeah, like it's I am excited for this next gen already, and I have yet to really dive into it. Dude, I'm super excited for Miles Morales on PS5. I know That's I can get saying. it for PS4. I, just, I have Not like while you were gone, I I have that already downloaded plus the remastered first one. So I'm yeah. gonna play through the first one and then Miles Morales. Again. I don't know if I can even like play through the first one. Like I'm so excited to play Miles Morales that, and I hundred percent of the first one. So like I, did I don't too. know That's, if I need like, to go back. Well, I mean, I was while you were gone, I'll, I'll kind of run it over again. Like you can transfer <laughs> your save from PS4 to this one. So, you just so look pretty at much, it. pretty much, I have all. I start. I can play New Game Plus already on it, mm. and, and I'll have all my skills. All my costumes. Does it have all the DLC? That would be cool. Yep. Yeah. It comes oh, with all the DLC. Yeah. I might go back and, and I haven't run played the, the DLC. DLC. Me either. So, so I might run through the DLC and, and do yeah. it. So I mean I mean I should be able to run through it pretty quickly. Um but I'm I'm super hyped to kind of dive into it. I have off the rest of this week and this weekend. So Oh, that's we'll awesome. Time. You gotta get some time, yeah. Yeah, really. That's nice. I um I was gonna say something, but I totally forget. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually want to go back to drinking when you guys are done with this. But if you oh, guys aren't done with it, I mean, drink. I'm pretty much done. I mean, that's that's pretty much the gist of it. As far as like the console and everything goes, I kind of cover that in the unboxing video. Yeah, I'm, which I'm excited to watch. I haven't mm-hmm. seen yet. I want to talk. Though. I want to. I want to go on. Still celebrating this 21st. <laughs> I want to hear the story of the drunkest you guys have ever been. I feel like that's where you were going with that. When you started that, oh, man. <laughs> I just want to know personally. I, I want to know whether I was involved. I want to know. I'm gonna say, I, I okay. I'm gonna start because my stories aren't that interesting. So, oh, mine's not super interesting either. But well, I mean, mine's like really not that interesting. So I don't drink that often. Seriously, like I, yeah, I seriously, the fine. most I've ever drank were with you guys, and it's not that much. But um, <laughs> hmm, I'm gonna say. I'm going to say it may have been Pittsburgh at first, but then I leveled off because when you guys were in your seats and then before you guys came up and started dancing with me at that chance concert, I I had like two mics, hard lemonades really fast because I had no yeah, one to talk to. And I was I was alone up on those like up in the stands. So I drank them really fast. and They were like the big ones. So oh, yeah. if you got nobody to talk to, that's all you, that's how you fill the void. Well, that's just it. Yeah. I had no one to talk to and I knew like three songs. So I was like, all right, I guess I'm doing this, but, um, <laughs> but I'm going to say at the end, probably my bachelor party because mm. I was there. Oh, we, I was there a long time. We like, were drunk your bachelor party. I was, I was, yeah, that was, that was a long time, but yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I could think of one of two times. One does involve you, Alex. <laughs> um, and that was when we went to where? What? Shippensburg. Oh God. <laughs> and it was a Shippensburg party that you were like, "Hey, man, I I, I got invited to like a party down here. You want to join me?" Or I was like, "Definitely, I'll go with you." And I remember it was a long night. I remember us partying at the like the one like dorm area like playing pong and stuff that was pre-game and then like i remember getting super lit and then we like kind of went from party to party and i remember one that we went to we've talked about before not on the podcast but we i know i think we told Vern before was when they played in the cut by wiz khalifa oh, at the party and that- this dorm was packed full of people like tight and as soon as that the chorus comes in for in the cut, everybody's jumping, bro. And it was amazing. The whole house it upstairs was like, and everything. Like, <laughs> it's <laughs> like you were in a club <laughs> in the middle of this house and everybody was jumping. And then I remember like I just kept drinking and drinking. <laughs> we went to a party and at this point I'm just like stumble around, just following Alex at this point. We went to a party that we were not like halfway through. And then got kicked out because we weren't invited. No, like we got there. <laughs> you got through. I got kicked out. You got through. You were all the way on the back porch drinking. And I had to swing around. And I was like, Wyatt. And he was like, I'll be out. And he comes out with a new beer, dude. He didn't kick Wyatt out. Kicked. I mean, we were. I remember to be- something like you, like you guys yeah, getting kicked out. I got and kicked like, out. 
I don't remember how I got out. I just remember people getting kicked out. And then <laughs> and somehow we got like, the hey, sheets. Man, it's all cool. Somehow Dude. we got the sheets <laughs> and got food. And I remember us going to sheets and there being cops there. And we were underage, like wasted <laughs> in sheets. And these cops didn't. Yeah. Didn't care. They didn't care at all. <laughs> there was so and many. We went back to the food. dorm. And then we started partying again, playing beer pong and everything. And we were outside, chilling for a minute. And then I was just like, all I remember is being outside and then waking up. Like, I remember <laughs> us being outside, chilling, and then waking up inside. <laughs> like, not even laying down, bro. I remember sitting up against the wall <laughs> on the floor, just sitting up against the wall like this. And I just remember waking up and people are sleeping all around <laughs> me. Like, I was like, oh, my God, like a, a headache from hell, bro. I was so hungover. And I remember you were up as well because you're like, I got to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I remember dry, you were driving me home, and I was just like, bro, I just not feel good at all. And I remember being so sick the rest of that day. And I then the I other time, work. yeah, you went to work, dude. I don't yeah. know how you did it. And then the other time was with Cody. Me and him went out to the G-Man when we were living in Carlisle <laughs> nice. and ended up like meeting up with a couple because I lived next door to my boy Dan. A couple of his friends were at the bar. And I was like, hey, I know these people. And we started hanging out with them. Before you know it, me and Cody weren't even paying for drinks anymore. As soon as we like got close to finishing our drinks, they would buy us more. <laughs> and then buying shots That's on dangerous. top of that, me and Cody were just chilling with them. And then they're like... <laughs> All right, let's go to Alibis down here. And so we went to Alibis, had even more drinks with them. And then I don't even remember leaving. I just remember waking up in the house, <laughs> like in our apartment. And I just remember being in, right inside the door with the door shut. <laughs> All my clothes on, just sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Cody is right above me laying the other way diagonally, <laughs> sleeping with his clothes on, just chilling. And my alarm goes off and I got to go to work. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I just remember, like, we were just like, we didn't make it, like, 10 feet as soon as we walked to the door. The walk to the door, door shut, and just laid down, bro. Like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's probably the drunkest I've been, to be honest. <laughs> uh, me and Cody out there in Carlisle. I want to piggyback off of your Shippensburg story. I have a crazy, it's not about how drunk I was or anything. I have a crazy story that happened in Shippensburg one time. It was probably two or three weeks after our party down there. I was down there again and I'm standing with my boy on like a deck and we're watching these two girls. They're like, like, it's like a raised deck, you know, where like you can't get to the ground. Like it's up high. Mm -hmm. So like, we're watching these two girls and they're yelling at each other <laughs> and it's a it's an african-american girl and a white girl and like as we're talking like these these just clomber to people get behind <laughs> these two girls okay <laughs> and there's probably 40 50 people down there like a lot of people watching these two girls yell and they yell for another couple you know minute two minutes white girl stupidly said the n-word call oh, this girl the n-word this dude comes out of the crowd and cracks this girl right in the head. And it was the craziest thing. I, oh like, my God. it only lasted for like 30 seconds, but like everybody in this like mosh pit just formed together and started fighting. And I'm just standing <laughs> on this porch, just watching. It was like a war. <laughs> it was like a war you. scene. I was just like, should they just like. Oh, like, who were they just fighting like, against? Everybody, just like each other. They were just like throwing each other. People were hitting each other. <laughs> girls were hitting dudes. Dudes were hitting girls. Like it was like <laughs> this crazy, crazy thing. It only lasted for like seriously 30, 40, 50 seconds, whatever it was. It, it, it oh didn't last God. that long, but like it was the craziest like convergence of people I've ever seen. Like, I was they like, they just all decided <sighs> they just got to throw hands at each other. Like, well, I time. think. I think, like, the white girl saying the N-word obviously set well, somebody yeah. off. And then yeah. the dude hitting the girl obviously set, set the, like, the other side off. And it was just like, poof. <laughs> like, it was, it was like watching a nuclear war happen. And I was just like, holy <laughs> shit, dude. And we're all standing up there. I'm trying to, like, 
the funniest part of my story is, is my buddy. His name is Brian. He's pumping this keg. And I don't know if you guys do this, but when you get low on keg, like you have to pump it a lot sometimes. He missed like the entire like actual fight, dude. <laughs> but he like comes up from pumping this keg. And he's like, what? And I'm just like, holy shit. Holy shit. Like freaking out. And he missed the entire thing. It was pretty. I mean, not fun. I mean, it's funny to look back on, but like yeah. I was like, that's holy crazy. shit, Damn, yeah, dude. That's- Crazy thing I've ever seen. I witnessed like just a little war, like a battle. <laughs> like, a war. like it was like crazy. Have broke the seal. I'll be back. Bye, right, Vernon. I want to hear your drunkest story. You got one? Well, shit. When I think about like drunkest story, I think of like three different instances. Me you too. know what I mean? <laughs> like <laughs> honestly, like and like one is with you and I don't even know where we were. It was up at Cody's college. <laughs> oh, Millersburg. And I just remember see like Mac the dude together? Huh? Where, did we see Mac Miller together? Were you there with me? No. That... No, uh, no, no, no. But I, I remember thought... the dude flipping the table. I remember <laughs> I was drinking like a ton of keg beer and me feeling like all bubbly on my ins- like on my stomach. And then like us walking to sheets and me like throwing up. <laughs> Like on the way on the road, like walking and then, like throw it up and then, like walking and then, like throw it up and like look it up and seeing a cop drive by and just like walking and like like I and then getting food. I remember like I ordered a bunch of food and then like I didn't eat a bite of it. I went in the bathroom and threw up more and I was just and then we were like wet and we fucking we passed out and I remember in the morning. We woke up and you saw that dude drinking drank that bottle. Piss. He drank his own piss. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The night his... before. Yeah, Why? The dude, when we were passed out, this dude woke up all hammered and he pissed in a bottle. I saw him piss in this bottle. <laughs> what? And like, because me and Vernon just strolled in. He must have been there for a while. And then like the morning, we we're all waking up and he's kind of sitting at the desk and he takes a swig of this bottle and he's just like, and he just Whoa. puts it down and doesn't say a damn word. But like me, I was like, dude, you just saw that happen. <laughs> like, that dude that just dude. drank his own piss. <laughs> like, that happened. You know? Okay. But like, um, I thought he I purposefully know. did it at first. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. why did uh-uh. he do that? Okay. No, no, no. He just uh-uh. fucked up. <laughs> Another one for me would probably be like, um, oh man, I just had it. Oh, it was my 21st. <laughs> and it was it was bad because like a bunch of people came out and like they all individually were buying me shots. Uh-oh. So I had like I had like t- like twenty some shots like and it, it within like two hours three hours. <laughs> and I remember we were at, we had people back at Wyatt's house um, that were underage that couldn't come out to the bar that were like partying and shit. And then we wa- we all went out to the bar. Everybody who was twenty one. And we drank, 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 and then we were gonna go back to the house and party some more. And by the time we got back to the house, I was like throwing up in the bathroom. I was like, Ugh. And, "Yeah, like, you were already Barry, Barry was there. checking in on you. I remember Barry checked in on you. She's like, you 'You doing okay?'" <laughs> I remember. I remember. I was throwing up in the bathroom, and Kyle came in, and he was just like, "Yo, you all right?" I'm like, "Yeah." I'm, I'm good. And he's just like, I got pissed, bro. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's like, you don't want that like, toilet? All right, man. And like, I just like, remember like, I went from like the toilet to like the, the bathtub. bathroom. I was just like, I was like, you're good, bro. He's just like, all right, bro. And like, I, was, I don't know. I was just, and then like, after that shit, I, I went to your like spare room and I passed out. I just passed out. Oh my but, god, I do remember that. I remember us I playing remember. Edward Forty Hands there too. I think yeah, did, uh, that night we played Edward Forty Hands. No, no, you don't think? No. Well, it's a blur. Maybe not. But li- <laughs> but listen, my my favorite drug drug memory is like at that party of the woods. Whatever, like oh, remember the dude the cops jumped came. over the fire. But like me come- and Wyatt, me and Wyatt were sitting there on that log. Back to back. <laughs> I like, remember, dude. Drunk Me and shit. you were so drunk at that we're time. Like, yo, yo, just lead on me. I'll lead on you. We go like. It was perfect. Teamwork. Me and we were literally <laughs> leaning back to back just like this. And then on one, all of a on sudden, one like big stump. Oh. And then all of a sudden, 
Yeah, but like all of a sudden they're just like, yo, the cops are coming, the cops are coming. And then like I didn't see why until the next day. <laughs> from that moment, from I remember from that because no, I saw you, know, you because I'm with it, why it, it, I, yeah, I, I mean, Alex. it took a couple hours. Yeah. It took but, exactly. Oh, but I remember Alex. we met up with you and we had to climb through your window at yeah. your house. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, but that was, oh my God, that was hours later. But like, it was hours I later. So we got split we up. Took off running and me and Alex <laughs> ended up just me and Alex. That was a crazy we were party. Like, we were like hiding in the bushes and we were just like, I remember Alex was like, yo, I'm so, I'm drunk, I'm tired. I want to fall asleep for like 10 minutes, bro. Just watch. <laughs> just keep watch. Keep I'm watch. just like, all right, all right, all right. I got it. I got it. And I'm just like, then Alex said he was like falling asleep. And he was like, yo. And he went to go tell me something. <laughs> and I was passed out sleeping already. Just like. It had to be like 30 seconds, dude. <laughs> He's like, yo, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And I'm just like, oh, sorry, sorry. But like, all right, we chilled in the bushes for a while. Because then, then he wakes up, up, wakes up, he wakes up and he's like, I got it, I got it. I'm like, no, I'm good, man. I'll just stay up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and to like add on, that's just some of the crazy shit that happened at that party. Oh, I want to tell the whole, I want to tell the whole, tell your side. I want to tell there my was, side. Everything. I just, there were certain parts I remember because like, there were so many people in like the mm -hmm. woods there around this bonfire that we people built. people that were left there that were sleeping and when yeah. we came back, they were still sleeping. I re <laughs> there was a couple of things I remember. I remember. But the booze was gone. Some all the falling in the river in the creek. That, that was right she there. was pissed. She was like, so ah, mad ah, she ah. fell in the creek. She was all wet. It was cold <laughs> as shit. The dude and jumping over the fire. The oh dude yeah, over and the, the, fire. Stick, the the like the log that was sticking up. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I remember Vern lighting a cigarette off of the bonfire, bro. He was oh, like, no. "I could do it, bro." And he was just like, got his <laughs> oh face God. so close to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and like the other thing I remember because like this was late in the night because we were chilling there I was chilling there Kyle, Tim and you everybody everybody and but I remember Kyle and Tim rubbing Vern's head like his hair like... and they're like dude your hair is so dense <laughs> and they're like it's so like fluffy and you're just sitting there laughing <laughs> like losing it laughing oh, while they're sitting there man. rubbing your hair Fuck, and I'm bro. dying because this is all hilarious to me as well. It's like a 70s dude, that party. Movie. Like, man, Evan, this <laughs> party. Ryan Bob slept through the. Ryan Bob was there and he slept through Ryan the Bob. whole thing. Ryan That's Bob. Ryan Bob was there. That's because I fucking hit both of them. I hit Ryan Bob specifically. I don't know about Kyle, but I hit Ryan Bob and I said, yo, the cops are coming. He said, leave me the fuck alone. And I said, okay. And I left. <laughs> yo, and I, I was like, Kyle, Kyle, left. Kyle. He's just like. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and Quentin, Quentin ran off with Tom. Yeah, Motherfucking Tom, dude. Tom was like the delinquent of the, of the area. You know Tom. I, I remember Tom. But he got, like, somehow got split up with Tom. I was with, I don't even remember who I was with, to be honest. I was with a couple people. Justin and Burn. I remember somebody I was with throwing up. Justin, and like, Justin, Justin was there. It might have been Justin, but I remember throwing up, and they're like, "Oh!" And then I just, <laughs> it was like a waterfall, bro, coming out. And I was just like, "What?" <laughs> and then he's just like, he stands up, and I remember him going, "I feel good now. I'm all right. Let's go." <laughs> he's like, "I'm all right." Justin. So Evan, bro, this is probably my my. Like, 15th 16th birthday party i don't know what it is oh, but geez. obviously right. we're too young drinking we're in Way the too young we're in the woods behind the trailer park that's drinking three... the grossest shit ever vladimir this is like this right after i must have moved Hawaiian out of there punch. like this was like punch. a year after that maybe i don't know if you live there but mm -mm, i wouldn't have not at 15 or 16 at, at that point we weren't super friends anyways like me and you so i don't even know if i'd invite you no offense <laughs> Like, I love you now, Ivan, but like I just don't know if I invite you back now. But anyways, so it's like all my friends, which is like Tim, Kyle, Vernon, Wyatt, like everybody. I just said Evan instinctively because now when I talk yeah. about my friends, <laughs> but like um, I was there in spirit. Was there. I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quentin though, Quentin was there too. 
Ryan, Ryan Bob, Ryan Bob, Bob. Ryan Bob. <laughs> Kyle Richards, Justin yeah. Miller. Like I know, I know, I yeah, yeah, buddy. But on top of that, everybody from the Trailer Park was there too. Uh, like, okay, and then like okay. your sister okay. came and brought her friends too. That's why when you said Tom, I'm like Tom was there. Like, <laughs> yeah, like just to paint a picture, people. picture, it was like. You're you're deep in the woods. You walk I know in for a couple exactly minutes, where you're talking woods. about. I know, bro, like for the I, I know where you're talking about. You when you said the woods, I don't. You don't even need to explain creek. it. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. I know. I was yeah. explaining yeah. for the listeners so they yeah. can kind of paint a picture. <laughs> yeah, the creek, it. and on the other side of the creek, that's where we built the bonfire, and there was like kind of like the woods was kind of like circled around where it was. Figured out. And I remember throughout that whole party, me. Alex and Cody took turns chopping this big ass tree down. <laughs> this, yeah. this and we Alex did. And chopping we chopped trees. the whole tree down because we like took turns, like hacking at this tree, and we used that tree for firewood. I remember taking weeks preparing the woods for that yeah. party. Oh yeah, weeks. <laughs> yeah, you it, guys did that. It was like a big deal. I got so much booze. I prepared for this dude. I was buying booze or getting people to buy me booze for like. <laughs> weeks before that dude i had beer liquor i had fucking vitamins i had everything dude like that shit was awesome and so all these people show up like everybody okay and and it's party out. we had a great party it was a great party bonfire shit like that and my fucking sister god bless your soul calls me and she's like there's cops going around the trailer park right now and i'm like oh shit and she's like i just saw him park beside the woods and get out of their car you have to get out of there <laughs> So I'm like, oh shit. So that's when we were like, everybody get out, get the fuck out, everybody move, you know, Scatter. like matter. <laughs> so there's fucking 50 of us running all over the place, yeah. okay? And it's at this point, it's Quentin, Tom, Justin Wyatt, Vernon, me, and I think somebody else is there, but I'm I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember. But we're running down the field behind all the woods. You know the yeah, field. Yeah, I know what you're like. I know what you mean. <laughs> and like Quentin and Tom run this way and everybody else runs this way. And I stop and I'm like, yo, Vernon, I'm not doing this anymore. And Vernon's like, yeah, yeah, let's just chill here. So we're done. Well, I was with the other group that kept <laughs> running. He's with Justin and I think a couple other people like, yeah. and went all the way down towards like bull rope. I was Del just about Del to say they're going down towards Texas Eastern stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So we were at Texas Bro, right we Oh, so you you made it down road. Texas Eastern. All right. Yeah. I remember <laughs> making it to the bull road. <laughs> you made it all the way to the bull road. Hey, down there. I Me. remember <laughs> specifically because that's where the dude threw up. Yeah. <laughs> dude, so we did not make it very far. I mean, <laughs> you made like, it no. the field. I remember <laughs> meeting up, like, because you guys were still out. We ended up meeting up with you guys. Yeah. And Alex went home because he lived so close. <laughs> and then I had to crash at Vern's. And I remember it was like me, Kyle, and Vern, and maybe one other person. We were it's like, Vern's like, man. we got to climb through my window. Be quiet. And, and I climbed through super me, quiet. And I climbed quiet through. Climbed through super, super quiet. And Kyle, who literally slept through this entire thing, he was sleeping at the campsite. While because we ended up coming back to the campsite, the wait, they yeah, just left him there. Kyle, yeah, Kyle tried to break him, dude. He yeah, no, no, no. Like, I mean, the police just left him there. The police, yeah, stuff, the police took the liquor. They were both still sleeping there. Yeah, they took the booze though. They took all the booze. But they just left the, the kids booze. sleeping there. They were sleeping. Yeah, they, just, they, they, they probably tried to sleep. They fuck him up. Wake him up too. Yeah, for real. Honestly, they're like, okay, they're probably dead. Whatever. But like me and Wyatt. Perfectly sneak through this window. Mm -hmm. Perfectly. And I had this like metal futon bed. Okay. And mm -hmm. Kyle sneaks through. And it's like three in the morning. Yeah. Kyle sneaks Wait. through and like kicks yeah. the shit out of the bed, and makes all this <laughs> fucking noise. <laughs> like, like, like he's never snuck through a window before. And I'm like, and my mom just comes in the room. <laughs> like, yeah. She just like, comes through and stares. And just like, <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> and then leaves, and I remember we're just like, <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Sure. Well, like, I remember, I remember that too. Just that. Like, As there's like two more through, kids trying to Kyle's climb through the window. Like, Bro, <laughs> don't, 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 don't. <laughs> before that shit, when we all met back up before we got back to the camp, do you remember when Tom was like sneaking around? Like, I'm gonna let you guys know if it's if the coast is clear, and he was just like. Sneaking around, and then he would be like, Woo! 
were like, like giving us signals and stuff, and we were just like sneaking up, like following him because he was like checking to see if the coast is clear. It was awesome. I remember that shit. Man. I do remember because I remember back. still being drunk, like leaning on a tree like this, like half, like trying to pass, like passing out while he's like sneaking down there. And I was just like, I just want to go to bed. I also <laughs> just like, he called us out to the field and we walked out and a big ass police flashlight shone right in the field. And we we're like, Oh, and we all had to get I down. I remember that. I don't oh, remember yeah. that. Cause God. we all ducked. He was like, safe, safe. And we all came out and it's like, <laughs> like right up there, dude. But I do think you're misremembering. We didn't walk back. Whitmer came in his little two seater car and like, <laughs> Fucking everybody <laughs> popped into this goddamn car, dude. We were like stacked on top of each other, dude. Like I remember this shit, and I we were stacked that. on each other. And I remember I told my mom I was spending the night at my buddy's Dalton's house that night. <laughs> I had because I there was no sneaking in my windows, dude. Not not in my house. I remember having to do the walk of shame, knocking on my door, fucking three four in the morning. <laughs> be like, mom. We all need a place to sleep. And just like fucking eight kids rolling into my. <laughs> oh, bro. We definitely separated no, no. at some point. No, then. No, you, you guys went to your house. Definitely. You guys. <laughs> crazy. Went to your house. Like Justin Miller. You guys knew Justin Miller's parents. No way he was going. It was like me. <laughs> Justin it's like right across the street. Yeah. We yeah, get this yeah. But Dan, my buddy, Dan Dalton was there. Fucking like a ton of people there. It was Quinn. I think came with me. Like, it was like a ton of people. Well, it's your responsibility, you know, to your party. You gotta sure. house them. Yep, I get it. So I took the rap and I was just like, Mom, we're drunk. I'll be punished for it later. But like all these people need a place to sleep and we can't go back to where we planned. And she was so mad. <laughs> Live it. She didn't give me shit that night. She didn't give me shit that night. She just let us all creep in my bedroom. We all fucking lined out throughout my bed. <laughs> Just See, like we only had three in my I room. Had like at least five people, at least five, five to eight people in my bed yeah. at this point, dude. Like, and by the time I woke up, because good for my mom, because she's always been a sleeper, so she sleeps super late. <laughs> by the time I woke up, most of them were gone. Like it was like two, <laughs> just, right, right. Like they just snuck out my house. But like, because I always remember my buddy Dan. He was like, "Yeah, man, I woke up and I went out to your living room, and uh, there's a dude sitting there in his underwear," and I was like. Yeah, that's my stepdad. <laughs> like, <laughs> at me the whole time, and I was like, "Yeah, he was pretty pissed. <laughs> like, he was mad, dude. Like, why'd you go out to my living room?" And he's like, he's like "Man, I was pissed. I needed some water." <laughs> and I was like, just yeah, her. he was pretty pissed. <laughs> he was pretty pissed, dude. <laughs> Yo, know, I remember the one time we had a there different a party in the just woods. Out there in his underwear, bro. <laughs> bro, why? Why? I remember another oh time God. we had a party in the woods, and we got really wasted, and wow. we were like, I, I remember know, pineapple. The pineapple, the pineapple shit. To have a pineapple. But like, and then me and Alex had to go to work. In the morning. Then, listen, I already <laughs> prefacing the story. I already knew you and you and you and Alex had to work. I already knew this. We were <laughs> camping out in the middle of the woods. Cody and Justin were also there. So I was like, all right, Alex and Vern got to work in the morning. That's fine. We're, I'll be here with Cody and Justin. <laughs> we were up until like three in the morning, bro. Oh, yeah. Just and we meet her at like five. It was a small, it was a smaller 30. party. Yeah, but it was like, like we local. ended up building like makeshift tents and stuff. <laughs> Bro, I go to bed. I wake up and it's like it's 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 early because you know how for some reason you always get drunk. For some reason you wake up early. Right, now, right. At least for me, I never sleep <laughs> in when I'm drunk. I always wake up early for some reason. Um, I wake up. It's probably like eight in the morning, dude. <laughs> Nobody's there. <laughs> He's by himself. Nobody. Bro. I'm by <laughs> myself. <laughs> Because I already Alex knew you, these two work. had to work. I already knew that. But Justin and Cody both went home. They just, they just like, I'm going right. home to sleep. Wake up in the middle of the woods. <laughs> I woke up near there. You didn't hung over, hung over as shit, bro. I had to pack up everything, <laughs> he carry it out of the sleep. woods. Right. And then I had to sit there and knock on Justin's door <laughs> so I can use his phone to call my mom to pick me up at that point. <laughs> Bro, I just like I was so hungover, and I didn't care at that point. I was just like, 
Somebody's let me use their phone. I'm <laughs> fucking yo. Yo. <laughs> How could you leave me? <laughs> I was I was a little upset for a minute, bro. I told Cody, I wasn't upset you two cuz you guys had to work obviously. Hey, we we let it known very soon. We and I remember that night because well, I remember Cody that- and Justin, I was like, "You guys fucking left me." Like you went like you, <laughs> you could have told me I would have went with you. Like what are you doing? <laughs> like, two out. separate places too. Yeah. Like they even went like two they both <laughs> had to wake up at Do you think they woke up at the same time or do you think they- one woke up first what? that'd be worse if they I both woke up and be like let's just leave him here like, right? no, he's that's just, fucked. Just, never do that and I just like it. you said earlier drunk as i get as hungry as i get i will always take care of the people near me i would have never done that shit i know you would i would have took you to work with me dude <laughs> i would have went to work with I, you just so i wouldn't have to wake up and like by myself like yeah because me and alex took the same ride to work that's why we both left at the same time <laughs> dude yeah. mcdonald's worked at mcdonald's yeah, man you guys are guilt-free in this you don't have to worry <laughs> i'm still mad at cody and justin about like that. i think it might even be worse too like if one person left the other person had to have consciously been like i'm just gonna leave him here alone <laughs> like, I'm just gonna leave him. <laughs> right like if it was both of them they both made that decision but if it was just one of them they were like Eh, like, they'll be fine. Even if it was the first person who left and was like, all right, I'm out. They're they're both here. Yeah. There's two of them. Like, he's almost clear. I don't know who it was, but he's almost like a little but the bit. the other like, person. Working. Either way, the second... both of them woke up and they were like, I'm not waking him up. I'm just leaving. <laughs> it doesn't matter who wo- if they woke up at the same time or not. Both of them woke up and they're like, I'm just going home. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> because they both had a place to sleep like 50 feet away <laughs> you didn't you know like Justin and Cody could have both I lived like 10 walking. miles away Yeah, they had like 200 yards to walk they had a nice bed to sleep in bro I'm so sorry that even happened to you like I imagine just okay. waking up in the woods but I'd like I, if, I, if I only had like a backpack full of shit I would have walked to be honest but I had like my tarp I made for a tent. I have my sleeping bag. I had all my other my cooler. I had walk. everything oh else. Oh my god, that'd have been a walk, dude. Yeah. Bro, I've done it before. Like not that far. I remember being like I'll be right back. Back way back when I used to chill with Spencer. Way, 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 way back. Um, before I think even we were all of us were kind of partying together. I remember getting like he had a party and getting smashed at his house, and I woke up and I was like uh, it was like seven in the or eight in the morning. I was like, I'm, I'm just leaving, bro. Fuck oh, this. Man. And I, I walked home from his house, which was like farther than Burn Hill. It was like close, a little closer to Burn yeah, Hill, but it was a little past it. that. Yeah. But yeah, I walked, I walked home, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck it. That's crazy. I'm just dude. one of those dudes that are like, I don't want to like bother people. I'm with so you. I would pass out. I'm not gonna yeah. just wake people up unless like it's an emergency if I'm too far away. That I can't walk home. Man, we got but like I hate got, waking people up or bothering people, you know? I'm with that. We got super sidetracked though. I gotta tell my drunk stories. No one ain't gone yet. And I yeah. had and we've talked so long that I forgot my third one. So I only got two. Oh no, I remember my third one. All right. Yes, got all three. All right. Got all three. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First one is a younger story. I'll just roll in from us being younger. I'm younger. I think it's maybe my Oh, I have an older sister, so this is terrible to say, but I think it's maybe my 12th or 13th birthday party, and I'm getting hammered drinking Bacardi 151. And I remember pouring, like, Bacardi 151 is, like, super, super high alcohol content rum. Like, it's, like, 151 proof. I I think that's why they call it 151. Where, like, most vodkas and stuff are, like, 90 to 100 proof. This is, like, 151 proof rum it's crazy it's high yeah. enough that you put a light or two it'll catch on fire and that's why i wanted it at, at 12 or 13 year olds you know fire so i remember lining up like 15 shots and because i wanted everybody at the party to take oh, one oh, and i lit just a, just a little pause real quick because you said fire at 12 or, i remember at this age me wyatt and evan what are lighting skating. stuff on fire what and ollie and over it like that's what we're we're like well, we were skating we weren't over even in the party we weren't even in party mode at this point no nope. i have i have an older sister that i hung out with a lot and i got and you got as you guys very well know i was definitely into the the scene 
much, much before you guys, where I was drinking and vitamins and, and yeah. all that shit. See, like, I was doing it. I didn't get into like, the scene. You never got in. And mm -mm. No, good for you, man. I'm not, like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm going to preface this. I, I don't want to say I regret not doing it, but a part of me does. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> a part of me I does. Some good, understand that's that. some good memory. Between I us. lived a different life back then, and Fine. there's some we'll things. We'll get to it. There's some I didn't things mean I to interrupt you like man, that, man. Okay. Like, <clears throat> but the, you were talking about all the shots being poured. Yeah, so so I pour all these shots, and and Evan, I was saying it's Cardi One Fifty One, so it's like these flaming mm -hmm. shots that you can yeah. catch on fire. There's probably I don't know 15 people at this party. It's for me. It's my birthday party, like 12 or 13, and maybe five people join me in drinking these shots. <laughs> like you take them while they're on fire, you just chug them down. So I got like six or seven more shots in front of me you know like where nobody else is like no i'm good i'm good so i'm just like fuck it you know boisterous 12 13 year olds like, i'm gonna do it took all of these shots my Every god single one of them dude i was so drunk i don't remember from the time i took those shots maybe 15 minutes after that i remember waking up with a shower curtain over me with water like pouring on me because they threw me in the shower and I tore down the curtain <laughs> and they put cold water on me. I remember that woke up for a couple seconds and then, then it all went blank again. And then I remember I woke back up or well, came back to consciousness and I'm, I'm in mid fall, like <laughs> running down a hill mid fall. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Before I even hit the ground, I pass back out. <laughs> like, what? don't remember hitting the ground, but Where <laughs> I must were you have at? In the trailer park. I'm no, in the no, trailer no, park. but like, how did you get from tub to hill? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of story <laughs> that happened before this that we there do is, not, it's not and will not story. know. I, I don't know that story. Uh, all I know is, is Derek, who was my sister's boyfriend at the time, I was know. chasing me down. And he was, he said, he just remembers me running and be like, no, I don't want to go home. And then just being like, and like, <laughs> like going down, dude. He said, you were running like you were a track star. And then you were like a dead body. <laughs> and I hit, and it was, you it's remember. Like your right? brain shut off while you were running. You're just. <laughs> you guys Bro. were. <laughs> like when you like at the bottom of the hills and shit. Like it wasn't winter, but like at the bottom of the hills and shit, like salt would collect mm -hmm. from like all the in the winter. Yeah. So I was slippery. With, like salt in my face. I salt know exactly in my what you mean. Like there's like, cinders added in me, dude. And I was just like, what the? They're fuck? like pebble I, sized. Yeah. Oh yeah, little pebbles. And I just, so I must have fell. And it's some, and then the next point I remember is getting up and I'm crying about my girlfriend at that time. And I, I mid cry, I'm just like mid wine. And I'm just like, Oh, she'll never, I'll never find anybody. I'm like 12. Remember this? I'm like, I'll never find anybody again. Oh, she's loving my life. And I just remember that. And then it's, it's again, it's a blackout. You just remember like the little guys. Oh of... And then I, rem this is the only time I've ever been like, black out drunk well you were and 12 I, so i mean <laughs> yeah i wasn't ready for it and again then i remember the final memory i have is i woke up and i had like 16 pieces of bread like around this trash can with the middles eaten out none of the crust <laughs> <laughs> and i'm over the bucket and they ate a whole loaf of bread just the middle <laughs> <laughs> and i'm over this bucket and i'm fucking I'm like sitting over this bucket, this puke in the bucket. I'm over this bucket and I look at my phone. I remember looking at my phone and I'm talking to the girl that I have a crush on and she's on the phone. It's like three in the morning and she's on the phone. I don't know what that conversation consisted of. Oh my God. I don't know any of that stuff on, but it wasn't the girlfriend that broke my heart. It was like oh, the girl. That it was the next that. girl. All right. It was, oh my God. You've already dude. moved on at this point. I remember, I remember looking down and seeing her name on the phone and being like, Oh, and then, gone and then i the next day no hangover though because i was 12 and bodies bounced back like yeah it was done <laughs> <laughs> just got up i shut up moved on with life dude i remember like because we already talked about like how you got how we would get smashed at my house all the time the other story i can remember is one of our nights where we went through like two cases of fucking beer and we were just ripped up to like three or four in the morning we woke up at like nine in the morning to go take our 
our like our, our exams to get into oh, like exams. community college. <laughs> <laughs> like we woke up Stupid. hung over as shit and me and, and we're like, we gotta go, man. And I was th- I was puking, bro. Alex at that point, he was hung over, but he's like, I'm good, I'm good to go. And I was just like run into the bathroom, just Bruh! and like I was like, all right, man, I'll I'll go. <laughs> and like I was driving too. So I was driving the whole way. We went to hack, took the exams. I was so hungover. I felt like, like and right after Alex, was like, we did good. We're going to go to Outback. <laughs> He's like, we did good. Let's go to Outback. Not Outback. We went to Old Country Buffet. Oh, <laughs> Old Country Buffet. And I remember we went to Old Country Buffet and me and him got like three or four big ass plates of food, dude. And we were just sitting like we would go get one, sit it down, go get another one, sit it down, and we would just sit there and Mac- we would just talk and we were just macking. So good. Oh mm-hmm. my god, dude. And, <laughs> and I just remember he's like, We did good. I didn't do <laughs> well by the way in those tests. Because he was like the whole time I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I can make it. I, I'm so sick. He's like, You could do it, man. We, we just we gotta take these tests. <laughs> <laughs> and we did bro he talked me i remember it. the one time me and justin were playing like literally like that's how old we were we were like it was like maybe 13 14 <laughs> so we were like playing it is in his yard and it was like dusk it was like pretty much like the, the street lights came on we were about to be going yeah chilling on the inside you know what i mean and like we're out here <clears throat> i don't know if we were playing football or what and like all of a sudden out the shadow <laughs> comes, <laughs> comes Alex, bro. He's just like, yo, yo, yo. And he's just like, he is like drunk and shit. We're just, what the? F-? And he's just like, like laying on the yard. And we're just like, yo, what the, what the? And he's just like, man. And he, he was like tore up because of like all this. Sh- I remember that girl was like, on your lap at the up you because you told us later what happened. Oh, I moment. know exactly what this is. Yes. What's the girl who like talked to you and then like puked on the side? You're like, oh, oh dude, you, the, you told us about all this afterwards, but yeah, I remember like getting yeah. you like finish oh, this like, story. I just want to interject with the girl. Finish definitely finish because oh yeah, yeah I was like, him, oh, way too young. All it is is just I remember you coming up and just being like crazy, like not quite like crying, but like because you were upset about it, but just like drunk as shit because you just were, like went through some shit. Get out of there. Right. I like, just, you just like went through some shit. Like I was, I was that one of the Corey, I think his name was. Corey. We had to convince you that we were gonna take you to go see X-Men the next day. To get you home, we're like, yes, we'll take you to go see X Men. I promise you, like, no, we didn't take you. I'm sorry, <laughs> but like, that's we like to get you from Justin's yard to your yard. Like, it was like a 45 minute, maybe an hour long. It's process, also a 45 bro. foot walk. If that, <laughs> it, it is across a road, a two lane road, that, a one lane it's road. It's Imagine. <laughs> Like in between his house and the one right below his, like that's where we where you came, and yeah. to get you, so you ran past your house <laughs> to get to us. To be honest, but like so, like uh, it was just crazy. I remember that shit too, dude. I, I actually remember it too because I I was and full disclosure and being a little more open and honest just because I'm drunk. I was too young to be having sex at this point, and I remember going to this party. <laughs> This this story doesn't have to do with me having sex. I promise. We're not gonna tell my virginity story. But like, so I'm like, <laughs> um, going. I went to this party, and it's like an older kids' party. And this whole time, this older kid and his girlfriend are fighting the whole party. Okay, so we're getting hammered, whatever. And at some point, I'm laying in a bed, and she comes and she gets on top of me, the girlfriend, and she is like, like rubbing me, and she's just like, I'm so sick of this shit. And again, I'm like terrified because i'm just <laughs> way too young to be having sex and i'm just like that's exactly what she wants and i'm just like oh my god oh my god <laughs> so like and plus she's my boy's girl at this point like i we weren't like super close friends but we were like friendly yeah. so i was like no oh. and like i remember grabbing her and i kind of pushed her off to the side and the instant i pushed her off to the side bleh, like exorcist style just oh. vomit 
didn't hit me because like it was the instant because you I pushed her, her off thank god she got away from me and she was just like whoa and alex must have just been like <laughs> up, i walked to the door opened because i was in a room i walked like maybe two steps out of the hallway and Corey, the guy came up to me and he's like hey you know where my girl is and i was like yeah man she's sick in there i was just i was just talking to her but she got sick i was like i was coming to get you and he's like oh cool man he went in there and i left i he lied about that party. I was like, nope. And I left. It wasn't even that. It's probably because, again, he's out. It's like dusk. It's probably like, <laughs> it's like seven, <laughs> seven or eight o'clock. <laughs> it, it sounds like it's wi- like a party that's wi- like winding down, but it's only like eight, seven. Alex just checked, checked out. Like, he's like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. football or some shit. And Alex comes like, <laughs> <"Dumb."> <laughs> I'm just like, yo, you all right? What's going on? He's like, Man, Meanwhile, at that like... time, like me and Vern and Evan are going to New Bloomfield every day after school with like, like skating. skateboarding. <laughs> I'm waking up hungover in my room and like listening to you guys skateboarding outside my house. Oh, you always yeah. skated right outside you, my fucking house. You I live so mad. in the only spot with a nice flat area, okay? Uh huh. Nowhere else, huh? No. 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 Name a spot. That was the best spot. Name a spot. In the Huey, all, the whole Huey, right beside Daniel Flickinger's house, is a whole flat, like a whole yeah, but flat. That no, like but something. that's like a hell of a way. Like, yeah, that was like way uh, down there. Yeah, yeah, yours was the 40 yards. yeah, you were right. You were in the, the prime zone. And then the speed bump was right there. He'd be, he'd be like Blair and Ludacris. Like, <laughs> loud as like, shit. Blair like, and Ludacris. You can hear that shit outside. I'm. I, Busted up my ribs right there, man. <laughs> I remember, like, that's where I fucked all my shit up. And I that's remember where my knees got bad. Guys, a little bit more for skating outside my damn house, but I have to get another drink and I have to be. I, I remember. broke the seal, too. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I gotta grab another beer, too, but I, I got a story. You were too there much. when I busted my ribs, right, Wyatt? No, I wasn't. Yeah, I was gonna say that big ass box, right? That box Jimmy built? Yeah. That I thing remember was a death you trap. guys called me and Vern was like, yo, Jimmy got this big ass box. Come over here and skate this. And I got over there and I went over there and there's this big ass box. It was mm-hmm. like the first day I got the huge box. It. And the same day, Vern fucking busts his ribs, bro. And he goes like, oh, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> he takes his dog and goes home. <laughs> That's literally like the one and only time we I've ever had that dog couple... up at my house. We you were know skating I mean? a couple hours at that point, like trying to like oh. fuck it with this box, and then you just wipe out. I think and you just bro, crack your ribs you, off Vernon, the corner of the box. Happen? Was it because there the box a... didn't have like a thing to like transition from? No, son. I'll tell you exactly what happened, bro. A hundred percent. The box, we were skating it all day, like he said, and then we were getting brave, and we put a gap in between it. Yeah, so I remember like, the gap. I remember the, the ramp, gap. And then maybe like six inches to a foot, and then the box, okay? Yeah. And we're doing tricks, all of it like ollies and shit like that, and maybe a kickflip if maybe we got brave. Maybe someone did I a kickflip. <laughs> I, I don't remember what it, what it was, but I tried either a kickflip or an ollie, and I thought I was going to bail. So I tried to bail. And landed on the board, yeah. and went, and my ribs landed on the metal fucking rail yeah. that we put on the side. That box had a metal side and then a big ass PVC pipe along yeah. the other side, and then yeah, I the ramp going the metal. on. Here was our problem with when we built ramps was that there wasn't like a piece of metal that went to like the ground, so you kind of had to like, give yourself a little bit of a like little lip before you went up onto it man they're bad. busted my ribs bad i remember that then they told me oh well just take it easy <laughs> like, actually mean, alex like... my foot i messed up my foot right above your house and i got a video of it i, I was doing a. I actually i was recording and i was doing good. a 360 flips and <laughs> he's like good, and he's like, good. I landed right, like, the board landed primo, and my foot landed, like, right on top of it. Like, <laughs> flat right on top of it. And I actually fractured my foot. 
Man, I skateboarded, Fraction and and I love four. skateboarding. But like, I skateboarded yeah. until I got frustrated enough to break my first skateboard, and then I never skateboarded again. Man, I love skateboarding. Yeah, me too, dude. And the older I get, the more I wish I would have done it. I did a heel flip like... the other day, and I was so impressed that I could do a heel flip. Like, so, heel bro, flips I are bet so you I weird. I still do a double kick flip. I... I bet you you could not. I bet you I could. I, I bet, bet you, you couldn't. Could. It's muscle memory, I bet, memory, you, dude. I could. I bet you 50 bucks. I'll bet you that 50 bucks. Uh, I bet you 50 I'm on bucks Vernon's side. I could bro, do a double kick I flip. I will bet you... I won't bet you 50 bucks. You invest $50 into this stock we talked about, and I'll bet you you earning on that stock, and I'll bet 50 bucks on it, too. I'll what? put $50 in the stock. How many attempts do I get? Three. No. <laughs> you can't give him more than three. Ten. What? How many you take? We're going to sit there all fucking night. He probably would have gotten well, three listen, at his then, best. Okay, fine. Then I get practice. I don't yeah. give a shit, dude. When's the next time we're going to see each other? I think... So I get practice, and then you, you tell me, okay... You got three attempts to land the double kick, kick flip. Bro, you said I could do another double kick flip. You know what? I you can. Me in you got to give him time to warm up. But, like, exactly. You can't just be like, land a double kick flip right now. I bet you I, I probably I probably could, though. I probably could for his trial, some real shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see? See? All some real shit. I'm just saying. But, like, you got to give me some. Give me some I shouldn't have I shouldn't have trogues back to back, but. Psh. Yeah, is it man. sad i feel like heel flips are such a weird trick i feel like i'd be better off doing a switch hospital than i could doing a heel flip because i i'm comfortable with that like just because of the heel way flips. the board flips like yeah heel flips like your foot gets out of the way and the boards it's weird heel flip feels like you don't have as much control you have no Even control though- Switch you know hospitals, I mean? like now that I've done them, I can't even do a regular hospital flip. But like switch, man. like I I have control I under no it. Like it's all under my hospital. feet. It's bro, man. Wyatt, Wyatt, sidetrack. I can do a double kick flip. What you think? Now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. He said first attempt. No. Okay. I gave. You give him time to warm up. What do you think? Sure. Sure. <laughs> no, I'm still saying he can. Do you? Th- I don't think he could do it within the first ten tries. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, ten, that, That's all I asked for. Ten all is all a, a few. Ten, ten is not a lot of tries, to be honest. Ten, ten isn't is a lot of tries. Mm-hmm. Ten is enough. I to- I told you I could probably do it in one. Ten. Is I don't enough. think I could even do like. A 360 flip in 10 tries. I don't think I could do a varial kick a flip lot. in 10 tries. I don't think I could do a hard in 10 tries. <laughs> Bro, the I could story... do a double kick flip. I won 80 to water bottle the other day. Does that count for anything? I, <laughs> I took my skateboard up to the uh, <laughs> playground with the kids, and I laid a water bottle down, and I 180'd over it, and I felt good about oh, it. Oh, shit. Which is no you, bro. I know I can do it. Listen, yeah. we're getting sidetracked. I remember. From what? Talk about one the story I can video. remember now. You have a skateboarding on the twenty fourth episode. Is uh, that's for uh, Kobe. It was me, Vern, and <laughs> Dalton, and we were at Vern's house, and it was before Vern turned his closet into a studio. At this point, <laughs> that closet. I don't remember why we did it, but for some reason, me, Vern, and Dalton in this tiny little, super small, compact closet put three chairs in and we closed the door all three of us sat in this closet with and like with a flashlight (laughs) and we were on quite a bit of vitamins at this point (laughs) and i remember Vern telling the story of daltanian (laughs) daltanian yeah and it was just a story that Vern was making up on the spot and it went up it went on for a good while dude (laughs) Vern was just making up this story of Dalton, and every time he would say Daltanian, Dalton would go, rah! <laughs> and it was like the funniest shit, bro. Bro, and it was like, perfect, and I remember being locked in, bro. I was like, because Vern was sitting there with the flashlight, like, shining up on his face, and he's just telling the story of Daltanian in this dark-ass closet. And 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 every time he said Daltanian, he's, rah! Ah, uh, fucking Dalton. We should get Dalton on the podcast. See what he's he up would to. say, though, bro, like he'd just be like with the like, same smile on his face. That, and be like, yeah, he'd start laughing again. 
Like, you would come. I don't even remember what the story was. I just remember every time you would say, "Don't." You made sure to put Daltanian every so often in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that had a wild guy. Oh god, we should definitely see what he's up we to. We should see what Dalton's up to. We should get him on the podcast and see what he's up to. I've been just, from just Dalton in like ten see years. See if he remembers these days. Yeah, yeah. dude. He well, gonna... remembers that. He, oh, he I, he remembers it, man. Me and Dalton just hang out every him, day. I think of the PlayStation 3 era. Oh, I me too. Dalton. Me too, because his dad owned one, or he owned one, or whoever owned one. Whoever, like, <laughs> that's where I played the majority of my play, because I never, ha- I had a 360, so, like, he had a PlayStation 3, you know what I mean? So, like, that's where, every time I played it, he was usually the one I was with, you know what I mean? I so, remember like, getting drunk with Dalton, and his Fucking, he threw up in his hallway, and his mom <laughs> made him clean that shit. We woke up so hungover the next morning, and his mom made him clean that shit up. She was like at the door with a mop and a f- <laughs> or like a brush and a bucket ready, and she's like, "Come clean this now." <laughs> and like, I just remember it being hilarious. And I remember, I remember talking to his stepdad, Joe, and Dawn left my house one time so hammered, and he's down. He's down in um like his house. He, Joe was like, he's like, I heard him fiddling with them keys for probably twenty <laughs> minutes. He's like, I heard him drop them and they fell underneath the porch and he crawled underneath that porch. And got, <laughs> I'm sitting on the couch playing PlayStation and I didn't help him. He's like, I knew his ass was drunk. I heard him singing coming down the road. <laughs> <laughs> they say, just let him fucking Yo, suck. he would be singing loud, loud too. That oh, shit. Man. <laughs> oh man, but fucking. Bro. Oh, I'll pass through these my two other drunk stories. Let me crank them. We'll move up. Okay, let me crank. You go, man. Uh, I got something. To, I got something to say later about a party at Evan's house from when we were really young. But like, just please remind me to talk about that later. Party at, party at right. Evan's house. Second yeah. time super wasted was definitely my sister's fucking wedding, dude. I was so hammered at my sister's wedding dude, that I remember that wedding. <laughs> well, we went, we got drunk at her wedding, and then we went out to the bar after her wedding. And I was so drunk, and I'm, this is an embarrassing story about me. <laughs> but I come home well after they came home, and they're upstairs, you know, doing what married couples do, consummating the marriage. <laughs> And uh, my drunk ass walks up them stairs, and I'm pounding on the door. And I'm like, no, mate, stop. I was like, I have to talk to you first. And I'm pounding on this fucking door. And he's like, Alex, go away. And I'm like, no, come talk to me right now. Talk to you first. No, yeah, you can't marry my sister yet. And I'm pounding on this door. So he comes down, pretty pissed, mind you, because, and I get it. I get it. He's mad as shit. He's like, what? And I'm just like, I was like, man, you got to treat her right, man. I was like, you got you to treat her right. And I was like, and I'll make sure you treat her right. And like, he's like a big gamer. So I'm just like, if you don't treat her right, man, I'm going to track you down in every video game you play. And I'm going to get good. And I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. He's just like, <laughs> he's just like, uh-huh. And I was like, but I also at the same time I'm like, but I got a brother now, man. Like <laughs> you're my brother. Like I'm super excited. End of this night happens with I'm standing like you guys have been to like those old apartments. Like I'm standing at the top of the stairs where I gotta go down to my room because I lived in the downstairs in her basement. And I'm like, and I'm talking to him. And I'm like, I've always wanted to do this since I've been a kid, man. And I just fell down these <laughs> stairs like lit. <laughs> Like, what in my mind I was thinking like you know when you used to like rag all down what? as a kid but and like you no. like rag you never you did just... that as a kid no I did that but I didn't fall down them uh, punk Alex just like <laughs> <laughs> just like the whole way down the stairs like even as a drunk person how did that even think like that was a good idea in any way like I said was yeah. I was gonna my back and do it and like go down like feet first but like but obviously <laughs> like what didn't work didn't work i'm just gonna didn't fall happen. down these stairs <laughs> with so many bruises on me dude i was all fucked up that was that was another drunk time and then cruising right along on these stories another time was at wyatt's old apartment um and cody lived there <laughs> and man 
Cody is my. I already know what story you're gonna tell. <laughs> I already know what story you're Cody gonna tell. Cody is my my brother. Um, now he hasn't always been my brother because he he came into the family later. But I consider Cody blood brother brother. But so we we get under each other's skin sometimes. It happens. Hammered at White's and Cody's house. They're having a party. We're having like a pretty decent party. And fucking, I am under Cody's bed, dude. He is yelling at me to get out of his room. At, well, before he's yelling at me to get out of his room, he, we slid his bed in front of his door, and we're all laying on his bed. And he is pounding on his door, like, get the fuck out of my room. Just, like, inching his bed out. So I crawl under the bed, and I have this I have a board from his bed and I am swiping at his ankles. Wiping this board at. Just like I jumping. remember you sitting there swiping the fucking board, dude. <laughs> Cracking his because I remember we busted in like he pushed the bed against the door. I was I was there, and we were bro. just we shoved we shoved the door enough so we can get in. And I just remember Alex just crawled under the bed and Cody's like, get out. I want to go to bed. And Alex's like, no. And he's just underneath the bed swinging this fucking board out from underneath this so nobody can get him out. Uh, so if you even get near underneath the bed, you're getting hit with that board. Oh, my gosh. And not only that, there's a, there's a, a couple other times that oh, are hilarious. There. There's another. I get out of there. And yeah. And we're talking, and there's like a half-eaten Doritos bag in his fucking room, and they, if, you know, they're two fucking broke like college students basically at this point. They don't have a vacuum, and Cody's like, "Alex, I don't have a vacuum." I was like, "I'm gonna dump these, Cody." And he's like, "Don't dump them." I just <laughs> stare straight into his eyes, and I'm just like, Shh, and I just dump this entire Doritos <laughs> bag on his fucking floor. This is the maddest Cody's ever been. Like. He didn't hit me, dude. He straight up just tackled me to the floor, and we are wrestling <laughs> on this floor. Cause he, but this is like real. Like he's trying to hurt me. He's like, "I'm gonna fucking kill you," kind of wrestling. <laughs> I, <laughs> I remember knows. that, and I, I have the pictures of him passed out that night that we pushed that door open, and you drawing on his face. <laughs> I have the pictures of that. Cause Cody was passed out at that one point, and you drew, and I have the pick, and you laid right beside him. It's not like you <laughs> sat like, there and drew on his face. You laid like you were like cuddling with him, like and you were drawing on his him. face, <laughs> and you were sitting there posing with him while you were like. Cody was out, and then once he woke up, he was a monster. He got <laughs> at you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude! And I I remember that, and I also have the the video of the night that you guys said like I could definitely beat you in a fight or a wrestling match, and I have the video of you and Cody rolling around in his room wrestling. <laughs> everybody <laughs> else, minutes. everybody else in the party is around you cheering, <laughs> and and I'm commentating while I'm fucking film in this video and i think burns beside me because i'm talking to Vern throughout too and like the whole time cody and cody and alex are just rolling around getting like leverage on each other trying to choke each other out whatever <laughs> and they're just fighting rolling around on the floor and i have the video of this it's hilarious did i win i don't remember i'll have to go back and look at it <laughs> it's but then there's a time that you and cody repelled out of the window as we Batman. tied yeah, we tied the fucking... He lived in the second story, Evan, and we tied repelling gear to Cody's no. bed, and we repelled out no. of his window. Bro, there used bat. to be a so video loud. of ba of Alex putting like a Batman mask on, and I out of the like window going, story to me I am the knight. And he just like jumped out the window. <laughs> oh, Batman. I remember this. The window. I feel neighbor, like you guys told me that. Also remember neighbor coming up pissed as shit. Like, my kids gotta sleep in white and just be like, I don't know what you're talking about. There's nobody here. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's nobody here. <laughs> like, what? And then I remember I think Cody ran into her at a grocery store and she's like, It sounded like there was a bunch of banging and something up there. And Cody's like, I don't know. He's like, That's crazy. <laughs> but I like specifically remember Cody oh. out crawling out and like like you would see in the old 60s Batman cartoon, them yeah. climbing up the building, bro. And there was a video of Quentin. Exactly. 
And he's like, you gonna you gonna catch me? Quentin tried to climb up. He didn't no. try to go down. No. Because I, I remember us being like half of us were up in the room watching him go down. <laughs> A couple of us went at downstairs around the house and were watching them come down. And Quentin was, was like, outside. I'm gonna climb up. Quentin got like halfway up. And there's kind of like a, a fence yeah. in between. There's kind of an alleyway. So there's a fence and then the house. Quentin got up halfway and put his feet on the fence. So he was like diagonal <laughs> to the window. Alex holding on to the ass. Yeah, he was like... holding on to the ledge. <laughs> I was holding on to Alex's hands. And, and Alex is like, just let go, man. I got you. Just let go. I got you. I'll pull you up. <laughs> And the, I wish we could find this video because just thinking of it's like making me lose it. Quentin like just let go of his feet from that fence and his body just swings <laughs> max into the house, dude. Just swings right into the house and just whack. With I remember whoever was taking the video the cl- does a close up on it, like they like because there was a trash can below it. Like there's a trash can, like full, and like like it all happens, and like everybody's laughing, and then there's a close up down on the trash can, and Quentin's glasses are sitting in the trash. Can. But dude, his whole body just swings straight into the side of this house and slams, and he still holds on, and Alex is like, "I got you, man," and, he, just pulls, and he pulls him up through the window. Amazing. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and there is a video out there of oh. us playing King's Cup one time, drunk as shit. And I had to and me and Alex had to do leapfrog together. <laughs> and I remember we did a couple successful leapfrogs and we had the pong table in the middle of this narrow ass <laughs> hallway and we had to go around the pong table. <laughs> and I remember like we made it around the first little turn. And the second turn, I had to jump over him. And I jumped over him straight into the wall, dude. <laughs> right into the wall, and I bounced off the wall into the pong table. <laughs> oh, my God. Shit is funny as fuck. <laughs> and bust my ass. And then, of course, we had, like, the Carlisle, like, roof climbing stories, of course. Fucked up on my hands and shit. Man. Jumped off that roof. Oh, Cody yo. setting off alarms and shit. Yo, I I had one from Evan's party when we were like eleven. I was maybe. gonna say party. Let's uh. It was it was like from when we were. I think young, I know young. what it you're was talking like about. A, was it a when sleepover? Was it when we did the shaving cream thing with Daniel? No, but it involves Daniel. I, I know. Yet, yeah. <laughs> I okay, got something with Daniel we were, after that. We I have a Carlisle story Halo. to circle back to. We were all playing Halo, and I, I don't know if it was Halo One or Halo Two, but like okay, it was like band party. we were all staying up real yeah. late for Evan's party. I remember Daniel passed out, like on this the is couch it. behind us. I think this is he, it. All right, he he passed right out. You know what I mean? And I remember he like kicked over a cup of like orange juice or something that was on the fucking <laughs> table he like kicked it over while we were all still awake playing he's pa- we were just like whoa like as like 11 year olds and shit we're just like dario wake up wake up clean your shit up clean your shit up you know what i mean and, like i remember him being like half asleep like just like <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and like we, we he's like we're like go get paper towels go clean this up and he just like stood up like i don't know i don't remember him opening his eyes bro he like <laughs> stood up and like we we're like go to the kitchen and get a paper and he like walked over to the kitchen and got the paper towels and he like cleaned them he cleaned it up and then we we're like we like made him go out to the outside to the dumpster to throw the paper towels away because we thought it was so funny that like it was even happening. He was just like, listening was just, like, to whatever you said. He was just like he was cleaning it up like still sleeping but he was like cleaning it up and shit and like he was just, like alright now throw it away and he went like towards the trash can we're like no throw it away outside 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 and he just like he was like you know yeah you knew he was gonna listen to you and he threw it away outside like that shit was so I remember being a little kid just like this is hilarious. <laughs> this no. dude is still sleeping. I remember bro. With, like this shit. with Daniel, and it was again with him sleeping. I, I remember we we did the whole thing where you put shaving cream in their hand and then you like you yeah. tickle their nose. And I remember I don't I don't know who did it. I don't think it was me. I was watching. 
But, like, we got shaving cream from, like, my dad's bathroom because he worked night shifts, so he wasn't home. So, like, we filled his hand with shaving cream, and it was, like, textbook. You know, like, he, we filled his hand with shaving cream. Someone tickled his nose or something, and he just smacked right on his face with shaving cream. And I remember he woke up pissed, and I think he hit Justin because he thought it was so, Justin that did it. It was I don't probably think, Justin, though. I don't think Justin did it, though. Oh, dude, I remember <laughs> But he was pissed. And I'm pretty I sure only, someone wrote penis on his face as well. I only got <laughs> invited to one of those parties. Just one. Yeah, I was too. I do remember one of Vern's parties. And that was the one where I fucking, I fucked myself up because we had the bright idea of tying a rope to Kyle's bike and me holding the rope on my skateboard oh, and he no. was going to be pulling me. And everything was fine and dandy <laughs> until the speed bumps came, until bro. The speed bumps. <laughs> And I remember I was going so fast because Kyle's just standing up pedaling. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, shit. And that first speed bump just took the board out, bro. And I just went, like, straight down. <laughs> My whole leg was just ripped up. My leg was bleeding. And I just, like, I remember just going back to your house, dude. And, like, your mom, like, helped me get patched up. <laughs> and Jim then I was Gucci sweetheart. the rest of the night, but... Dude, oh my uh, god, that was crazy. Before we get off the Carlisle subject to get too far from it, I left because my contact fucked up. But I do. <laughs> did we tell the funniest story about Cody and Assassin's Creed about Carlisle? Did I miss we it? We didn't. Yeah, no, <laughs> oh, no, we didn't. That's the funniest story. I, mean, I don't know if you ever heard it, but no, I don't think I've heard, heard this one. The only one, the only one from Carlisle oh, I've heard. I heard oh. the one with Wyatt passing out right in front of the door, and I heard the one where someone got shot outside. I oh, heard yeah, that yeah. story. Yeah, that was, was a crazy story too. That's, that wasn't as like, that's crazy on its that's own. Crazy, this one is funny, hilarious. Yeah. This, this so, one involves me getting rocks deep inside my hands because yeah. I had to flee. Like <laughs> all hammered coming back home from we're all at the Asian drink. We're at bars at this point. Yeah. We're all so just 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 retrospect that for how mature we were. Like, maybe like twenty one. Maybe like, like twenty one and like a half, maybe. One, you know, 21. like twenty one. Why was there? So we were late in our 21s because he's you're a couple months yeah. behind us. Yeah, I was the um, so <laughs> we're all going back and I don't know if Assassin's Creed just came out or we're just into it. And we're like, yo, let's Assassin's Creed some of these buildings in Carlisle. Oh my God, so no. we find there's a church and an apartment complex like right beside each other. And we get up these things, dude. Like we're like shimmying our way up <laughs> like in this narrow alley. And we get up on this like, it, it was like eight of us, dude. Cause yeah. I remember oh, we left just... the bar cause I me think... and Vern left the bar first and found the spot. And then we were like, yo, we got to <laughs> tell everybody else about this shit. Cause I remember <laughs> like my girlfriend at the time and like Quentin and we his sister, I think were there. Yeah, and then came with us. I think it was just me, Vern and you and Cody. Uh, no, nah, dude, there was a bunch of people there. But, Cause th and tell me if my memory's wrong here. I remember we climbed up this this big long fucking yeah. like, and game. it wasn't easy to climb up. Literally, it was like an alleyway. You had to like there was a building with bars on the windows. You had to climb up to the windows <laughs> and then jump across to the other oh building God. and pull yourself up. And we did and this. Then, yeah, <laughs> and then on the building there was an air conditioner you had mm -hmm. to climb up on to reach the fire escape. Yeah, climb up on that, and then you could go up the fire escape to get to the roof. How do so you get me down? and Vernon, hold on, <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. Vernon are ahead of the pack, and we're up. We're up on top of this. I think at that point we've already Yo, jumped up across to the church. We were, we were sitting there just admiring the view. We were just like, yeah. damn. So like in, the, in the back, the yeah, apartment building, back to the church, and we told Wyatt, and and he. Why it was good. We said, hey, man, don't hit this. Yeah. This is a fire escape. You're gonna I was hanging back because I like me and Vern done oh. this because we got up there because I was hanging back because I wanted to make sure everybody was getting up. All right. So it was just me and Cody at this point. <laughs> and I climbed up first and I was like, Cody, climb up here and make sure don't hit this door. And what does this fucker do? He climbs <laughs> like, up and he pushes on the door for leverage and it pushes the door open and the fire alarm in the apartment building goes off. Dude, oh just my God. Like, as soon as that happens, I like 
push Cody aside and jump down <laughs> off the fire escape, bro. I'm like, you're you're on your own. <laughs> Me and Alex <laughs> jumped from like the third floor yeah. to the first floor. As soon as like, the alarm off, all I heard was these two dun, 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 yeah, running like, down the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> We thought we were Assassin's Creed going up yeah. all methodically. We were Assassin's Creed it's going down. down. We were how like, I said we had diving to, like, into the pile up. of leaves. <laughs> like hop, we hopped right across the fucking alley, yeah. straight down. Like and we were like, no, going. <laughs> remember how I said, like in the alleyway, you had to climb up to the window to jump across the building. We didn't even worry about that. We jumped straight off the building <laughs> onto the ground because we were just, just like, like, fuck this. We just the, hop straight imagine, down like, and just start running. A Knobles parking lot where it's just rocks. Yeah. That's what the type. So like that's where I like we. I jumped from the like, roof to the ground. Do it. Yeah. Oh. And for me, Cody. for me and Vernon's perspective, because why I got to see it, but for me and Vernon's perspective, we're hearing this, and all I hear is why it's saying, <laughs> "Cody, make sure you don't hit that." And literally a second later, <laughs> don't hit the fire escape. <laughs> just like, it, <laughs> oh. are, oh, and I'm just like, shit. And I, oh dude, there's God. there's two other times I remember. Me, it was me, Vernon, and Alex. We went and to the G Man, got ripped. And I remember we stopped at that phone booth on the way home. And like, Vern had out, Al- uh, I mean, Alex had Vern's jacket, like, Patriot's jacket on. And we were like, a phone booth. You never see a phone booth nowadays. And we were taking pictures in this phone booth at like two in the morning. And then the other time is whenever me, Vern, and Cody went to the G Man. And we, we we stayed there for a whole while playing pool, and we left and we found a shopping cart right outside. I don't I know, I can't you see, see it. See it, man. Yeah, You're, it, you we, and Alex's contacts in my pic or my phone are still that. I have those picture. photos. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll never. Get rid and of them. the time that me, you, and Cody went, we got sloshed, and we came out, and there was a shopping cart there. And I remember I got in the shopping cart, and you and Cody pushed me almost the whole way back home. And as soon as we rounded the corner past the G-Man, there was a cop car sitting there with cops in it. And, like, they didn't say shit. They just <laughs> sat there and just watched us. We're like, you guys just pushing me in a car. I'm just chilling. <laughs> and I remember Cody took the video. You took the video. Cody pushing me near the house. And you're like, what are we going to do with the cart now? And he's like, crashing into a wall. And then it <laughs> cut to, like, me screaming, like, ah! As it was and going like full and he speed. pushes this shopping cart with me in it into a, a brick wall, oh my dude. God. And I'm just like, ah! <laughs> Shit was crazy. It was wild. But like the way the video, like you edited it, it was just like, what are you going to do? What are we going to do with the cart? And he's like, crash into a wall, and it instantly cuts to me screaming. <laughs> Listen, we have like, talked about this, and this mess might be drunk, Alex. We've talked about buying or renting an apartment between the four of us to record in. But we should get drunk there too. We should rent an apartment and then we should fucking record there. I'm cool with that. We'll have three individual rooms to record Tap That Squad Pod and uh, Squad Pod Sports. And then, like, the living room area, we'll just get fucking hammered in. Dude, we could do it in, uh, in the same apartment you had, dude. We that had three rooms. <laughs> we could fucking separate the rooms and film things. like the shit that we all do together, like drunk Mario Kart and shit too. I was like, just gonna say the gaming shit, the, the drunk gaming, gaming shit. shit could be and shot in the living room. You could go out to the bar and get fucking hammered and have some adventures, dude. Because that shit's like, if you could convince your significant others, I know you all <laughs> got kids and significant others and all that kind of shit. Just like once a month. Like once a month, we we'll can just get rent this apartment and use it once a month. You know, just for no, 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 because we're gonna film. It'll be used for the right. podcast. because yeah, it'll be used gonna for use work it. a lot. They're gonna we'll use, use it as like podcast. Okay. Exactly. They're gonna use this sports podcast. We'll use. I'm gonna use it as tap that dude. Like if I could have a space to set a studio up and then never touch it again, I would be a right. stat dude. Like <laughs> we could just is- show up. Yeah, hit, hit record. Exactly. You know? like, just let it and be. like the, the living room or some shit can be like where the main podcast is because that's where all of us can sit around a table or something. Yeah, well, we, even we could yeah. even have a whole yeah. room dedicated to that. Honestly, because we have yeah. rooms. This is the biggest why we could do that spot. This because there's the most of us. I'll take one of the little rooms for fucking sports. Bro, I for... miss that apartment on some real. I miss that apartment so much, <laughs> apartment, dude. Listen, I I'm love that apartment. <laughs> it was within walking distance of G-Man and Alibi. We could just walk there. It was in a bad neighborhood, but like <laughs> I never had any trouble. 
who cares, man? And we could film our shows and we could get drunk. Even if we could convince our girls to let us get drunk once every other month. Just like, don't <laughs> bother me. Month. Let me go to fucking... Let, let me go sleep at that place. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go to that place in Carlisle we got. <laughs> get hammered. Like, I... Like, what do you think, babe? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, if you really want me home, you can come pick me up after we're done. You know what I mean? Like, like after we're all babe. fucked up, because I'm not driving home. She wasn't listening. <laughs> She listens oh, to the cool. podcast, so she doesn't want to listen while we're filming the podcast. What are we <laughs> like, watch status wise? What is everybody up to? I haven't seen Evan drinking too often here. Oh, I'm out, and I don't Bro. feel like getting another one. I out. I'm That's like your five. only beer, I, dude. Just I've gotten this my, is my third. I just finished my fifth. This is my third five. right now. Five. One. I'm, a, Same. I'm about to go grab a sixth. Well, well how what? much how much longer are we recording this? Because we're at like yeah. I don't know, man. Three hours, dude. <laughs> it's one we of can the stop movies. the podcast, but I'm on. <laughs> it's up to you guys. Uh, I think we. I don't care. We, I mean, I feel like the podcast could be as long as we want it to. Be. Two part. Joe Rogan got four hour podcast. Two, two parter. It's okay. So it was about twenty I minutes that went we were to the recording. bathroom this whole time. Dude, I don't know how, dude. I've went at least three. I pissed outside three. already. All right. I told Brittany already. <laughs> Because I told her I'm going to be drinking. So I was like, I'm not going to come upstairs a bunch of times and pee. I'll just pee outside. It's okay. Like, just, that's the trick. You, I didn't break the seal yet, bro. And I'm already five beers deep in this shit. I just keep going you know, I, and get more beers. I forget. When when you guys were talking about something, I was like, I was like shaking my leg. I'm like, I'm going to piss myself if I don't get up here. Uh, I got to go. See, I haven't even been thinking about it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably going to have to piss. If we you guys are committed, I'm staying on. I'll just water, edit it tomorrow. Bro. I don't care. We should have did this in person. To be honest, in our apartment that we're going to buy. <laughs> I drank five of them already, and I feel great. I'll, I'll go to drink my water. House. I drank like three glasses of water. If you guys house. aren't done and you got more to talk about. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm down. I'm I'm down. down. Let me get another beer. Let me get another. <laughs> go get another. <laughs> break. Yeah, yeah. Bear, I, why, drunk I don't know how alive. I beat you last week in fantasy. Man. I, yeah. I, was, I gave up. Sucks. I didn't even look. I was like, I'm going to lose. Why? So What's your record? Uh, It's probably worse now. Uh, <laughs> let me take a look. Oops. Five and six. I think you I'm too. six and five. There's still a chance. There's one more week. It's yeah. One the, more week. We were we got all a bump last Alex week. Out the playoff. All four of us were five and five last week. What the hell did I do? We're gonna bump you out the playoffs. I I'm think I go up against you, Vernon. Next you are week. in the playoffs. I'm garbage too. Alex, you have, a, you have an even two thousand score right now. I know. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. This is like perfectly even two thousand score. <laughs> Yeah, Me and Vernon are up against each other out. next week, so you're going. Listen, I'm actually probably going to lose. I'm going to lose this fantasy, which is perfectly fine. But the biggest crazy takeaway from fantasy from this year, and just being a football fan and seeing it's all the just years COVID. All, no, it's not. It's, mine's not COVID. Mine mine's is, definitely not COVID. Mine's COVID. Mine is reserve. Mine is. I drafted Lamar Jackson thinking to myself, who will I ever start other than Lamar Jackson? I haven't played Lamar Jackson in five weeks. I have played Justin Herbert every week for five weeks, and he's been outperforming. Who would have thought last year when I was like, hey, man, a rookie is going to outperform the fucking MVP every <laughs> fucking game, you know? I'm really happy in my other league. I'm I'm 8 and 3 in that league. I'm going to win that shit. That's good. Yeah. I'm about yeah. the same in both leagues. Like I'm fighting for a playoff spot. Dude, my it. keeper league, my dynasty league is terrible. I'm, I'm trying to get out of that league. shit. <laughs> oh, I, I love my it. keeper I league. I hate it so much. My keeper league so like every time you keep somebody, wherever you drafted them, they move up a spot. Mm -hmm. Like like if you drafted them in the fifth round, next year if you keep them, you lose your fourth round pick, and so on and so forth. So if you keep them again, you lose your third round, second round, first round. I have kept Derrick Henry now for the last three years. Now my first one was a stretch, but he's only up to his third round right now. Like uh, this year, when I redraft him again next year, because I absolutely will, I'm gonna lose my third round pick for Derrick fucking Henry, dude. I love it. I love it, and and I picked I picked up Odell. He's my kind of like because I don't think I'm gonna win this year. So I picked up Odell because I'm like, 
if you pick up somebody off the waiver wire, you use your you lose your eleventh round pick. So I was like, I'm gonna pick Odell. See, up. We don't play like that. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna pick Odell up off the waiver wire because they dropped him when he got injured all year, and I was like, I'm gonna see where he goes. Maybe I'll get him. Like maybe I'll get him next year and loot and get like like. Imagine if Odell goes to, I don't know, fucking anywhere the saints or fucking like anywhere with a competent quarterback that isn't baker mayfield which by the way you guys want to hear a funny baker mayfield stat sure baker <laughs> mayfield baker mayfield just passed a quarterback I- I, I know what you're going to say. Well, I just want to hear everybody's guess. He just passed the quarterback for most wins in the Cleveland Browns stadium. Ben who do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I saw this stat. I forget who it it's was. Ben. How does Ben, yeah. who's never played for the fucking Cleveland Browns, have the he most wins, wins in the Cleveland Browns that. stadium? Mm-hmm. That's how garbage that because franchise is. Division, man. Yeah. yeah but... Twice a year, and you're just demolishing them. Dude, I bet but, you Tom Brady's got the most wins in the Bills the stadium. <laughs> you think out of any – no, because the people – because on that four-year stretch where they kept going to the Super Bowl, at least half know. of their games are home games, dude. Think about how many, like, a hometown fucking player plays in these games, you know? Like half the year. <laughs> like half the year. He's got fucking, like like – Ben's only, I mean, he's been in the league, what, 20 years now at this point? But he's only had two chances every year to go to the Browns. Or no, he's only had one chance every year to go to the Browns stadium because they split their games. So it must mean he must have won a large majority of them, right? Even if he won all of them, let's say 20. That's still a lot. Let's say 20. He's been in the league 20 years. Let's say 20 wins he has. How long has Baker Mayfield been in? Only a few, but that's the point. Yeah. Like, no other quarterback in the history of the Browns franchise has won 20 fucking home games. None. None. <laughs> like, that's Yo, just. Brady, apparently, let me see when this article was written, a year ago, has won 15 games in Buffalo. Since 2001, no Bills quarterback has won more than 14 games at home. <laughs> That's what that's I, that shit's thing. crazy to me though. Just crazy. But since Drew Bledsoe got- and Tyrod Taylor each have fourteen. Rip Fitzpatrick has thirteen. Imagine oh your bar God. being set as another team's quarterback. Exactly. Josh Allen's gonna pass this because that's this. Cool. But that's this is written. He has five. I saw it a day. This is like- right last year since two thousand one. Yeah, so because I would imagine the guy, the team that went, I don't know who the quarterback was, but the team that went four years in a row, I'd imagine he won a Jim ton. Kelly. Of fucking, Jim Kelly. I imagine he won a ton of fucking home games. Oh, I saw a stat today. I actually saw it. It's like the Saints yeah. haven't given up a regular season 100 yard rushing against, like with an opponent since 2017. Shit. I know. Like the Saints haven't allowed the hundred yards rushing with anybody. Wow, since twenty seventeen. That's crazy. Y'all, y'all gonna hate my homerness, but you know the Steelers have led the league in sacks since two thousand seventeen too. Yeah. Well, this isn't a this isn't the sports podcast. Let's move on to something else. <laughs> y'all, we're gonna start talking about the Steelers. Y'all hate on my fucking <laughs> and I fucking watch it every fucking time for you to be, listen. I felt like I called you out for hating on my Steelers, so you don't hate on them as much. Now you just gloss over them. You just gloss over the ten and zero record like it's nothing. Like I, yeah, I say Steelers, it. I say the Steelers. Steelers won, I always episode. say Steelers still undefeated. This last episode, we talk a lot. We talk more about the Steelers. We Good. Just, we we watch just it. haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it yet. Y'all boss, I hate it. I hate it when I watch this shit and like why it gets to go and why I'm sorry to hate on the Eagles. But he's like, oh, yeah, f- the Fulgham did great. He had fucking 90 yards and he gets to be the Listen, fucking It's center the same way with Vern, man. We talk about our teams whenever our teams come up. To be the center of the fucking thing. Chase Claypool, 97 yards, two touchdowns. It's the same thing with any other team. It's like where Alex, Travis Kelsey and Pat Mahomes had an amazing game Monday night, and we barely like we talked we talked about it for a second. Like it's that's what I'm saying. One of your friends that is going to be a best man at your wedding is a fucking Patty Mahomes fan. Let me know, bro. Because at the wedding, I'm, I'm, you're a fan doesn't mean I need to talk about him all the time. Come, come on the podcast. Come bro, on. I want I you guess... to, to come on and 
you express your thoughts on the Steelers. You talk, tell us how great they are because we 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 know. You and guess I do wait me, which I'm super proud of. I don't need to come on and shit. Get your guests on there. Do that shit. We do got somebody for next <laughs> week, but the week mm-hmm. after that, when your Steelers are 12 and 0, you can definitely hey. come on. Okay. By the way, we're getting robbed again. Yeah. Are they getting robbed? You playing the game Sunday? B. If nobody else comes up and how COVID. are you complaining when you are undefeated? <laughs> That's what I don't like. Why the fuck are you bitching? You undefeated. Know. Listen, like, I'm. Compl- oh, they're out to get us. You're undefeated. <laughs> I'm what are you com- complaining about? <laughs> because why is it that the Steelers are the only one this whole year that's been adjusted? It's the only game that's been adjusted. Two Steelers. It hasn't been. There's been a couple games that have been. It's been the first game since like all like September sometime. There's been multiple games adjusted. Yeah, two this is the first one in a minute that's been adjusted. <laughs> two <Steelers> ones. <laughs> There's been more than that. <laughs> like stop it yeah the other one was adjusted that's because there's that's, it's safety protocols man there's oh, so many it's not like there's a couple people testing I'm, on their team there's a ton of people that could be test, their whole listen, team could be tested positive right I don't want to get into sports <laughs> against. I 100% agree with the decision this is a, a forfeit a game this is bigger than football this is well, i don't want anybody from the football to give the bus driver covid i don't want any of that shit i'm with it move Once that you're shit on the podcast you just yeah. sound petty at this no. Point. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you man stop fucking with my Steelers shit you already made me have a week four you bye. may have an argument if you were like or us <laughs> if you were three wins <laughs> they're out to get <laughs> us man they're out to get us we suck they're out to get like, but bro, you undefeated. Why, like, you have no reason to complain. Listen, I can't complain at all because I'm ten and zero. That's it. It's like I'm 10 and 0, I can't have any complaints. Oh, they moved your game. You're still gonna beat the Ravens. What are you mad oh. about? You get a couple uh, days of rest. What if they played practice. on Thursday? The Ravens would have no fucking running backs because they all have COVID right now. With your, if your defense is the amazing defense, why does it matter? Why does it matter? Uh, don't say it in that tone because our defense is this amazing defense, okay? All right, your amazing defense. Why are you worried? Oh, because I just want an easy game, man. That's <laughs> it. Oh, if you're, te- you're, you're undefeated, you're the best team in the NFL, you say. Why are you worried? I'm not worried. I just want <laughs> you said easy- you're worried. I just want an easy game until we play Kansas City in the AFC Championship. All that'll your be- games are oh. easy. You have the easiest schedule. That's you know, the Tom Brady Invitational to you. <laughs> you the easiest schedule. Get out of here. <laughs> Hey, well, we want you on the podcast. It'd be great. <laughs> Not only two undefeated teams have we played, we played three teams that are playoff teams right now. Three. We're not. Most we're not of them are pretenders. Everybody's a contender right now. It's Raven t- sucks. Titans suck now. Browns suck. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> suck. They're the best running game in the league. Monsters, bro. No, Ravens. They ain't getting their shit together. I'll Browns give you- getting knocked out first round playoffs. If they make it first round, and that's just because of the division they're in. Yeah. But that has nothing to do with the Browns. The Browns are one of the best. The Browns are better than ninety percent of the NFC. Bro, they almost lost to the Eagles, and that's saying <laughs> something. Everybody almost loses the Eagles. It's not about an almost or not. It, it, it is. You gotta worry about bad, Las you'll... Vegas. Las Eagles, Vegas listen, might be a problem. I think the only, I think the only teams in the AF, not the only teams, the only teams that I'm worried about as a Steelers fan are the Chiefs and the Vegas Raiders. Are the only teams I'm worried about. And to be fair, that's fair. So the only ones I'm extremely worried about. I'm con- like. I'll go into a Vegas Raiders game being like, oh, we'll beat them. And if they beat us, I wouldn't be surprised. Whereas I'll go into a Chiefs game and being like, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, let's see what happens. <laughs> Honestly, like, there's still only one game behind you. So like that, it's still like, it's still up in the air as far as who gets that one seed. But like, exactly. you, so you guys still got to be perfect. We're, we're working on it, but like You're doing everything you can to be better than the Chiefs right now. On the flip side of that coin, I am not worried about a single team in the NFC. And if you had asked me three weeks ago, I'd have worried about three or four of them. I ain't worried about a single team in the NFC. There's great teams in the NFC. I don't think any. 
fair. Beating up on each other right now. <laughs> Man, come on. And because most of the NFC teams don't have a great defense either. Bro. Yeah. But that's my point. Like, I, most of the NFC teams have to beat you with their offense. They have to score the most points. Out which, of all. which, when you ask me as a Steelers fan, are they going to score the most points? I don't believe it because our defense is leads in sacks, leads in turnovers. Because the only one you really should be worried about that can score pretty much on any drive is the Chiefs. It, it, exactly. Like, a, a couple weeks ago when I was on the podcast, I said how worried I was. I didn't want to meet the Bucks. I'll meet the fucking Bucks. I don't – give me yeah, some. Yeah, now they, they, they look – the they Steelers look like faulty. I will eat. I will eat. I will eat Drew Brees. I will <laughs> we'll eat any of those people. You know, like I'm not worried about the NFC at all. Hey. If he can make it past the Chiefs, there is no sports broadcaster. There is hey. nothing that could talk hey. me down. Hey. 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 Not winning the Super Bowl. I picked the Steelers <laughs> to win the Super Bowl in our midseason <laughs> picks. Listen. Remember. I just I don't think we have the best in anything other than defense, but we have the most well-rounded team in the NFL, and I think that speaks volumes. We are the Mario of Mario Kart right now. It's just it's just very well-rounded. The Chiefs, the Chiefs' offense is better than yours, but your yeah. defense is much better than theirs. So that's but, where the difference is. Where I like, don't. I would Chiefs. love to see you play them, though. Oh, I'd love it. I would love it without playoff implications. But hey, when no, we need no, to play, no, I think no, no, no. their some... deep. I think their defense is good enough to stop your offense, though. You think? Yeah. Even though, like you, law, you saw what happened with the Raiders. The Raiders are good, but like, yeah, they, so, have, like the they have the a Raiders, run game, bro. The Raiders the Steelers the don't Raiders have a dominant a run game. offense. I don't know how this turned into squat pound sports. I'm kind of <laughs> drunk. I'm not gonna that's lie. That's the only it's thing like that I'm saying is like morning, guys. that's the only difference between the Raiders and the Steelers. Only. The Raiders have a high so powered run 30. game with Josh Jacobs and shit. But we don't have we don't have a bottom tier run game, and we have one of the most. And listen, um, this isn't biased. We have one of the most efficient quarterbacks in the league right now. The dude has three interceptions. Like he's putting up numbers on par with all these MVP caliber quarterbacks like our passing we have better in the stretch of our wide receiver he's good consideration for MVP this I, year. I, I saw in our stretch of wide receivers between one and four or even one and five we have a better wide receiver core than the Chiefs now the Chiefs are great and I'm just talking wide receiver cores I know there's Travis Kelsey and Hill is leaps and bounds better than even Juju I get that he's one of the elite wide receivers but after him it's a big drop off where ours is very. Then it comes down to Mahomes. Exactly where ours is very. Deontay Johnson putting up yards. Chase Claypool putting up yards. Juju Smith putting up yards. Fucking it's a lot Brian of putting up. Yards. We're the only team where more than four receivers have more than five touchdowns. Like because we'd be throwing it to everybody. We're spreading out the ball. We're throwing it to you. Like, it's a lot of like. Chiefs are better here. Steelers are better here. Chiefs are better here. Steelers are better here. So, like, I, that, I, I do want to see that as the championship game. Oh, my game. God. I would love to see. And I'm okay even if we, if we go. I don't even we care. Got we got robbed lose. last year, bro. First off, if we lose, I'm fine. I, we're going to get – one of these games is going to be a trap game. Steelers aren't I going to I think you people. should before you get to the playoffs. But yeah, as much that's as what like, I brought up last week. Humble, it's yeah. completely yeah. fine with me. I don't care if we lose the fucking Bengals. We, sh we should have got <laughs> – Chiefs Fair. Ravens last year in the AFC Championship game, and we didn't get it. I don't want to get robbed again this year. We deserve to see Chiefs Steelers this year in the championship How game. How crazy is it, though? How far of the Ravens drop? And this is just me hating on the Ravens, but like from being the team that people Oof. feared I to be. It, bro. Okay. I was going to say, which I one of you before called the this? Season. I called I it before the season. I knew they were going to get figured out. Steelers. I said the Steelers are winning this division. Well, I, told I didn't that. say that. I it didn't was, say that. I said the, that the, the Ravens were going to get figured out. I remember that. Some one of you two said that. So it was you, yeah. Wyatt. Like they were like the Ravens are going to get figured out. They're I, not going to be I've good this year. I've been saying it the whole time. He said like, that shit have in the a, off season. The it's not teams even had a whole off season to see that whole that their offense what what works. Even Pat uh, Lamar Jackson was saying a couple weeks ago that defenses are calling out their plays before they even run it dude it's right. because and it's not even that they i mean it is that they got figured out i totally agree with you but it's look at every other of these young quarterbacks go out and get a fucking star wide receiver ravens like how are you gonna sit there and let lamar just be lamar and like mm -hmm. you got jass allen who is a they could have got, got deandre to, hopkins for that, whatever 
DeAndre just like the Eagles. Eagles could have got him too. Like, go get somebody that he can. Listen, Marquise Brown is a great rising star. Great rising star. He is their number one receiver. He doesn't. He doesn't put numbers up like that. You know, like that's God about fantasy. I know. Yeah, he does. He's not that kind of wide receiver, dude. Go get your young quarterback a fucking star wide receiver and go get him now. Yeah. You know, like go get him yesterday. All right, Squad Pod Sports. Evan, <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Bro, it's like one thirty. I think I'm a. I'm gonna hop off, man. Fine. I, I know I don't got work tomorrow, but I'm tired, man. I'm just judging you. I'm just going to draw a penis on your face when you go home. I'm going to wake up like, we'll do squad pod after dark. My door is going to be locked and shit still. (laughs) I'll be like, how? How? We'll find a way. (laughs) Just going to pass out, man. All right, bro. I'm I'm a hop We won't hit the futon when we climb into your window. (laughs) Peace Peace out. See you, Vernon. Just lots of Apex tomorrow, Vernon. Oh, man. Am I going to be able to point and click? Okay. Are you guys still staying on? Yeah, man. I'm good. in. You're done? I'm in. Oh, I'm good, man. Oh, you're good. I'm All good. right. Well, I mean, I kind I'm of... I'm like six beers deep. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm drunk. I'm, I'm good to talk. This is the most beer I drank in a minute. I'm, I don't I'm drink ever. I don't right think now. I've drank... Woo! I mean, I don't think I've drank get, more than two beers since I've been with you guys. <laughs> I, mean, I get off. Marissa's just going to sleep behind me, and I'll be alone with my thoughts. Nobody I, wants that. Yeah, I'm definitely not editing this. Till, dude, this recording alone is at 247. Two hours Let's and 47. Let's take it to three. Let's take it we over had like, three. No, but we had like 30 minutes before that when my internet cut out. It was like, no, it was like 20 minutes that we were recording. We're going to make it the longest podcast. Don't matter. It's already it's already the longest podcast, but I'm with it. But what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Nothing. Chilling right here. You're staying home? I think I think yep. we're doing the same thing, to be you, honest. You decided um, you were staying home, Wyatt? Yeah, my family's having a thing, but um, unfortunately, as of right now, my mom is sick. Oh, so yep. okay. I'm kind of okay. like... She was last in contact with my brother, and she actually has had a COVID test, so she's waiting for the results. Okay. So I, it's it's looking like my one brother is not going to make it either. Totally not but worth it. As of right now, I mean, and that's she's not going to her family. So I mean, I, I obviously I was like, it's not fair if you're not going to your family. It's not fair for me to go to my family. That is either way. Exactly what we did. So we, yeah, my my sister in law's father. Um, he's tested positive. He was actually like in the hospital. He's throwing up blood and stuff, but I guess he's better now. But anyway, we, my mom, not a big house. A lot of people that'd be showing up. Like it'd be, it'd be at least 15 people that'd be showing up. Oh, wow. You know, it's just so, but with Brittany's parents, it's just her mom, her dad and her brother. So it was like. You know, so out of respect for what I, I didn't feel comfortable going to my, my mom's doing all that. Normally we'd go to my, my grandma's actually, um, yeah. which that's not happening. Cause my grandma is smart and is saying, no, no one come, over. come to my house. Yeah. <laughs> stay away. <laughs> but yeah, so we're not, we're not doing anything. So we actually bought like a six pound Turkey and we're going to do it yep. here. Yep. Yeah. Me that's and what me and Annette are going to do. We're just making me- food here. We're inviting just my mother, just her, because I, I still see her on a pretty consistent basis. Yeah, you know, and that's the yeah, thing. I see my sense. mom often. You know, I see yeah. my, And her parents, they come in and go. Her brother was just here tonight. I mean, he works at Carnes, so he'll come down sometimes and eat supper on his lunch break and stuff. But it's yeah. like, you know, it's different when, the, when it's just one person coming in and you're not mm-hmm. sitting right across the table from them chewing food and spitting and shit, you know? Like, yeah. Talking, well, I, it's, it's different. Just... It's my different. mom like, isn't coming for like the actual meal. I just invited her. I put okay. the invitation out and I said, because she works actually Thanksgiving, unfortunately. So I said, hey, when you get off, if you want to mm-hmm. swing in and grab some leftovers, even if you want to swing in and sit there and eat while and I'll sit and talk with you. That's what I said it to because yeah. she's not coming for like the actual meal itself. Yeah. Okay. So and then that's fine. I told her that's fine. I see you pretty often. But my sister and stuff, I'm not seeing them. But me and Marissa are actually kind of excited and Evan, you might be able to feel with this. Maybe why too. I know you don't have kids, why, but that's fine. Like, even Christmas, if Christmas is kind of COVID-y, like 
I'm excited to kind of start okay my own that. like yeah i'm saying not listen i love seeing my family it's not i don't miss mm -hmm. them and everything but like i'm just excited to start my own like family like we're gonna do it ourselves like we're the nuclear of this because yeah. i'm not i'm not used to being that. the nucleus of it, it you know i'm used to being just an outsider coming in it kind of gives me the christmas Alex. spirit again to be honest because <laughs> like since i was a kid whenever i from what i remember the, my last like experience having like the real feeling of christmas mm -hmm. spirit was like when I was a kid waking up, you know, cause my parents were still putting like trees on like, uh, yeah. presents under the tree and everything. Um, now it's kind of like, it's kind of bringing the Christmas spirit back. We like sharing it with someone, you know, yeah. we already have the tree up. So uh, we already have gifts under it cause we've been buying each other gifts already. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's kind of like we already have Christmas decorations up. So, I mean, it's exciting. It's kinda, it, it is exciting. Totally we're, it's changed. the first one we're kind of spending together since I've been here, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm excited to spend it with my kids. Christmas changes completely. Oh it is God. like, you know, and, and, and for the better, you know, like I, I actually enjoy giving gifts to people. I, I love giving gifts. I, Who doesn't like I've giving gifts? I, but, I yeah. love giving I gifts. Love, like, I love, I do giver. too. When I had a disposable income, I love me and Bree always had a back and forth with gifts. So like, we'd always try to like kind of one up each other. Like she yeah. got me like a dragon ball mug. And one year I got her like the set of like the eight Kanto gym badges <laughs> and stuff, you know, like we'd always try to yeah. get each other like this, this crazy gift. And I love that. But now with like the kids, it's like me and Brittany are like, yeah, we'll get something for like 10 bucks at the dollar store or something. But yeah. now it's like, I, I don't know. But last year, Alex, what you were saying you wanted to do your own with with us having Gracie. We were like, because the first year she was born, we we did the whole thing. Like, oh no, this was the first year. How, how old is she? Holy shit, she's two. So <laughs> it was it, it was her first Christmas, and we did yeah. not feel like lugging two kids that are under two to three different places. We were like, no, we're sense. staying home. If you want to come see us, knock your socks off. But we're staying home. So yeah. I'm actually, I'm not glad because I love seeing my family. Don't get me wrong, but taking the kids everywhere is a hassle. Is a hassle. And it was so great last year with Christmas, just waking up Christmas morning, waking up the kids, and doing that. And then if anyone wanted to come, that was fine. This year, Listen, even same thing. You know, yeah, even even in closer Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow, which I hope you both have happy Thanksgivings, like. Marissa's we we now Freya we 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 have to get rid of her not get rid of her <laughs> we have to give her to her dad because we split holidays and stuff you know get like we have, to, we have to give her to her dad at you know one or two o'clock or whatever it be so we're having like an early dinner yeah but like, like I'm lunch. kind of ex yeah like a lunch but I'm kind of excited for it because I'm gonna I'm gonna eat lunch I'm gonna eat a bunch of great turkey and stuff I'm gonna <laughs> sit down watch football unfortunately not my Steelers which we won't get back into but it's fine like yeah. I'm gonna eat lunch I'm gonna maybe nap because I'm having a bunch of turkey and then I'll wake up and do dinner like I'm just excited to mm -hmm. be in my house not and I'm not an anti-social person I do love seeing my family I love going to see these mm -hmm. things but like I don't know it'll I'm be excited. nice to stay home you there's, know? Yeah. there's a piece to just chilling at home and but Hell still yeah. having the holiday yeah it's, i think that's what i'm saying it's amazing i think when my mom comes over it'll be great and um obviously marissa's sister lives in my basement just she'll come up i think she invited her dad mm -hmm. which is okay with me not we don't see her dad very often but lauren sees her dad pretty often so like i know this is getting a little stretchy but like <laughs> she's in contact with him and then she's in constant contact with us so i'm pretty confident like i'm like okay come come on in you know like it's it's fine like i'm not it's personally already, like, with that. Yeah. yeah but i'm seeing people you see on a constant basis you know it's yeah. it's fine yeah. but even then so, one person you know it's not like you're gonna be you know yeah we're not going crazy but yeah, yeah. I, I just my my justification was but it was pretty much that you know like i just i don't want I love my family, but like my, my grandma already said, no, it's not mm -hmm. like it's people that I don't see often. You know, I, yeah. I see my mom, I see my sister every once in a while, you know, it's not like it's, you know, I'm already not going to see my aunts and uncles and things that I never would see anyway. So yeah. what's, you know, what's the harm in not 
And listen, we can yeah. do this Christmas and we can do this Thanksgiving solo. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, People by the just... time, hopefully by the time yeah. summer rolls around, <laughs> this shit's getting less and we can start getting together again. Have a vaccine out and everything. Everybody's yeah. like, and you know what? Kinda, I know everything won't be like normal. Sure. It'll be like a new normal, kind yeah. of, maybe. And hopefully we can get to get, like, I don't need fucking December 25th to tell me when to get with my family. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it in January when the, my aunt has a beautiful in ground pool. Let's go hang out with my aunt and go yeah. swimming, you know? And let's call it Thanksgiving. Look, fuck it. Let's get Kirky on fucking that day. I don't care yeah you know let's do it i'll fucking have thanksgiving that day it's fine yeah i'm most excited just like because i mean i have off the rest of the week and so does annette too so i mean it i'm just excited to have like the rest of this week and the weekend together you know this is your uh, first time working a job where you actually have off like these i I have to go back friday yeah i mean yeah i mean i took off the the tuesday and wednesday this week for my vacation anyway so i mean I, i already had thursday and friday but I mean, she has off Thursday and Friday, so I mean, it's just nice to have. We usually only have like Saturday and Sunday to, for a full day together. Mm-hmm. It's nice to have a four day weekend together, you know, doing whatever we want to do. Because I mean, even if like we're doing separate things, like she's doing her thing, watching stuff, I'm in here. I'm gonna be playing PS Five. <laughs> but <laughs> it's still nice it's, to be it's, together. It's, I don't it's still nice to be together because like even if we're doing this for a couple hours, we're gonna like have our time yeah, yeah you co- we're gonna go coexist. out and watch something watch the the great british baking show and shit <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah can i'm I just excited say, for that time you know totally off topic not off topic but kind of off topic have you guys ever had a fried turkey no i've always oh, wanted one so. Brittany's dad yeah, did it i baked. think two years ago or the year before oh my god it's good like yeah. and i don't mean like i've heard imagine dangerous imagine oh it could be dangerous but he does it outside like he yeah he has like the whole thing and he sticks it outside you know if it bursts into flames whatever you know it's outside yeah but like the inside is so juicy and the outside is so crispy i bet i just i had to say that so i yeah i don't think i just I've had one i've never had one either but i, I want to swing you back just stick this thing in oil for like a whole hour and it just fries, <laughs> and it's like I all I've seen are like the disaster videos of people just dumping a frozen ass turkey into this hot ass oil. This is just burst into flame. Six pound turkey has been thawing <laughs> since yesterday. You yeah. gotta thaw the turkey, like. Uh, we actually, and because we, it's just a, our family. We got a from freezer to oven ready turkey. Uh, like okay. it's not like a whole turkey. It's just like like yeah. split up and that's yeah. fine cool. yeah that's said, cool as like, long as it's as long as care. you prepare properly that's what yeah, matters that's it's like i want to go you don't go pull out it. ground beef from the freezer and then make hamburgers with it it just doesn't work that way it's just yeah, like exactly. that turkey you don't pull it out of the it's freezer perfect. and stick it in the oven like yeah. come on anyway i have a full process with that shit now bro <laughs> by the way i've been making burgers a lot oh man. i i've had some disasters bro because like i'd be thawing it and then I thought I used to thaw it and just throw it into the pan, bro. It's too wet. It's gonna fall apart. You gotta <laughs> let that shit dry out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. If you're making a steak, you always dab it. You gotta dab it with some paper towel before you put your salt and pepper on it first because a lot I of moisture... I don't even just dab it. I let it sit out for like 20 minutes. Yeah, like you after should. like I let it thaw. I let it sit out for like 20 minutes to a half hour. Then throw some seasoning on it and then oh, cook man. that shit. Dude, yeah. You watch like two cooking shows and or a Gordon Ramsay YouTube video <laughs> and you're a freaking master chef. Apparently. You're a professional. Dude, you I, gotta pay attention, man. You gotta watch Google have you ever watched Google Foods? No. Or sous vide uh-huh. everything? Oh my god. I'm gonna link his channel because it is the best it is I think I mentioned it already, but it is just food porn. Like it is just <laughs> he he opens up the video with what he's gonna make and then he has like this like B roll of like this like high definition like blacks like black bars on the screen like super slow motion of him like grilling the steaks and stuff and it's just him yeah. and his nephew eating them but it's <laughs> oh it's good it's good it's good good YouTube That's videos what, like. That's exactly what all these baking shows are, though. It's it's food porn mm-hmm. at that point. I'm okay because even it. like the, that that 
baking show I watched, like by the end when they're done, you like you see all like these like eclairs mm-hmm. and like all this You're different like, like, like a gopher to cakes eclair. and shit that are like just covered in chocolate or like custard. It's like oh my god, if I had a weakness, I, that would be amazing. Right now. And I think, I mean, I know Brittany knows this. My weakness is pastries. I could I'm eat the pastry. a donut or a piece of cake or something. It is my like I go to the grocery store. I go to freaking Walmart, and it takes everything inside of me not to buy a pack of cookies or something. Bro, like, I'm I like the, the complete pastries. I'm the complete opposite, dude. I like honestly, the older I got, the less I like sweets. Oh, no I don't candies, have a sweet no tooth. cakes, no pastries, no it's donuts, not, none of that it's not shit. Not even. I Nothing. don't know if it's. I don't think it's the sugar. I'm not big on cake, especially like the sugary icing they put on. Mm-hmm. I'm not no big on pie. Cake like I'll eat it. I'm fine. Like I'm not like no, against yeah. it. Donuts but, like, and cookies mm-mm, and mm-mm. like Annette got a, a, a yeah. apple pie for Thanksgiving, and I am actually excited for apple pie. I haven't <laughs> had it in quite a while. But cake, for some reason, the icing is just, like, not good for me anymore. I, unless it's, like, ice cream cake or, like, homemade icing or something. This is a something. really unpopular opinion. I liked whipped icing over the the buttercream because sometimes the buttercream is too sweet. Like, Yeah, exactly. It's, sometimes like, it's I, I, for some sweet. reason, I've lost my sweet tooth for that kind of icing. You know, it's like if you buy a cake from Giant, I'm not gonna like that icing. It's gonna be like too sweet. It's gonna I, be so I like, like... The whipped icing, where it's more like a whipped cream than it is mm. like a. You know, it's not that sweet. It's more so kind of like what's on ice cream cake in a way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I love ice yeah. cream cake. I love ice cream. Dude, I do too. Every time I have a birthday, because my family we get together for everybody's birthday. <laughs> That's what kind of keeps us in touch. You know, is like everybody's it's perfect that everybody's birthday is kind of spread out throughout the year so pretty much every month or every other month we're getting together for someone's birthday obviously it hasn't been like that due to covid but that's how we usually get together whenever it's my turn i'm getting that ice cream cake cake. man (laughs) that's the best i that's what i request i want an ice cream cake i don't even have a preference dude at my work they have a they actually have a list like on our contact info sheet after like your name your phone number and everything it's your birthday treat like what do you want i literally oh that's nice i wrote any pastry that is what i wrote <laughs> <laughs> i put any pastry preferably donuts like <laughs> that's what yeah i, I feel you because recently me and anything. annette like when we go to giant to get groceries every weekend mm-hmm. we the last thing we do at because we kind of like we do what smart grocery shoppers do we get everything as we're going through the store instead of kind of going back and forth i'm just gonna interject kinda... real quick and then i'll let you finish Brittany will write me a list and she knows the layout of giant in newport so well see? she writes the list in the order of the store like see so i i have, already know i have no like i don't have to think we about get it every exactly you it don't is... have to go back and forth everything's going like you're going through she'll send me the picture of the list and it is in order. It starts with the produce, and then it goes through like the whole aisle. And then I just take a, a snapshot, and then I like I draw the, the line through it as I'm going through. Anyway, continue. It's but, yeah. perfect. <laughs> but usually, the last stop as we're going to the registers mm-hmm. is the bakery. Yep. So like we'll stop there. And recently, at, when I'm working during the week, I'll get like a. I don't know if you've ever seen them at Giant. They're the the sticky buns they have. Mm-hmm. They're only like five bucks, and they, there's like nine of them i think in there and pretty much that's what i eat for breakfast each day is like i'll start i'll start working because i'm not a big breakfast dude i won't make breakfast most of the days Um, so like i'll start working at 8 30 maybe like a half hour hour and i'll go out pop one of them in the oven the microwave for 30 seconds boom you eat a sticky bun and then i'm good till lunch man then i kind of like make what i want for lunch i'm I'm the total but, opposite of all of you guys in the morning i not only need to wake up early and give myself plenty of time to get ready but i need oh, to no, eat breakfast bro. i, need to I eat literally something. i work at 8 30 i have my alarm set at 8 but i always hit the snooze so i wake up at 8 10 <laughs> I am a, i'm a snooze button person They're like then I, again i work i work from home yeah. so i mean i literally could wake up five minutes before i gotta work and go over to the computer yeah. and that's what my uh, my sister in law does now. Like she she even told us like she she has to be at work at whatever time it is. She wakes up at like fifteen minutes beforehand. It's goes so to nice, work, bro. And then on her lunch break, 
she just takes her shower and stuff then. And then Especially, she can eat like, whenever. Like, it's so, like, it's been kind of slow lately, which has been nice. So, literally, my morning agenda is I wake up, put a pot of coffee on. While it's making, I come in, start work, which usually nothing going on for the mm -hmm. first 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Put some fresh prints on. I'm watching fresh <laughs> prints. Get some coffee. And then whatever calls come out throughout the day until Pat McAfee comes on. And then I'm watching Pat McAfee <laughs> kind of until the rest, like the end of the day, pretty much. I got a, I got a nice little, it's nice working from home, man. I get to wear some sweatpants. I get to wear some like nice comfy attire. Get to chill. Oh, take some vitamins some every now and then. <laughs> some vitamin M. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean. It's nice. Uh, yeah. I don't know what you guys want to talk about, man. Yeah, man. I don't know. This is a nice podcast, though. We've had Dude, a lot of talk about. This is a long podcast. It's been long a long podcast. Of, a lot of stories talk that about. I unfortunately didn't get to be involved in. But a lot it's of fun. drunk It's fun stories. seeing them as an outside observer. To... <laughs> I mean. Come join them, man. Yeah. Definitely. Well, we're, we're old as shit we have... now ton of time now i mean we're only like 27 28 yeah man we have a lot of time now to make some more stories Hell that we yeah, can talk man. about on future podcasts now we Listen, play golf and, and our knees hurt think about <laughs> it though you got I'm excited it, to play golf. you got at max three more to four more bachelor parties to go to man that's true none of you like, guys like none, none of, of us are married, married. And it might happen one day. I mean, I'm not saying I'm ever getting married, but just just letting you know. I'm gonna say, Alex, it's, if any of them are getting married right now, like you were probably the first person that's in position. What? Why me? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not be, getting married. I just been the net way longer. Yeah, me and Annette but, have no interest in marriage. We just want to be together, bro. They've been together way longer though. Yeah, but we're yeah, not getting but, married. Alex, we, we, you've don't, already... we don't want to get any government involved with our relationship. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't believe she doesn't believe in marriage, and I'm cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, it's like, I'll do whatever, whatever you want. I don't care. I don't listen. We can get the ring still. It is what it is. We don't have to sign any deal. But like, if you get like... the ring, I get to throw a bachelor party. All right, man. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. It, there just won't be a, a ceremony. Bro, I don't give a shit about the government. You don't have to sign any paper. You just gotta let me do the bachelor party. I mean, party. yeah, if you want to talk, if you want to call that married, then yeah, yeah. sure, then, then sure, yeah, you, we can have a bachelor party. If you make party. the you commitment you to didn't. spend your lives together, regardless of what is involved, whether it be a okay. higher power or okay. a government, if you say to each other, you. you're like, you know what, I'm in this till the end, then yeah, you get a bachelor party. Do you get a okay. bachelor party? All right, I, I and why it's like you know if you want to throw me a bachelor party and buy me drinks then fine you go. Listen, I will. I will not turn down a bachelor party. <laughs> I'm going bigger for your twos. I wasn't in the financial situation with Evan, or I would have went bigger, Evan. I'm going bigger for your twos. You, you get, you or Vernon get married. Oof. Put me in charge of that shit. We go, we going to <laughs> Vegas, boys. We going somewhere. Oh my here. god, dude, that would be wild. <laughs> we go, we getting wild. I'm in. <laughs> Most definitely. Like, let's do it. I'm in a much better financial situation now that I can do that kind of stuff. Where back yeah. back when you had your bachelor party, I and mean, I was I was fucking like working a giant or some shit. Yeah. I was, so was I, I like, mean I'm not giant, but I I'm I, if I wasn't in all right situation, I wouldn't be able to sc scoop a PS5. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like there'd be no way. Yeah. Like. So I'm, I'm actually excited. I actually, to reverse on your thing, Evan, if any of the friend group he's married next, it's going to be Cody, dude. He's in the Navy. He's going to meet a girl like a week from now. They're gonna be He'll marry like her in a week. <laughs> <laughs> True. Like, so just saying, if anybody's getting married next, it's Cody. We're going to find a chick and lock it down. He's not even with someone yet, and Cody's the next one to get married. You know what? Cody's next one. I, I don't, Whoever Cody dates next is who he's getting married to. I, I have noticed Cody falls easily. Cody falls, man. And listen, I love That's, that can love be a good thing, Cody. but it can also give you heart. You can get heartbreak so easily with that. Cody though is the kind of guy, and this isn't hating on him at all. Yeah. This is just who he is. 
he when he's in a relationship whether it be two weeks or four years he is committed yeah 100 percent. like he is ready to like throw his life down for a girl <laughs> he met a week ago which is a great thing because in five years from there he's be also ready yeah. to throw his life down but like so Cody's the next one. I'm telling you guys. I I would I would be willing to put money on it that Cody's the next one. <laughs> fucking get married. Eleven twenty six. And I am de- and we are gonna throw him the best bachelor party. Ever. Oh yeah, Cody's getting the Navy bachelor party. We're renting a boat. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be Donald Duckin. Hell yeah, dude. You gotta show everybody, up. no Girl. matter who. Girls, guys, everybody, tops only, no bottoms. No Come. only. <laughs> Coming, to, oh, we're gonna rent a yacht. <laughs> we're gonna fuck. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is Cody's Donald bachelor Duck, party. Donald Duck. Donald only. Duckin only. If you ain't Donald Duck, you ain't getting on the yacht. Get the fuck out of here. Get yep. out. Yep. With it, with it, yep. dude. And I guarantee you, Cody be down. Cody be down. He, he would be laughing always... his ass off. <laughs> he wouldn't have a choice. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be a surprise. Me and Cody are gonna be down in like fucking Florida, like by ourselves. But like you guys are gonna like secure the yacht. And I'm like, come on, You're Cody, take your yeah. pants off. What? Just take them off, man. Just do it. Like your pants are already off. Like, yeah, just take just, them off, man. Just take them off. Like I imagine it being like in that cove area in Key West, where it's like the boardwalk, kind of like that little skinny walkway through all those trees. Yeah. And like you gotta take your pants off before we go through here. And then as soon as you come out the other end, that's like, like the yacht's going to be chilling yeah. there. Well, if you the higher enough chance and he just won't even argue, he'll just be like, okay. Oh, yeah, dude. You get me, you get me and Cody down in Key West, dude. I'll get Cody naked real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no argument. You guys there. did go to that like Adam and Eve bar. Hell yeah, we did. And listen, if I told him, I'm like, yeah, we're going to a boat party, but it's no clothing. He, he, he wouldn't even ask me questions. He'd pull his pants down and put his shirt off and be like, let's do it. <laughs> be honest i would too if i was with you i'd be but, like shit that sounds like a good i'm in it for a good time hell yeah I, man i want a hell story hell. i could come out of this with hell yeah man listen here's the thing like we should do the party and not only should it be dumb duck rules but we should have like little like fake sailor uniforms for Whoa. everybody just by, like, i kind of figured the hat it's not just yeah, tops. Yeah. It's sailor tops. It's sailor hats. It, like, yeah. yeah. But like, I don't want to exclude anybody, like any pretty girls that want to come because they don't have a sailor top. You know, well, I gotta we'll have provide a provide them. There. That's the that's point. what I'm saying. That's like, I gotta have a sailor top ready for them. Like, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm a happily fucking person, but like, like you know. Yeah. I'll put them there. Exactly, man. <laughs> it's, pa- it's parties are better. Gotta have it. Uh, parties are better when it's a mixed crowd, man. So. Okay. Man, we don't want a bunch of Donald Ducks. We want some Daisy Ducks now, too. Now it's Daisy Ducks. <laughs> now I want. Now I want Cody to get married. <laughs> Let's find Cody a girl. <laughs> we'll message him. Yeah, like, Cody, meet one on the ship. So I get married. Yeah, Cody's got to get married. We want a Donald Duck yacht party. Let's. let's yeah, I want to get married and buy himself a father of the bride house. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, he's military. I think. I think he's gonna go back to the military again. To be honest with you, like he'll resign another contract, which is found his calling, man. Hey, man, whatever, it cool. Pays, More power to him. He's doing what he likes, man. <laughs> For me, but you do, you do, you, man. As long as there's you no like war, it. what's the matter? I guess. Real. Yeah, I'm with it, man. That's the I only downside, you know. Pete, war. I, I feel. Like, I, I, it's, I broke the seal a while ago, and it's just is hasn't stopped since. Man, it's I am terrible. I'm so drunk, you have no Every idea. Every beer just keeps running through me. I keep drinking those like nine percenters. I actually finally just got a Corona because I'm like, I can't, I can't <laughs> drink another stop. nine percent. I, I can if drink I grab a... an, I don't know if I'm gonna grab another one. But it's gonna be my seventh if I grab uh-huh. another one. Ooh. I think I'm on, and now I definitely have a higher tolerance. I think I'm on my seventh or eighth right now. I'm You're drinking only... stronger beer than I am, though. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, but I'm only on four. four. Plus the well, the one shot. That's, That's not shot, really. man. That's five shots or five. That's, okay. That's one more. And I don't drink. I never drink. So. Oh. I feel. That's just burning a hole in your stomach. Eh, I'm all right. I actually feel fine. I actually. Man, what I forget fun. which one of you was telling a story, but I realized like I I played with my nose and I'm like, oh, my nose feels funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know what goes on me? It's teeth. Hmm. Yeah, I got a when gap I, in my teeth, and I yeah. chipped a tooth. Like a year ago, and I did yeah, notice I that earlier too. Now that you mention it, I was like, 
I got a big old gap in my teeth. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. I mean, like, when I'm drunk, <laughs> my teeth go numb first. Oh, it does, yeah. It's like a numb. My tongue. Like, when I can't feel my teeth, I'm like, okay, I'm done drinking. Like, th- this is it. You, you... I can feel them. I can feel them still. I don't, I don't Speaking just... of teeth, this is getting to a weird subject. and Not really, but, like, I bought one of those water picks things, dude. Oh, okay. Buy a fucking water pick, man. <laughs> this thing is Awesome. Is that the thing that like shoots water into your teeth? Yeah, like you mm-hmm. you fill like a little canister with water and then like you turn it on. And you're supposed to like floss with it. Yeah. And you're not supposed to instead of flossing, but like I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't floss before I wasn't had this thing. So now this is what I do instead yeah. of floss because I just didn't floss. Never had a cavity though. Never in my life. Mm. So still still kicking ass. I actually I, yeah, I have a dentist appointment in a few weeks. And I haven't made a dentist appointment really in a long time. So I got a tooth that needs pulled for sure. I went to the dentist. Now, I'm going to be honest with all the viewers. I haven't been to the dentist since I was for a few years. I haven't been I, to the dentist. Yeah, I don't want to admit how long it's been. But you can yeah. tell probably by how we're talking. It's probably been a little bit. So Well, here's what happened, man. Like, is when I – like, obviously, I went a lot when I was a kid. Yeah. And then I graduated and I got a job for it's myself. It's your responsibility to do it and then you never do it. No, no, I continued to do it for a while for probably till it was 23-ish, 24-ish. Okay. And over that span from the time I was a kid to the time I was there, I never had a cavity. Mm-hmm. I never had any dental work that needed done. Like it was basically just like, hey, you're good. Have a great day. Yeah. So – years so eventually like when i got a job where it was actually gonna cost me a significant amount of money i was like eh like i'm i'm not i'm not gonna do that like i don't want to get dental and, and continue to visit the dentist now i have a job where dental's only a couple bucks yeah and i do have dental i just have never like gone back never and, taken like, advantage of it yeah and and marissa's like you have cavities and i'm like i and I don't know what a cavity feels like. I've never had one, but none of my teeth hurt. Like yeah. no, I have sensitive spots in my teeth. Like, like I'm good. I feel like I'm okay. Like I'm good. So, so what happened to me was I have a molar that like I. So I think when I was a kid, I don't even remember it. It happened so long. Like I was so young. I think they filled it. It wasn't a cavity, but there was like a little bit of cement that they filled it in with, and it was. I couldn't even tell you how long ago it was, but I bit, I was chewing a piece of gum. I remember it specifically. I was, I was chewing a piece of gum and it fell out. Like it, it, my, my tooth, like my molar, like fell out from like the inside. And I'm like, what the hell was that? And I went to the dentist and they said I needed a root canal and I'm like, Ooh, I don't want to do that. And then I never really went back. So, you know, so 10 years later, now it has chipped a few more times and it is at the point where it's the tooth is done it needs to be pulled it's not infected or anything i would know if it was infected like it, is, it doesn't hurt it doesn't like yeah i mean it hurts if i if i were to bite directly down onto the spot that it hurts like it would hurt but my tooth not is not like it's not infected but it definitely not needs cavity uh, we're only... talking about how long it's been since we've been at the dentist and how we should have went years ago and we never did <laughs> bro it's probably been a minute i bet yeah we're all talking about how it's been a while for us i have At an appointment 10 years since i've been to a dentist Ooh, that's longer than me i've only uh, been maybe five but, no it's been i have never had a cavity me either man so pound yeah, up i <laughs> I brush my teeth daily, man. Yeah, I, like, I I actually do need to go to a dentist. I need soon. orthodontics. That's what I it's need. Not, it's not even about brushing your teeth daily. It's more about just like some people are born with like just stronger teeth. Because like, mm-hmm. and I don't mean to, I'm not hating on her, but like Marissa behind me, she has very good like hygiene in her mouth, but like her teeth, dude, are just awful. Dude. Like she she just she just has awful teeth, I'm dude. With like her. it's just dude, it's she's bad, I guess, right? I, I my teeth are fine, but they're just like they're so fucked up. <laughs> oh, hers aren't like the shape of them. Oh, just mine like, are. She, but like, I think to be honest with you, it's because she got she was a teen mom and she got pregnant so young. That does that I feel like and stuff. I feel like she lost mm-hmm. a lot of her iron in her system that mm-hmm. like does produce like I, a I lot of my front tooth. And it's you can't you probably can't even see it from here, 
Well, I do, man. It's, it's super. I don't even super, know what super, I did to it. Like it just chipped, and it's it doesn't hurt. It doesn't. Like it just. Chipped. I remember what I did to mine. Speaking to Justin, we were talking about them a long time ago. One time when we were kids, uh, long before we were drinking and stuff, we were actually kid kids, maybe ten. Um, like the whole, we all, me and Evan and Vernon lived in a trailer park, and like, like obviously there was hills in it, and on Orchard there hills. was. Steep, yeah, they were steep hills, and like on these hills, there was parking spots built in. So it was like it was like wavy, and it was like parking spot down, parking goes, spot down. Yeah, it goes like, down. Yeah. And one point in my childhood, I always remember that the whole row, the whole way down, none of the cars were in their parking spot. So me and Justin were slamming down this thing like. Like ramping off these hills, landing, ramping off the hill, landing. With bikes, like the I'm whole... assuming. Bikes, yeah. yeah, with like bikes. And for so long, we were doing it. I had a blue mongoose, and I always remember it. It broke at the frame. Like I hit a ramp, probably my 15th time down this hill. I hit a ramp, I landed, and it broke. It snapped right at the frame, and my teeth went right into this handle. <laughs> like crack. And that's when I chipped my tooth. Uh. That's when I chipped my tooth. And I, I've never gotten it fixed. I've never had a cavity in it. I mean, you can't well, tell. Well, the thing is, like, like, that's how I feel. Like, if it's not bothering you, I mean, I guess you probably should get it fixed. But, I mean, yeah. if it's not detrimental. It's the, it's the backside of, my, of this front tooth right here. And if I didn't tell you, you would notice. It's it's a little crooked, like, upwards. Yeah. But, like, and if I didn't tell you, I've been blessed with very good, like, mm. Like you, Evan said, you need orthodontic work. I have very straight teeth. Yeah. They're very straight teeth. This me, is this me is my. I had orthodontic work when I was younger. Like, yeah. Bree would always have, like she, I don't know if she got many, but I know she had at least one or two cavities. I never had a cavity, but my teeth yeah. were just yeah. crooked, and I, I, yeah. I never, I, I could probably <laughs> afford them. Eh, my maybe. issue is I used to drink a lot of soda when I was younger, and now like the enamel mm. at the very tip of my teeth is worn. Were you a so like swisher? the tops of the top of them will get white, but the bottom of them it'll just stay the same mm. color. So I mean, uh, if yeah. anything, I gotta get them actually like whitened if I want to get. I them used to swish them you a lot in the podcast. Probably it's probably from swishing. I didn't hear anything about that. Yeah, is Bruce in the podcast, man? Huh. Bruce, is he joining the podcast? I guess so, man. He's chilling. <laughs> he hopped up here with me finally. Say say what up, Brody. What's up, Bruce? Follow <laughs> Bruce on Instagram. Bruce. He's got an Instagram. He does. He's chilling. He's, he's, he's a cat, 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 man. He's so oh, cute. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, I don't know. My teeth. The only thing, though, is my wisdom teeth have since come in. And Dude, I never not that that I messed up. I never did that either. Like, <laughs> Really? <laughs> I have mine out. Uh, nope. Mine are in. Mine are both in. This one on my top is kind of pointing that way. It's that's not what they my... don't want. They don't want them yeah. impacted. No, it's pointing out. This one's good. These two, not that they're impacted, that they're pushing in, mm -hmm. but they're enough that all my teeth in the front have. It is too late now. These are in. Like, they're done. They're teeth now. Like, all my teeth have kind of shifted forward. Mm -hmm. So my teeth in the front, dude, I'm telling you, my front teeth right here on my bottom are so tight, I can't get a piece of floss in them. Like, mm, I will really? snap a piece of floss. They're so tight across. That's crazy. Wow. Like, they're – and it's just because my wisdom teeth have pushed them all forward. And I. that's why – how this conversation started, why it is you should get a water pick because water <laughs> picks are dope. I got a water pick and it's and, uh, getting onto it, Evan, that I feel like my teeth are much healthier now, even from flo even from not flossing. Cause like I said, I can't get floss in there. I'll just snap the floss right in half. Yeah. Like water though. You can't snap water. Like I'll really push. I've been, Oh, go ahead, go ahead man. You you just, just been talking. I'll really push on them. And, and sometimes my detriment, I'll bleed and stuff, but like, yeah. like I, and enough till I feel like I, got something in there and i got like i pushed it all out so the yeah. water picks you guys should all buy a water pick it's like a hundred dollar investment i feel like i used to have one when i was younger it like after i was i had my braces and stuff back yeah. in the day i love that thing yeah oh, i mean i've been dealing with a lot of uh, other adult issues is sleep apnea here uh, lately within the past couple months luckily i found a nice little thing i don't know if anybody's seen it um 
It's a mouth guard, kind of, mm. and pretty much it's a suction cup that goes on your tongue. And mm. it kind of like it uses suction on your tongue, so it pulls your tongue into this plastic piece. And it has two ridges on it that holds around your lips. So pretty much it kind of pulls your tongue forward so your tongue doesn't go in the back of your throat where it kind of like causes breathing issues and sleep apnea. So, so I mean, like, do you have like snoring problems or is it more? Like... I I had snoring. See, I I knew I had snoring you issues. Take care of that and shit. yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I knew I had snoring issues, but like, cause Annette, like I sleep with her. Yeah. You know, she told me that there's times in the middle of the night where she'll say, "I'll like stop breathing." Yeah, yeah. dude, my my step. That's the, how my stepdad died. So take care of that shit, man. Yeah. That's, so that's she's like, she's like, there was times where like I would Damn. stop breathing and then like start breathing again. But I mean, it's since I started using that mouthpiece, I've had like I slept better. She says like I don't even snore really at all good. anymore. That's awesome. That's um. So I mean, so I mean, that's my ish. That was my kind of yeah. issue because that kind of caused a lot of my headaches too. Is like grinding my teeth mm -hmm. and yep. snoring. Well, I know you that, got real bad migraines and shit too. I yeah, I mean, I I don't get them nearly half as much now. Nice. Since since I got new glasses and since I started wearing that that mouthpiece at night, I don't because it it kind of pulls your tongue out. You can't grind your teeth at all either. Yeah, yeah. So I, that that helps a lot too. But that was I was definitely looking at like custom mouth guards, but then I saw like this thing about like. So I guess with mouth guards, it can like give you kind of an underbite because uh -huh. it, it kind that of pulls sense. your lower jaw out so your mm -hmm. tongue doesn't go back. But yeah, man, I started I found that and it's been helping a lot since. That's awesome, man. Um it's it's weird, man. <laughs> Adulting is weird. It's yeah, you you, find, like you find weird stuff about yourself. Our knees hurt as you go older. The knees hurt. You can't do anything. Exactly. Like I said, man, I be taking fucking five million vitamins every day. Like it's I take, ridiculous. I've been taking one a days oh, for the man, past I'll couple of years, man. Dude, I take, I have fucking every morning I take vitamins. and fish oil. I have vitamin B complex. I have a one a day. Oh my god! I gosh. have fucking digestive <laughs> system <laughs> like. And I got fucking like these are all sitting on my desk, man. Like I just been taking these vitamins. I got two. Dude. I got a one a day men's, and I got. A Claritin allergy, dude. I feel hours. like I take a dose of Flonase every morning. I, <laughs> hey, I nostrils, need, a, I I need get. an allergy medicine. Yep. The older I get, the more fucking vitamins I take. I feel like, and here's here's my thing. And I, and to be honest with you guys, I think it's just anxiety, and I wasn't used to it. But years and years and years ago, I would have these like I, I'm gonna call them panic attacks now, but like. I just felt like I was having a heart attack all the time. Like I, yeah. like my heart hurt. Mm -hmm. And now looking back on it and I'm a little older, like I'm like, okay, you were just having, you were having panic attacks, you know, like you were just having anxiety, which is a normal thing in people. They have anxiety and, and you were having panic attacks, but like it would get to the point where I'd have to pull over on the side of the road and like take a breather. Cause I just felt like I was, yeah. I was, I was going to die behind the wheel. Yeah. So, in that sense, and and I think I'm fine. I I've always like I visit the doctor. My cholesterol is fine. Like like my blood levels are fine. Like I, there's nothing wrong with me. It's just it's it's completely mental. But like I've convinced myself now that I have heart issues. Now whether uh -huh. that's that's a thing or not, I don't know. So I've been taking fish oil now for as as long as you know a good long while even even on and off but like i've been taking fish oil because it's good for your heart i don't think i have any heart issues like i said my Probably cholesterol not. is good yeah. everything's good but i'm like what can it hurt i'll take them it makes me feel better you know like it makes me feel like i'm not doing these things and to be honest with you i just think i've gotten better at managing my anxiety where yeah. unfortunately some people can't do that but yeah. i've come to a point in my life where like when i start having these anxiety attacks i'm just like take a breath alex like calm down yeah. you're fine and and i and that gets me through it you know but sleep apnea man so i'm, yeah. I'm kind of right there with you i every now and then i feel like i might have i i kind of have some heart issues here and there yeah man um i mean that's why i mean i kind of started taking vitamins in the first place it's scary like though a day and everything it is yeah i mean i mean i haven't really had any like like 
doctor confirm like you have more nope. health issues i do yeah. know that i have had bl high blood pressure here and there That's i mean that is a, kind of a genetic thing like my dad has it and then my grandpa had it but I mean, that's just something that I gotta manage throughout my life. But my yeah. my grandpa had a lot of heart issues, which maybe was where it instilled in me. My grandpa's had like a couple like fucking heart surgeries where he's yeah. had to have them. So like maybe that's where it instilled in me. But like like I said, man, I I go to the doctor and like you get those like checkups every year and stuff, and like my cholesterol is always in like perfect. Yeah. Like, like everything's always perfect, but it doesn't, it doesn't shake it for me. You know, I so. always worry about my lungs more than my heart just because nope. of the asthma See, and shit. Mine's my heart. Definitely my heart. Even Especially with the Rona out there. I got to worry about my lungs. Even when man, like I have indigestion and like my indigestion will get so bad that like my, my shoulder will go numb. And I, it's just from like, other people have told me they feel this way too. Like my arm will start going numb yeah. from my ingestion. And like, yeah. even at that point, I'm like, I'm having a fucking heart attack. Like it's happening yeah. right now. That's how, like, I thought I was having, like, I found out I was having like acid reflux issues mm -hmm. back whenever I was really having issues with like my stomach. I remember, so I was yeah. having like weird pains with my legs and my arms. I started like, it's just something I got to do now where I got to take like, uh, I forget what it's called. It's like this certain shit you can buy over the, over the Dude, counter i just gotta watch like, like my it's like 14 sauces. days if if it started acting up i gotta start taking that again then i'm back to normal but there is times where i just start getting weird pains in my legs and my arms and it does make me nervous about like maybe it's my heart or like yeah. something with my yeah. nervous system i mean i just ha i really have to watch like my citrusy foods my spicy foods like same here exactly yeah. like, like i'll eat them but like they gotta be pretty limited. You can't be out here eating anything nowadays. Yeah. Like you guys got the total <laughs> opposite problem than I do. Like you guys have these things that you think it's like these major. Like I'm having a heart attack. I'm gonna die here soon. But like I got all this little shit going on that yeah. I I've been like it, it's an amazing thing that I think I can I can manage that if it's in my head I can set it aside. <laughs> It doesn't yeah. bother me. And I don't worry about it. But like like I told you, Alex, you missed this because you weren't on, but I like showed Wyatt and Vernon like the cysts I have on my arm and stuff. Yeah, that shit's like, crazy. I got varicose veins on my legs and shit. Like yeah, that's not that big of a deal. Like that's that's yeah, genetic. Still, you're pretty young to have varicose veins. Yeah, yeah. That that cyst <laughs> is but, crazy, dude. Yeah. You need to get that checked out. But like <laughs> But uh like <laughs> It doesn't bother me because I don't get like I don't have a shooting pain up my arm, you know. That yeah. it's like, man, I'm having a heart attack. Or listen, yeah, a lot of the worry on my side, at least I don't know. I can't speak for Alex. A lot of my worry becomes comes from me being on other vitamins, which makes me think, all right, I think I might be having a heart attack, or I, just any little feeling in my body. I'm like, all right, I'm overthinking this because <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. already on these other vitamins. So I mean, that's kind of I my don't... thing. I'm with you. I, it's definitely not me. I haven't done that shit in years, but like, I don't know if the, from me doing it, cause I've done it for years. Like yeah. I did it way before Wyatt started and like way into when Wyatt does it. And, and I have no problem with it. it but the panic level I have now at myself, I couldn't even imagine myself on it at this point. Like, like no way. Like what I even, that's not, why I got I had to stop with like the the edible vitamins to mm -hmm. be honest. Yeah, because yeah, it was like those edibles. Like I I would take one or two, dude. I I I don't know if I told you guys. I told Vern about this. It back when before all this pandemic shit happened, Vern be telling me he'd be taking three or four of these these yeah. gummies that we'd be buying, bro. I don't know how he did it. I took two the one night with him. I was fine. Went to bed. I woke up at four in the morning panicking like my I, heart racing i felt like my arm was i felt like i was having a heart attack i told you what happened I literally with, with yeah um, yeah i told you all that and like, i went outside of the like in the park and walked around because like mm -hmm. i needed to con like calm down calm I, down for some reason dude i woke up in a pan like sweating and i'm like something's I, wrong like i so they had like, one one and like it was it was like Complete and now, of course, like Brittany kind of has this, uh, like underlying anxiety issues as well, so sure, that doesn't it help. doesn't help, dude. But like, doesn't help. It, it definitely should not have been to the point where like you, you, she's like sitting in the shower, like 
Yeah. She was you in the shower. Her, like, you freaking gotta call out yourself. She's gonna die. Right. You know. I think I told Vern before we started filming, or like either last night, is like I didn't smoke last night before the podcast because I know like I get anxiety, and I know it's supposed to help anxiety, but I feel like does, the more I smoke, it, it it makes my anxiety worse. It doesn't. It doesn't point. help me either, man. If I'm worry. by myself and I'm in the house and I just, mm-hmm. and I take the vitamins, I'm fine. I'm Gucci, but if I gotta go do something or if I gotta interact with people, my anxiety flares up more than it normally would. Yep. Um, and I think that really has a lot to do. And Evan, you were saying how you haven't felt that in a while, yeah, but like it's, it's just my. I think it has yeah. a yeah. I think it has a lot to do with your personal anxiety oh, level. Absolutely, like, absolutely. most absolutely. definitely. It is just my the way I perceive things and the way I sure. I feel things. Like I I can do that with anything. Me me if me and Brittany or me and anyone get into like an argument or something. I'm done in 10 minutes. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. I can set that stuff aside. And that just translates to bigger things, you know, like even things like money issues and things. It doesn't, I don't let it get to me until then all of a sudden when there's like 10 things getting to me and then like the dam bursts and then I'm like a complete wreck. But it doesn't get to me on a daily level, which some people can't, they need to manage that. They need to manage that. Mm -hmm. And I feel. And I, I wouldn't consider myself a very anxiety reading person. I mm-hmm. think, I mean, you guys have been friends with me for years. I'm usually a pretty calm, like easygoing individual. Like anxiety mm-hmm. doesn't run my life, but, and looking back on it now, I can definitely tell you it was anxiety, but at a time in my life when I thought I was having those heart attacks, it was definitely a time in my life where my girlfriend at the time, we were on the rocks, you know, like we weren't getting along. Like I thought she was cheating on me, which I was right, but that that's <laughs> neither here nor there. But like, like there was a lot like building up in my life, it, like mm-hmm. bubbling that like this anxiety infected me. So I really do feel bad for people because I've been in the point where I honestly have had anxiety attacks that have detrimented my life. Like I've had anxiety attacks where I couldn't go out and do certain things. Cause I was like, I, I can't do this at the moment, you know? Yeah. Now I know exactly what you mean. Luckily I've, I have come to turn. I'm a little older now. I'm a little more self-centered, you know, like I know who I am more. So like, I don't get those nearly as much nearly. And maybe yeah. I'm just, ha- maybe I'm just a happier individual, like where I am in my life. But like, like so I really do feel bad for people and, and shout out to anybody going through that, like who who that runs their life. Like that's that's a hard thing to deal with. That's a really, really, really hard thing to deal with. Cause yeah. I, again, man, like I'm not I'm not talking like one or two times. Like there was 10, 15 times I've had to pull over on the side of the road. And and not because I was worried that I was gonna have a heart attack, because I still thought I was gonna have the heart attack on the side of the road. I just didn't want to have a heart attack driving and yeah. crash into somebody. Like I didn't want to hurt anybody else. So I would yeah. be, I'd be running late for work, like pulling over, having probably anxiety because I'm running late, like pulling over. Like I, I gotta chill here, you know. I just gotta take a second and breathe. Man. Like so, uh, it, it's rough, man. It's it's rough getting older. Yeah, rough I mean, getting, I, it I is, I'm, it's weird. I don't want to speak for for her and i don't know how much she wants me to actually divulge into that but i know with Brittany, she has been managing it better where sure she, I, think, I think with age you get it yeah well i mean she she's been able to she finally went to go see a doctor about it to the point Good. where which you know it's nothing serious but you know to the point where she actually took that no. step and I mean, there's nothing wrong. With no, that, man. Wrong I mean, all. and honestly, any kind of help is is best. You it's know? been, I honestly, I think it's been about like three or four weeks. And you know, like, if there's any sort of like medication or something, the first few weeks are always like, oh, you know, you, that yeah, that kind of shit it. can be like people get suicidal on that kind of stuff. Yeah, but it's actually been very good the last yeah marissa now she doesn't take like doctor's crab but she takes uh they have like anxiety like gummies and stuff Mm -hmm. like when she's feeling she starts she's been taking them so that those have been helping her she has really bad like white coat syndrome like where she when she has to see the dentist or she has to see the doctor it like she feels like she's gonna die or something. She's like, uh, okay, gotcha. tearing up. She's white coat. Like she just does not want to see this doctor, whether it be a de- dentist is her big thing. Because mm-hmm. I told you she always has to go because she's just has poor genetics in her teeth. But like, 
She she gets it bad, but th- these have been seeming to help her a lot. Man. So, dude, I I'm, I feel that, but I'm just a pussy at times, and I just don't want to do it. Like you know, like I, the dentist and stuff. Like I want to. I, oh, I have white goods. I don't like needles. I I don't know oh, if anyone knows man. this, but one of my biggest fears is like medical needles. Yes. See, I, I don't mind needles. I, not like tattoo needles. Not like you pierce well, a needle. Well, I'm saying like exactly like medical I, shit. I don't. I, mean, I don't mind like, taking blood. I haven't. Yeah. I've gotten my flu shot probably once in the last five years, and it has nothing to do with the vaccine things. I just don't want to get a shot. I like, just don't want to eat there. I'm is, with you, Evan. See, I don't mind. I, I admire everyone. So I give blood, too. I nope. just, I mean, just going to say that. I don't, I don't give I would blood. love to give blood. I would love to give plasma. Yeah, I give blood. I just don't want that needle touching my arm. I, I, I understand. I see, to I totally my, understand. I have if to get my blood shot. If you dying of cancer tomorrow and you needed my blood type to help you, I would totally do it. I would fight through my anxiety. But, like, I'm not doing it, like – just that like the kindness of my heart exactly. like that's not it's just like i don't Dude, I I'm never really it's never bothered me Mm-mm, man i don't just, i'm with you evan i'll do like it. it you know like if, if i go into the doctors that day for a checkup and they're like dude your meningitis shot needs that's, update i'll be like okay now you know i'll get that it kind of leads into another question i'm with all this covid shit are you guys gonna get a vaccine if it comes out not right away exactly i would yeah. I you want to. So? I want to say that I'd be the the pioneer and be the one that would get it first, but not only the fear of needles, but just that skepticalness. I, I if goodness, I can see if if there's reports and stuff that I can actually see that. I feel the same way. You know, and I don't mean like a thousand people. I want to see the results on like exactly. people. I want to see the long term effects and, I, yeah, and not. Yeah. And not the test subject on to because even with COVID, man, we're learning today, still today, what some of those yeah. long term effects are. Like, I mean, people are like, oh, you'll survive. Yeah, but what in quality of life will you survive? People are having like mental disorders. People are having like respiratory issues. Look at issues. the exactly. flu. I mean, the flu vaccines are typically only like 30% effective. Yeah, and they said like 30 to 50%. The flu is not active. manageable at all. I mean, I but hate they're saying this, to some the of flu, these but, new you know. vaccines are like 90% effective I know, against but COVID. Like, I saw. Is, is it? Like, I, I, I want to, you know. Exactly. That's why I put some are, stock in the Pfizer there. Are they, are they just saying that because they want to be the one to save the world? Or is Listen, it? But the, like, the 90%, it? Uh, like, unfortunately, not unfortunately, but fortunately, doesn't really uh, attend to me, you and evan like it's, if me and, if we got covid we'd survive we'd be fine like likely, we're, yeah. we're all healthy adults like we'd be fine the 90 percent needs to reach out i'm just worried about my asthma that's the only thing i'm worried no about. no no sure maybe you more than the rest of us but like odds are you'd probably survive you're generally pretty healthy. speaking a 20 yeah, year old generally male, speaking um yeah yeah, yeah. Gonna be fine. like we'd probably survive like and i would i'm more comfortable risking getting it than I am seeing what those long-term effects of that, like I understand, like not like I'm, I'm gonna go to wait through like the first waves. like couple first, waves. Yeah, yeah. honestly, yeah, even the first wave. You know, if you gave it like six months or so, and you know, there's been no studies. Like everyone's like, yeah, this thing is fine. You know, I might get it. You know, if if my yeah, work man. if my work made me, or you know, I had to 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 do sure. something sure but i mean yeah but man you start talking in three years from now they're like oh it also gives you fucking lung cancer you know like like <laughs> both my parents smoked. Scary, i probably dude. got the secondhand smoke car <laughs> oh no man cancer is taking same here i'm kidding i don't want to i don't want to joke about that but yeah just take too many people in my life that's just no serious that's just serious set like that'll kill you real fast like yeah. it's yeah man like I, this got, this got yeah, deep, we got man. freaking dark, guys. Vernon left, yeah, I mean, and we just went anxiety it's about, and COVID. It's, and... About, it's about getting older, man, and just making sure you're taking care of yourself. I think it's a good topic to come off of, of all of our drinking stories because, listen, I love drinking. And out of all of you guys, I'm definitely the heaviest drinker. I love drinking. I love having a good time. And I drank a lot as a kid. Just make sure you're taking care of yourselves out there, you know? Even, yeah. even like, body wise and like even in the moment call yourself an uber you know make sure you have a ride from the bars but like the shit isn't good for you as much fun as it is it's vitamins man i think i think that the key west trip is what kick-started my acid reflux and shit 
to because it was like right after we came back, like a month later, that's when it started happening. Listen, and, I'm, and that, that's when they told me, it was like, you can't drink for like four months or five months. <laughs> and I really well, haven't really drank much since, to be honest. But man, anything, any form matter yet into your uh, body, like even your vitamins. I'm not saying it's bad for you or in any sense of the way. It's not good for you either, man. Like, there's no sense. Oh, in I the agree. You're saying like, oh, this is great for me. Like, no, it's not. Like, I'm not sitting here saying like, hey, oh, it's I'm not terrible. saying it is. Like, yeah. but it's good for you. So like, yeah, just make that's sure you just like my thing. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> drinking a soda. You know, soda is terrible for you. Yeah, I mean, I stopped drinking soda really years ago. I, so I limit myself to one a day. I will have one. Soda I don't even. I, I I can't even tell you last time I had soda, man. That's Mine's good. Half, Mine's about half a day, Evan. Mine's tea, tea and water. That's all I drink, man. He's terrible for you too. The man will fuck your kidneys up. Exactly. I, Everything's all fuck you up. I'm gonna end up coffee. getting kidney stones early. Fuck your kidneys up too, man. I drink coffee in the mornings, but I don't, I yeah. don't drink coffee. That with tea, that's gonna give me kidney stones, and that's gonna suck. I drink that's a ton suck. of coffee, dude. I drink coffee at night I sometimes. I know you do. <laughs> like squad nights, you'll be drinking. I literally you guys are drinking drink beer, one. and I'm like, yeah, I got my iced coffee. I don't <laughs> even drink beer. I drink one cup of coffee every day in the morning, and that's it. I, I, I fill my mug up about that. three quarters because full, and it's mostly that's creamer. That's great. That's moderation. Even like beer and shit, like in moderation, is decently healthy for you. You know, like even beer is a blood thinner, man. Like now, vitamins get... I take throughout the day daily. <laughs> 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 that's it's probably not great for your lungs. It's probably, probably not, not great for me. Well, that's why I tried the edibles, and the edibles made me feel like I'm having a heart attack. So, I know. I don't know what else to do, all, man. All got our vices. I'm not judging you. Like, I definitely drink more than most healthy adults drink. I drink on a pretty consistent basis. And, like, not that I'm getting hammered all the time, but, like, I come home and I'll eat dinner and I'll have a beer with dinner. You know, yeah. that might be my only beer the whole day, but I'll, I at least have one beer every day of the week. Oh, almost. Almost. Yeah. I feel you. I have one beer or drink every day Start of the week. Start putting some wine into there. Oh, yeah. Wine I, would be good. I do liquor. Even well, beer. And antioxidants. Antioxidants. But, like, I, I'll do I cr- bought this case of beer. This is that same Coors Light that I bought probably. I think I mentioned this to you guys, like, a month ago. It was a 15-pack. <laughs> I don't. I no. haven't even drank the whole thing yet. It doesn't even take up the whole cabinet in my fridge. Like, my problem. <laughs> This is once I start, I have a hard time stopping. Do you know how long like, this rum's gonna last me? I'll do one. <laughs> yeah. I'll do one, and then like the one will be done. I'm like, oh, I can do two. I have off today, and I'll drink two. And then by the time I get to two, I'm like, ah, oh, three. And then by the time I hit three, I'm like, four, five. You know what? And then though? I, There's a big them. difference though with like beer. I mean, it, it also depends on the beer too. You know, if you're drinking like a heavy beer and you know high alcohol, you know, it's one thing. But like this, this Coors Light's like what? like piss water you know it's like there's barely any alcohol in it but then it's when you start getting like liquor and stuff like my dad could drink a a six pack easily a night and you wouldn't even notice it but you get him like his shot or two of yukon and you notice it right away i just don't like, like i don't like the way like for some reason i just get a weird weird kind of like buzz whenever i drink just by myself like oh, i've had i've done it before i don't like it i just don't like it mm-hmm. I, I like for some reason i always get a weird buzz and then i kind of get a headache but like when i'm social drinking with you guys i don't know if it's just because we're having fun that's so the endorphins are high maybe that's why it's, a, it's better but like when i'm doing it if i ever i rarely drink but when i drink by myself it's just like Ugh. Like right I, now, I feel weird. Right I feel now. like I need a nap. I would not have <laughs> drank four beers tonight plus a shot if it wasn't for you guys. There's no way in yeah. hell I would. That's have done what I'm that. saying. I, I would never. Guys. I would not have bought a ca- like a 12 pack of beer. Like oh man, I I'm just... the complete opposite. And and maybe it's because my my girlfriend also drinks. So like and again, yeah, that's true. That doesn't drink exactly. Like we we drink together, especially when we don't have the kids. We're like, hey, let's go out to the brewery. Let's yeah. go to a winery. That's totally that's nice. Yeah, that's more not, of like not a... so much lately, yeah. but like you know, that, that's the stuff we enjoy. You know, we enjoy yeah. going out and we'll get drunk and we'll play VR. We'll play Mario Party. Like we'll like just do these bullshits where we're just like hanging out. Now 
she's never done any kind of vitamins in her life. And when I'm saying that, I'm talking she's never smoked a cigarette in her life. Like, oh she's God. never done anything. So, like, drinking's about as heavy as she'll go. So, I don't know. As much as maybe it's a healthy thing, but, like, you know, we we like to drink together. We like to have fun together and drink together. So Yeah, there's nothing so, wrong with that. I don't know. There's nothing. Like it's not Listen, like man. It. I I go to work. I have a a fairly successful career. She's a fairly successful career. Like I'm not. I, it doesn't detriment my life. Like yeah. I go to work every day. I do my shit. I take care of my kids. My kids are doing well in school. Exactly. Like I'm good. I'm good. Like I said, I'll have a beer with dinner, but that might be it. That might be the only beer I have the whole night. I actually enjoy the flavor of beer, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. if I was going to pick something to drink, like if you guys came to me and we were on a desert island, they said, you can have one thing to drink the rest of the time we're in this desert island, I'd pick beer. I mean, I know it's not good for me because you're not supposed to drink fucking. <laughs> you get dehydrated like, pretty quick. <laughs> you get really dehydrated, but like beer is good to me. I like yeah. the flavor of it. Yeah. Like, it's something I would drink more than tea, more than water. And I do like water and stuff. And that's if I'm not drinking beer, I'm drinking water 99% of the time. Yeah. I've, I've gotten so I'd better at that. Pick tea. I would pick like sweet tea, but I, I try to have uh, water. Sweet tea. Oh, man. Everything. Sweet tea is way terrible for you. I, I mean, make sun tea, bro. I don't drink. Sun I make my good. own. I don't drink tea. I like at all. make my own. Uh, I'll do green tea every now and then. Green tea and sun tea. That's what yeah. I. Drink. I don't like tea. I don't like the flavor of tea, to be honest with you. I like really. Tea. Mm -hmm. I don't. That's drink. my I'm, shit, bro. If I'm, I'm not drinking water. I'm drinking tea. I have drank it, and it's not like you know. If I was thirsty and someone said, "Hey, here's some tea," hell yeah, I'm gonna I'm drink, drink it. But yeah. you know, if I if I had a choice between water or tea, I'm gonna take water. Just. Not, uh, not out of I thirst, see, I mean just out of flavor. I, I would different. take water. I might be different. I would probably take sun tea or green tea over water. Yeah, I, I, I would, would take too. Water, but I know the benefits of drinking a lot of water, so I'll probably pick it. But like, I, I always make sure to drink water. Yeah, yeah I, I, I mean, mean, like, if I was out at a restaurant and it was like, I, I'm out to like indulge, and they said we only have tea or water, I'd probably pick water. Dude, I'm <laughs> That's, I just give me a tea. rolling. Just wrap like here. if like uh, I don't drink soda. But if I'm out, I'm gonna get a rum and coke. Yeah. <laughs> give me a rum and coke. Give me a. Give me a rum and coke. That's my that's my soda. I drink is yeah. if I if it has rum in I it. I am actually excited to try this vanilla rum with some coke. <laughs> oh man. It's gonna be delicious. Gonna be I bet. Try it, try it with some ginger ale, man. Mm. Ginger ale. Vanilla ginger ale. Rum. I love vanilla. Yeah. That'll vanilla be good is probably too. one of my favorite. And that, this this honestly probably describes my personality as <laughs> to a T. <tea. laughs> I love vanilla. I like vanilla too, man. Dude, if I'm I mean, gonna pick any ice cream, it's gonna vanilla, be vanilla creamer. I mean, I can't. Yeah, vanilla ice cream. Like vanilla, vanilla ice bean my ice cream. Favorite. Yeah, it's mine too. I I would like, dude. I'm a cheese pizza kind of person. Like, oh, I'm not. I'm not cheese pizza kind of person. I, I, okay, I'm not gonna say. I don't remember the last time I ordered cheese pizza. Dude, let's let, yeah. let me let me preface this here. If you said if you ordered a supreme pizza, I'm not gonna say. Oh no, I'm not gonna eat that. I like supreme pizza, but I love cheese. I love it's either a bunch of cheese, ha ham and pineapple, or buffalo chicken for me personally. I love buffalo chicken. I, I actually know. really like mushroom and black olives. I like mushroom black olives. I'll do that. Those are two things on the supreme pizza that I don't like, but I will eat them. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? <laughs> I won't eat black olives anywhere else except know. on a pizza. Except I'll I will eat, eat black eat olives on a pizza a with mushrooms. I'll eat them it's out of funny star. you say that nope. because like on a supreme pizza, the mushrooms and black olives are the things that like when I get the bites of, I'm like, okay, I can get through this. Like it's not that big of a deal. I like the meat, I like the onions, I like everything else. Like you know, but yeah, nope. mushrooms and black, like black olives, olives, I do not like mushrooms. Mm. I don't like mushrooms. Mm. I, I see. Why. I like mushrooms. They don't like even mushrooms. have that a taste. It's a texture thing. I, they don't even taste like anything. We usually get mushrooms here, and we'll make them with like eggs and our like. Even yeah. when we make burgers, we'll make mushrooms. I yeah, like, like, mushrooms yeah. for what they are. They're amazing. They're good. Dude, for they you. have, they have mushrooms that are like steaks. Oh man, uh, you cook that up like steak yeah. sometime. Oh, oh good. yeah. I you know there's so many things that I think I'd like, and then I eat it, and I'm like uh, seafood. There's a lot of seafood I don't like. Oh man. I see, I'm seafood. getting. I'm weirdly enough, I have not liked, and mainly shellfish, but I haven't liked seafood for oh, like my entire shit. life. I'm getting into it now. Like I'm slowly oh, like, yeah, I, I can it. eat breaded I shrimp. I, I don't like I don't shrimp, shrimp that much. 
I'll eat I don't like any shrimp. shrimp. I like breaded shrimp. clam strips. I love shrimp. I love breaded clam strips. Clams. I never had them. They taste like lobster, chicken. Lobster, crabs, literally good, taste like man. Chicken. Salmon. Crab. I love salmon, bro. Salmon. That, oh. Alex, have you had salmon recently? Listen, any fish that isn't selfish, I'm on board with. Okay. Tuna, okay. salmon, like, okay. and not always, but recently, I'm on board with. Give me some lemon pepper salmon. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Into it. I love like, lemon peppers. It. That's it's good. The, it's the shellfish I'm getting into now, like, that I'm slowly, like, the only thing I don't like still is like fish sticks. Like I do not like fish oh, sticks. I'll eat fish like, sticks. Yeah, I'm, I'm not big on fish sticks. I don't I love like. Seafood. I like fish and sticks I, in my mouth. It's all good. <laughs> you gay fish. <laughs> I must be. I no, like fish I, fillets too. Like uh, no, the, but the you get some shrimp with some like nice, nice cocktail sauce. Mm, that's delicious. Man. I'll do it when I'm drunk. I won't do it any other time. That makes like, sense. Yeah. Oddly enough, that makes sense to me. So like, yeah. we made like, steak kebabs and like, or like a surf and turf kebab. I don't like shrimp, but I made it. I got this like really nice sirloin steak, and I mixed it all up with the shrimp, and I put it on the kebab, and I ate that. You're shrimp fine, yeah. Because when I, I <laughs> when I go to you guys know what Black and Blue is down in Mechanic. Oh yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Oh, good restaurant. But like it every is. time I'm there, I order the fucking black and blue steak, which is a crab cake on a flame and yawn with fucking and like I don't even like I would My never wear it cries you know? hearing that. It's like thirty <laughs> bucks. It's yeah. it's crazy. But like it doesn't matter. Like if you you're don't going go out to black and blue to spend ten yeah, bucks. If you're going yeah. to black and blue and you're like, I want to get out of here with a twenty dollar check. You're in the wrong fucking it's not place. Happening. Dude. <laughs> yeah, like just go there and enjoy yourself. I think so the, like, the one or two times I went to black and blue I got prime rib. So yeah. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Like Next time you're there, get the black and blue stack, man. It's Dude, a fucking flame and yawn. I'm gonna say crab some... cake with Alfredo sauce on top I'm of it afraid. on a bed of mashed potatoes. Oh, Ooh, it's did good. you say Alfredo sauce? Yeah, on Ooh. the bed of mashed potatoes. It's so good. That sounds good. It's so good. The asparagus. Oh, I Ooh. I'm afraid to order a filet mignon at another restaurant. We went to Bonefish Grill. They're well, right there by. Um, yeah, but they're not known for Texas steaks. Roadhouse. I got. A filet mignon. I don't mignon. know if I've ever actually had a filet mignon. Oh, my God, mignon. dude. <laughs> filet mignon, the it's problem good. with it, it's super tender. And it's mm-hmm. not it's not flavorful. So you kind of need to, like... Like, there's no fat. There's no fat, like, for flavor in it. So, like, you have to season it really well. And the problem yeah. is, like, when I ordered it... I ordered it medium rare, all right? Like, I knew what I was getting. That's usually how I would order it. Dude, rare. this thing... No, Alex, this thing was beyond rare. It was like red. And I mean, Bro. like, I took a bite of it and I'm like, this is pretty chew. Like, this is not. <laughs> it has been with me in a sense where I've eaten a burger rare and I could have reformed that burger into another. But remember when we were at Key West together, man? If I, knew, I was biting this burger and there was slops of red meat coming out I of it. Do I was remember that. Back if, if and not I that knew, I prefer like that. if I knew where the meat was coming from, like if I knew if it was like fresh ground, sure, I'd eat a rare burger. But if it was like mm. freaking, mm. they grabbed that pack of meat from Carnes and made it rare. Uh, uh-uh, uh, not a chance. Right. Am I gonna it's my eat thing. that? Like, it's a gamble. Like when I say to people, not when I it. order a <laughs> burger at a restaurant, I say rare, and they always say rare, and I'm like, yeah, as rare as they'll let me. Most. 98 percent of the medium. restaurants is medium it, and it's fine like I'm not, I'm not that kind of customer whatever i'll eat it i get every now and then where a dude took it seriously and he was like psh, psh, and like <laughs> listen around both sides and that's not, it i'm not saying that like that's how i prefer my burgers it's not how i would cook it either but like again i'm not the kind of customer i ain't sending it back <laughs> like I, i'm just gonna eat that shit all my i life. just want to say like I made filet mignon here the other night because I told I, – I messaged you guys in the group chat. I told Brittany, like, let's pick up some steaks. She grabs freaking, like, two pounds worth of freaking filet mignon. It was like – and I'm like, I love you, but this was way more than what I – I expected you to get, like, two New York strips or something. Yeah. But, like, you know, like a $15 two-pack. But anyway, it was so much better than oh. what I got. And it's like – and it's not even – not even like how I cooked it, you know. Like, it was just they season didn't it season it right. Like they didn't. Put... Yeah, but but Bonefish is known for fish, man. Like that's but a fish. Piece. They should know how to cook a freaking steak, you know. But like come fish on, piece, man. You you wouldn't you wouldn't go to Texas Roadhouse and order fish, would you? 
I don't know. I I think a big restaurant like that should know how to cook a fish. Nah, man. Yeah. There's specialties, man. I, you you, you got to know where you're I at. I don't know. Nah, you're not going to fucking McDonald's ordering a fucking roast beef sandwich, dude. Like, it's just, you're ordering a burger, you know? Like, it's what, it's what I, they do. I don't know. But, like, I don't know. I think if you have filet mignon like ordering a steak menu. at Red Lobster. Exactly. You don't order a steak at Red Lobster. I order like, chicken at Red Lobster because I don't like fish. So. Yeah, but chicken, chicken's the easiest thing, That's like, true. to not fuck up. That's true. Like, yeah. steak you and literally... fish. Literally. They have to be precise with chicken. Yeah, like steak and fish are two. Th- and again, like I said, I wouldn't go to Texas Roadhouse and order fish. Like I wouldn't expect it to be. Do they even sell fish at Texas Roadhouse? Yeah, I'm sure they do. Like I, I don't know. I've I'm, I'm thinking there. like fresh fish, like bone fish would be. Like no, no, but that's what probably not. Bone fish, obviously. I guess. I, I guess man. maybe my expectations were just set too high. You were. But I'm thinking if I'm spending thirty dollars on a freaking filet mignon, it should yeah. be. Yeah. That's the problem. That they, it was probably a good cut of steak. Like it, it was, was probably a good, good cut of steak. Of meat, but, but like the chef isn't prepared to cook that. You know, like they're prepared to cook fish. You know, but like like you ordering the filet mignon was throwing them off their but, game. You know, they're back there like flipping fish everywhere. They're like filet mignon. I'm like, what? What the fuck like, is filet mignon? <laughs> we have that on the now. menu. But like, okay. I'm just when saying. SpongeBob like, had to make the salad. Like everybody can make a salad, but like, you know, it, it was hard for him. Okay. Filet mignon is so easy to make, though. It's so thick. You sear it super good on one side. You sear it super good on the other, and you just wait till that bitch is done in the middle. Like that's it. That's all you do. Done. No, I mean done to what the likeness is. You wait till you it's yeah. rare, to well done, whatever the person is. Yeah, not well that done. Thing just is done to whatever before they want. Before it's even, when I was cooking mine here, it was seared and it was still like ninety-eight degrees in the middle. Like that's not mm. even rare. That's mm. freaking raw. I do love a rare steak, man. That's raw. I do too, to be honest. I love a rare steak. I don't. Man. I don't and do rare. I'll do medium burger, rare. Burger is a little like, eh, but like steak. Burger, I. I can't yeah. do it really rare, rare with burger, burger but steak I can. One day, and you're gonna regret sure. it. I'm with you. Like, but again, <laughs> if I order a medium well burger, then I've done it before. Like, it always comes out like completely done the whole way through, and I don't think that's good at all. Like, yeah. I just feel like it's true. like eh. ground beef yeah. is whatever. Yeah. To me, See, I like when I make burgers here, I have no problem. Uh, and fish, we don't really have a problem. But when I make steak, it's I don't have a problem either. But chicken, I always like mm-hmm. I take it out multiple times, and I'm like, I don't trust this. I'm putting it back in, mm-hmm. and I'll put it back in for a little longer, and then I'm just like, I am super picky with chicken just because I don't want salmonella and shit. I, I need I, to make sure that shit's cooked. I think I mentioned this to you guys before, but pork is something that people don't understand now. You can undercook pork. It is safe. It's like. I mean, obviously, you can't cook sausage like just like ground beef. You can't freaking yeah, yeah, cook that. How much like a pork just... chop. People are like, you gotta have the pork chop well done. No, you can cook a pork chop to like one forty five, and it's still safe to eat. Yeah, Dude, huh. it's like steak. You cook it the outside edge, and you're we good. We did that. Like, We've been doing that with like a you pork. Sear it. You buy yeah. them like pork tenderloins at the do- or at like Walmart or something. They're like six or seven bucks. Dude, cook that to one forty or one forty maybe one forty five. Dude, it's the best piece of pork you'll ever have. Well, pork, again, like a pork you, chop is the same. Like you could literally. It's easy to mess up a pork chop. On a steak, I actually don't super love pork chops, but like on a steak, I'll make while. you a pork chop, and you won't. You'll like you it. Could, <laughs> you could literally put the steak on the grill for thirty seconds, flip it on the grill for thirty seconds, and round and round the edges off, and it would be perfectly safe to eat. Like yeah. whether it's your preference is not the point. It would be perfectly safe to yeah, eat. Yeah, like it's it because all be the bacteria is on the outside. It's not like ground yeah. beef where it's mixed up. That's that's mixed the whole up, point. Yeah. yeah. But getting back to the ground beef, I think when you have a burger that's completely done the whole way through, I think it just tastes like the condiments. Like I think all it tastes like is whatever's on top of that burger. Makes like, sense. I don't yeah. think it tastes like anything. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I like the yeah. condiments. So do Depends I. Depends what you have on it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. But like I don't know, I, I like a little. I like to taste my meat a little bit. And like here, I'll put like Swiss cheese on it with some yeah. mushrooms, and then cheese. some sweet baby rays with like a mm-hmm. like a little barbecue burger. Mm. Bro, Ashton, oh um, burgers now. We had chicken burgers tonight. We we had burgers tonight. <laughs> you guys should make chicken burgers. I mean, chicken burgers. You just buy ground chicken and make them just like burgers. But you, I mean, you gotta obviously cook them through. So like, she. I mean. 
we pretty much make the opposite because she's like vegan. Uh, so I mean, oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna... She she eats she eats fish and eggs. I don't know. I don't remember what the technical term is, but she eats fish and eggs. But other yeah. than that, she doesn't like no milk products, no beef, oh. no anything. So, chicken. How you how you don't eat cheese? Ashton oh. is also she vegan. eats like vegan cheese. No, I mean like it's not the same. cheddar. It isn't. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, that's the thing. She's it's cool with me eating my shit. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. eats her shit. There is oftentimes I'll eat like we make whatever like her vegan stuff and it's still good. I oh, like yeah. it. But I mean, I, as far I, as I, burgers and chicken, I'm making my own stuff. I was gonna say Ashton is vegan. His his mom has chosen vegan, so I just res- I just respect that. So when he comes over, I I only get vegan food for him. So we get like Beyond Burgers and stuff a lot. And yeah. tell you the truth, I don't really mind him like they're not bad like, that's what if, she gets if you wouldn't tell me it was a beyond burger like mm-hmm. now the beyond is good now like you get into like a, a veggie burger and stuff yeah. those aren't as good those taste yeah. more like beanie but a beyond whatever that company did like you could fool me into telling me that was like a subpar burger you know like yeah. it's not a good burger but that's like a burger like a well-done burger to me it's just a little bit chewier like she and it's like fine. these. i don't know what the brand name is but she gets like these chicken patties that taste like you chicken? bought like these other like any brand chicken patty bro yeah, like, you can't even fine. tell they're probably not and i actually different. think that's probably i actually what. think as americans and and this is because i've watched some shit like we eat too much meat anyways we're in a culture where we feel like a meal has to have a meat in it and it, yeah. it is it, it's completely like made us eat like americans eat so much meat it's fucking ludicrous compared to the last the rest of the country you know we're like we're gluttonous in meat we don't have to eat that much you know like it's fine like you don't have to eat that much it's not even like it's not only just the meat but it's how much of what we like i I was actually just watching a gordon ramsay video the other day where like france there there was like a whole thing where there this place was a vegetarian restaurant in france and that's like i guess french people eat a lot of meat but the american portions dude we eat a ton of meat like tons dude it's not just like like, we don't get a steak we get we don't get a little six ounce steak we get a freaking 14 ounce mashed potatoes you know like like all like all this other sides on top of it like mashed potatoes of like any desserts like it's ridiculous Google when you sometimes get a chance a chicken in the fifties compared to a chicken now. Oh, like that chicken from all probably the GMO, is steroided it up. It's steroid and huge. Mm-hmm. Like we think when I think of a chicken, I think of this big fat like bird. They didn't used to look like that. Like even fifty years ago, they didn't look like sure, that. Cows and shit the same way, dude. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> That's why when people like you know, these red blooded people are like I'm not eating meat grown in a lab. Like, what are you right. talking about? All fucking meat's grown in a lab all day now. You know, all it is is fucking steroids and GMOs pumped into these animals. Yeah, it really you know? is. And then you got, like, the like people doing it right, living out in the mountains, shooting deer, getting their own food. Oh, yeah, man. And they just like, hell, I don't go get any deer. Like, I don't go get any meat from no supermarket. I get my own stuff here. Yeah, shooting man. elk. Hell, yeah. I mean... It's crazy. I, I did watch a thing though. Like, if the rest of the world ate the amount of meat that America eats, like on the same equivalent as us, ninety six percent of all land would have to be farms, like to I raise cattle. Ninety six percent. We would live in f- like four percent of the land that we would have to live in That's if we ate, if we ate the same amount. That's why, like. Give me these Beyond Burgers and shit. Like, I don't need meat every day. I don't need meat with every meal. Now, yeah. it's a hard habit to break. I still, most meals, I have meat 100%, you know. But, like, I go out and, you know, I always try to support uh, Baker's business. Always try to support the Vegetable Hunter. We get them, you know, once every two weeks, something like that. That's yeah. veg- That's vegan. I fucking, I'll get fresh which is sometimes we get the vegan option, you know. Like, yeah, I've been trying. I'm gonna try it, man, because I, I do think it's a problem in America, so and I don't think it's a problem we're gonna kick anytime soon. I don't disagree with you. I just I don't, I don't have so that either. mindset. Like I don't have anyone. See, I don't have anyone in my family that has really pushed me to do that. So yeah, 
Um, yeah, I'm an uncultured swine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, it's I go on. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'll eat with Ashton, and now he's, again, young. He's four he's or five. He's never given you a reason to, you know? Yeah. Ashton, I, I've been trying. He, I didn't have Nito Burrito until, uh, like. Nito Burrito is good. Like six months ago, maybe. Mm. It was the first time I ever had Nito. They just yeah. reopened back yeah. up wow. after the pandemic. Did you get a Cowboy Crunch? I did get a Cowboy Crunch. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> But, like, I'm eating with Ashton, and, like, he's, like, I'll order a burger because I don't always get beyond meat with him. And he's just like, are you eating animal? And I'm like, yeah. Like, like I'm not going to sit here and judge you for your food. Like, don't sit here and judge me for mine. Like, yeah. it's it's fine. It's fine if you're not the push of it. You Like, you do your part. That's the same way with here. Like, she does what she does, and she doesn't say anything about it. As she shouldn't, you know? Like, like that's she doesn't, I don't personal. say anything. Like, I, she... Yeah, you're not like, mm, look at this burger. You want this burger? Exactly. So like, exactly. no, I put it in your face. Don't push it in mine. I don't, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, like, she was like, is it good? And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. How's yours? <laughs> like, well, but like, it's dry. I don't know, man. So yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what it is. Man. Yeah, I was just going to say, we, it's we like were pushing for the three, three hour morning. mark, and we hit the four hour mark. <laughs> We can go. I I'm gonna pee. finish my beer. I'm gonna finish my beer. That's crazy. Gonna, so I'll play Katamari Damari, and uh, I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Probably. I'm sure we'll text each other. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. Sure. You guys have um, a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's great already Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Happy Thanksgiving today. Happy yeah. Thanksgiving. Hey, tell, them that. Um, <laughs> tell your kids that I'm wishing them a happy Thanksgiving. Tell them all. <laughs> I'll tell them. Alex is telling you. That you should have a happy Thanksgiving. They'll be like, who? Who? <laughs> Brittany will know who I am. Um, Brittany will Make man. sure to uh, like and subscribe. Yeah. Make um, sure to check out Squad Pod Sports, uh, our new episode with your boy Q from uh, Locked On Raiders podcast. And uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter as well. And and follow Tap That. New yeah. episodes coming here. Follow I'm going to be that. on the Christmas episode here. Follow the Facebook yeah. page. I didn't even get to mention. I, this happens every week. I want to mention about the Twitch with Twitch streaming. Um, <laughs> we're streaming Next on week. Twitch now, Monday night squad nights, and why it's going to be kicking back up his Twitch channel once. As soon as it. I get my PS5, yeah, like my uh, the camera, camera. So yeah, you'll have. Well, you could either drunk. watch the the squad pod Twitch with I the overlays, one. or you could watch the PlayStation Five quality on Wyatt's channel, and then like the the single player stuff. Ours is only going to be Monday night, so yeah, yeah. It's only going to be a little bit more. I I'm gonna hope I'm hoping to try to get it running a little bit more other than Mondays as well. Trying to stream like Demon Souls yeah. and, and Spider Man. Yeah, and that's what but I figured. Yeah, well, pretty much anything PS Five that's coming out. I want to get Valhalla as well. So, so but yeah, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for drinking with us. Podcast yeah, is twenty one weeks definitely old. A good uh good episode here. Twenty one weeks old. I think we uh, longest podcast as well. By like, times two. <laughs> <laughs> well, get us. Gonna be hard to I'll beat, pass. man. That's all right. We can set that precedent and no way, man. We're gonna do a charity hour one time. We have like I'll, a twenty. I would podcast. love to do a charity to stream. Raise money. We're gonna do like that a twenty four hour podcast. It'll be us chilling. <laughs> that would be wild. Dude. That'd be crazy. I would love to do that though. That'd be love amazing. To do it. How will be if we could get it set up where a ton of people are able to see it and actually like find it to it has donate. To be a live stream, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I to be would be totally down to do it as long as possible. Like mm -hmm. us just chilling and talking all day. <laughs> people <laughs> leaving in and out to make food or whatever. Yeah, we'd have to like take shifts. So, like one person <laughs> would leave for like three or four hours just to sleep. take a break or something. All, all right, right. dudes. Have a yeah. good night. Enjoy yeah. Thanksgiving. Have, have a good, good Thanksgiving. week, everybody. Everyone watching, we'll see you next week. Thanksgiving, but have a good whatever it is. Gobble, thanks. gobble. <laughs> uh, thanks for celebrating our 21st. Yeah. <laughs> see ya.